Thank you. 
Taking a little break from this to take care of uh, a gym meter fight.
Thank you.
Hello. There's no pronouns in the Bible. <laughs> Just one of the stupidest, most incorrect statements I've ever heard. Because no pronouns in the Bible. Yeah, it's, it's I. You. You. Him. They. Yeah, ap apparently, apparently none of these words are in the Bible. I did not know this. Very informative. Apparently, apparently pronouns were invented by the LGBT to confuse people. And you know what I say to all of that? All of that knowledge? If I'm wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> what? Do you want to be left? Fuck that. I'm not left-handed. I can't a... ever be left. I'm a little ambidextrous. I was told I was ambidextrous as a kid, and I'm not. I, I don't believe it. I think I think they were making it up. Why? Why? Yes. Why? Why do I think they were making it up, or why why would they make it up? Yeah. Why would they? To make me seem more special. Um. Uh, okay. Then. There were. Reasons they would want me to be more special. Anyway, hi. 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 Hello. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm not. Here. I'm. I'm twelve. Anyone? You stupid. Bonk. <laughs> you know, Giratina is one of the weirdest Chinese I like. I mean, it's a good Chinese. Why do you think I'm hunting for it? I. Uh, okay, well, I, I like it, but my problem is that in, in certain uh, settings, it looks weird. Like, I don't like the 3D model of it. I think I think it looks a little, a little goofy in 3D. Huh. I see. I also think the white can be a little jarring against uh, I don't think lighter... it's white, it's silver. Regardless, the, the 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 fact that they replaced the darker the gr darker grays with a lighter off white, um, just kind of sometimes against uh, certain backgrounds can look a little off. That's all. Oh my god! Whenever people use the backgrounds from the Diamond Pro Platinum games. I forgot that's actually how they look like. What is it? Uh, in, in fan games and shit. Oh, the battle They battle? use the diamond... Yeah, they use the Diamond Pro Platinum uh, battle backgrounds, and I never noticed that. Because I forgot what they looked like, genuinely. Goddamn. The blurry smudges. You know? I always felt like they were too still, like they had just taken a still that was like, oh, uh, th there's something missing, like it's not moving when it's supposed to. I no? That's just how they looked. Black and white made them look better. But black and white's backgrounds looked good. Tell and me I am wrong. I prefer Gen 4 so. 
Who dare you? I also How prefer the, st the still images instead of the moving sprites. I'm not even talking about the moving sprites, I'm just talking about the backgrounds. But regardless. Regardless. Like, I think the moving sprites from Gen 5 are okay. Regard. Less. What regard? How dare you have preferences? Look, I'm sorry that Black 2 and White 2 aren't really that great. Was there anything about Black 2 and White 2? Yeah, I'm just talking about black and white. Also, black and white have a lot of flaws in them that it's just eh. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Unova, but it's like eh, I don't know, I'm a fan <clears throat> of some parts of the games. Also, uh, a lot of the decks in Unova is just weird. And by weird, I mean really stupidly hard to get. Level wise, for no reason. They did give us a Molga, which I'll take, I'll gladly take, but, you know. I mean, have I disagreed with anything you've said? Uh, no. Because you haven't yeah, exactly. said anything. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna disagree also, with anything. Also, some of the music from Gen 5 is overrated. Okay, that... Them's fighting words there. That That is... What, you don't, you don't like... You don't like the, the the weird chanting in Getsus' theme? That's fine. I mean, it makes sense. But it's Getsus. not. I wasn't. I, was, I wasn't talking specifically about that song. I'm talking about a very particular city song that, that I think is very overrated. I don't know which one you're talking uh, about. The fifth gym. I have no clue what you are talking about. Absolutely no clue. It totally isn't in a whole bunch of memes using a weird toothless model that's hilarious to look at. Yeah. I don't, I'm, it's overrated. It's okay. It's nothing. You know. I don't think it's that great. Like, I think it's okay. Also, I hate uh, the Gen 5 Victory Road more than I do the Gen 4 or Gen 3 ones. I like the idea, I hate the execution. Okay, name one you like. What? I N name I a Victory Road you like. Uh, I literally just said two of them, Gen 4 and Gen 3. I genuinely love the Gen 4 Victory Road. Oh, I thought you said you didn't like them, sorry. No, I said I didn't like the Gen 5 one. I don't like the Gen that 4 I one. That I prefer the Gen 4 the Gen 3 ones. And I, I say the Gen 3 one uh, most of the time not even using uh, Flash. I, I don't like either of them personally. I think they're both terrible, but that's me. Look, that, I love, you the, know, music. I love no, the music what? from the Gen 4 Victory Road, and I also love the fact that you have to use all the HMs, or like most of the HMs that you've gotten across the game. Like, granted, yeah, no, it's I... kind of annoying, but I do think it's a cool concept. Like, you've gotten those, better use them now. I, I changed my mind. Uh, I don't think I've ever liked uh, Victory Road. Like, I don't like what they did to them in more recent games, because they're, like, way too short and easy now. But, like, I don't like the fucking I mean, annoyingness in the Mount older Lanaxilla games. I mean, Mount is Victory Road for Gen 7. I think that's a very neat concept, going up a mountain. Yeah, but even then, it's kind of just a straight line. Also, it's not that Gen interesting. 4, Gen 4 Victory Road leads into the best po uh, Pokemon League ever. I'm sorry, that is just no contest. You cannot tell me otherwise. Okay, but... Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna have okay. them finding words now. I'm gonna. Stop. I'm gonna just. I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> look, look. That's like me saying that Crash One is good. I'm talking about not like not like the remakes. That Crash One is good and not flawed at all. Because without it, we wouldn't have two, and it leads into two. No. I feel like those are two completely different things. 
My point. Exactly. That's my point. No, your compar your comparison to mine. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to say that something that just because something is that leads into it isn't that like just because I don't like something that leads into it doesn't mean that the end thing is bad too. It also gives that's you access saying. to it also, shame and it vice versa. I mean, yeah, but that's not. Uh, Again, it's not just it's called a victory road. If it leads to somewhere not cool, well, that's points detracted from it. If it leads somewhere cool, that's points added to it because it was made in a, to a cool place. Are you saying that the victory that the Elite Four and the Pokemon League in Gen 5 is bad? I didn't say that. I just prefer the building. Also, yes, the champion from Gen 5 is worse. And honestly, the, the Elite Four is fine. I do prefer them over the Elite Four from Sinnoh, but that doesn't mean that, you know, I prefer the Gen 3 Elite Four. Look, you can't talk shit about my boy Grimsley, okay? I will, man's fucking broke. You. <laughs> gonna fucking murder. Dude is. Dude comes back in Sun and Moon in a great fucking way. Don't you dare. He's just there vibing, and that's amazing. Also, one of the lead fours comes from Sinnoh. Which one? The second one. She is also in the battle eh. castle. Eh, don't care. But regardless. Why are you fucking shitting on Gen 5? Wait, what did I say? I just said that I preferred the... I just like the images in the background of Gen 5 because I think it looks nice having, because like, an actual... it liking not? actual scenery because instead of, like, just splotches of color. That's all. Uh, because I can't. But yeah, Gen 5 has flaws. It doesn't change that just because it has flaws doesn't mean that I don't like it. Okay, fair enough. Despite, Again, I also like it. Mind you, ah! it used to be my second favorite generation until Gen 9 came out. And until I played like Gen 3 like 20 million times, it's still my fourth favorite gen. Behind Gens 4, 9, and 3. It, it's so it, it, it also went a little down because I played Gen, I played Black Two and Y Two, and you know, hearing all this praise like they're the best Pokemon games ever, I I came out a little disappointed. Okay, if anybody told you that, they're objectively wrong. It's not that I that I that I heard someone tell me that. No, it's just a general consensus that Black Two White Two are way better games than Black and White. And I'm if like, anybody, if anybody said that. And I'm like, not they are... really? I prefer black and white or black and white too. Look, look, look. They are objectively wrong. For one reason and one reason alone. The rival. I hate the rival from not black to a... white too so much. Bro, you I wouldn't... hate you. You just, you just, you just interrupted before I even fucking said it. I hate the rival so much. I, he is such an idiot. Oh my god, he's like Batman and he's so annoying. But what I was going to say was, nobody can agree on what the best games are in this goddamn series so I mean, no they're objectively wrong because they're because if you're going to say one is objectively the best fuck you there is if none of y'all can actually agree then no there is no best this is this is how i feel about the final fantasy fandom fuck them too i mean considering how many games both series have yeah fair enough Also, I am obsessed with this training ball thing that is training my wrist and my forearm. Yeah, so you told. It's 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 a fucking fidget toy, dude. I have it like I put it down, and then like ten minutes or twenty minutes later, I'm doing nothing, and then I'm like, ah, I'll well train my hand a little bit more. Who knows? I might need it. Fucking dock someone in the face or fucking suplex someone. I need good grip.
But yeah, again, if you want me to actually shit on a game, just ask me about Gen 6 and I can shit on that in that gen as much as I want. Because I hate that <laughs> with passion, both games. Or as it's not a good remake. Oh, uh, I don't like it. And I hate yo. X and Y. Yo. Yo, I agree. With both of those. I'm sorry, but I've played Gen 3 enough to tell you Gen 3 is just better than the Gen 6 remakes. Okay. I need to play actually like Sapphire or Ruby, but even still, it's just the still demo. Uh, same, but regardless, I had to close the door because I'm gonna get a little heated on this one. Oh boy. Anytime I mention how I don't like Oros, there are so many people who come out of the woodworks to tell me how I'm wrong. It came the other day. I was shitting on Gen Six, and he came out of the woodworks to absolutely try and dog on me. I'm like, I don't like it. I don't really like, need an, a, a reason why. I just don't like the games. I prefer way more the originals. I don't I, think okay. I don't think the Delta episode is that cool. Yeah, they gave us one of the best battle themes, which is Xenia. I don't even theme. I don't even like Xenia's theme. I, I don't do. even like Xenia's theme. I genuinely do. I know. Love it. I don't know. But apart I from think that, the myth. battle against Xenia is easy as shit. Deoxys dies in literally one hit, so you have to either Master Ball it or change it into another Pokemon and weaken it. Fuck it, it's Gen 6, which makes the battles, like, piss easy, even with Megas, mind you. They reduced the double battle gym to two Pokemon! Oh no, that's 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 the same in Ruby and Sapphire. I don't remember that being Yeah, case. in Ruby and Sapphire, straight. it's just Lunatone and Soul Rock. But the thing was, I at least had a struggle with them. I remember that, at least. Even though I had a fucking Absol, they Emerald, still, like, were, Emerald like... Emerald is harder, because they do add the Shadow and the Clay Doll. But, like, in Ruby and Sapphire, no, it's just it's just a, a Solar and a Luna Tone. And again, that's piss easy. I have a Samurai and a Swampert on my team. I'm just going to press Surf. Yeah, and that's not even all that I dislike about Omega, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I had they a added... Chain in, but, you know. They added so many goddamn loading screens. True. You the know what original will, you know what I will was get, so uh to Ruby and Zelda, to Oros uh flying around with uh Lattice and Lattice. That's the only thing I like about that. Especially the nighttime theme. But here's the thing. I then have to mention how uh, all these things that I hate about it. I'm going to get really passionate here. I really need to say this every time it's brought up. First off one of the cool things about the GBA versions of those games was that there were only loading zones for one half until like basically half the island was loaded when the other one wasn't. If that makes sense. Uh, you mean like... If you... Oh, okay, I think I know what you mean. You mean like the cave between Rustboro and... Not Fall Harbor, the other... Burden For example. Uh... Yeah, ba ba for ex basically, you know those little buildings that you walk through that are like little transfer buildings? Those are the loading screens. Wait, there's none in the, in, the, in, in the GBA games, though. There's next to none. There's only a couple. No, those are thieves. Even then, there's a couple. I remember playing it and paying attention to where they were. There are a couple, but they're very infrequent, is the point. Whereas, just to go... From a beach into the town that the beach is next to is a loading area well, okay. in Oros. Okay, that's because uh, what's Mallville is like completely different. It's like a mall city. I don't like it. I'm not even talking about that. That's a different one. I'm talking about the place with the port right next to it. Next to the beach. Oh. Yeah, there's literally... There's literally... Um, the place that you, uh, later go and fight Team Aqua, I believe. Or is it... Full Arbor? No, that's Full Arbor Town. That's not a city. It's a little town, I think, actually. I think I said city, but I... Look. Little Residence has a little port. You can face off against, I believe, Team Aqua. It might be Magma and different things. Where, the, where they get the sub or whatever. Yeah, okay. That is... Th there should not... There's no loading screen there in the original mm -hmm. and i remember when i got there in the g in the or in oros i was just 
shocked because it was just like jarring how different that was having that loading screen there because it just felt so weird Natural? it felt so weird because it was just like i was just walking up some steps this ain't fucking final fantasy 10 you know on the ps2 when they were just getting a hold of this this is a system that they're supposed to have been doing very good on you know a system that had x and y which okay i know x and y bad but hear me out no there are, there bad. are long stretches that look very nice at points uh... that do not have well nice relatively to the rest of the game i'm not saying like whatever but they have lots of stuff going on and that hardware can handle that for quite a while without lagging. I remember, no, I, I simply remember X and Y having like a buttload of loading zones. Like, a lot I, of loading yes, zones. Yes, but at least, for example, the the play, at least the place with the mansion or whatever, that place has a lot more going on than the fucking beach in Ross. And the little town right next to it. Why? And and that area in X and Y even has a has a place where it starts panning to show across the lake. That means they rendered a lot there. But the but the hardware can't handle a beach next to a town. But that's not that's not all. That's not all I dislike. I really while I was waiting, people kept telling me about the whole like sneaking and all of that whatever i think it was the poker radar i don't remember it was a new impl yeah, that's implementation now. of it uh i couldn't play the game and when it came out even though i had it because i had uh just broken my 3ds's uh circle pad with uh <laughs> with smash 4. yep uh so I had to wait until I got a new one. That's my current and only one. And get this. It, it, I, I never even used it. I used the D-pad far more in that game than any other. I swear. And like, on top of that, you also have the fact that... <laughs> The mecha evolutions in gen in the remakes, most of them are not great. And the ones that are good, oh my god. You get some completely imbalanced fit. For example, if you do not pick Chikorita, did I say Chikorita? Fuck, wrong one. Uh, Torchic at the start. Might as well be fucked. Because of the three starters, which one has the best mega? Blaziken. Blaziken, by far. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. And Monkey Gang. Yeah, and but it's still annoying that they didn't even like make them as overpowered as Blaziken. They just like, no. On top of that, most of the megas from Gen Three don't look that great. Did you? Did you even like? Did you Mega evolve your Pokemon through the story? I don't, like, maybe it's been a long time, but I do not remember mega any of my Pokemon. I know that you have to to beat, uh, Steven, I remember that. No, oh, you don't. You can do it without it. Because she, Steven uses his Mega Metagross. Or maybe, maybe that yeah, was on the... Yeah, and, yeah, and, uh, Maxi uses a Mega Camera, and or Archie, uh, uses a Mega, Ugh. uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Fish. Uh -huh. A Sharpedo. I, I don't know, maybe it's because I had a level 100 shaming on the team since the very beginning, I didn't have much trouble with it. That's fair. But, here's the thing, uh, so you even went... if you do- even if you go in fresh like I did, the, the game's fuck easy. Yes, no but e it's Gen But 6. like- But like, here's the thing, here's the thing. Mega Sharpedo... ...looks like ass. That's very funny. I don't like camera -upped. But Camerupt somehow looks like even more ass. 
Like, it, it, Sharpedo just gets longer nose. Uh, Camrupt goes from one, goes from two volcanoes to, to one big and hairy volcano. And then fucking, oh, what did they do to my boy? Metagross. I've never been a fan of that Metagross design. It's so bad. It's so bad. I think it's okay. Dude, I was the other uh, day. Sent, it's gross. I sent the... I sent the Mega Evolution... Uh, tier list to, you know, Octum Company. And I remember them just telling me that my takes on Megas was ass. And like, I'm sorry, no. And being the one that plays the mainline games, I should know more than you people. They're like, no. You have ass takes on them on, on Megas. I'm like, I'm sorry, you guys are wrong. I think I did I send you my Mega Evolution tier list. I, think I, did. I don't remember. Send it again, anyway. But regardless, a lot of them, a lot of the ones from three look like look terrible, and the one that I think is the worst. By the way, question, real quick question, Carby, the 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 ZZZ messages you sent me, are those like actual messages or are they to an NPC? Th those are actual ones. Oh. To an NPC. To an oh. NPC. Oh, it is. An actual NPC. dialogue, written for an NPC, and their responses to me. That it was just fucking funny that like I chose that and they they were like they were like it, it's like it called me out the game called me out which was why I sent it to you absolutely anyway okay, I have to go through the booba anyway so there's, there's legendaries the the two that I think are the worst. Are Latios and Latios. Uh, they're the same, yeah. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that so much. I love purple, but why? You cannot tell them apart. If anybody can, they're lying to me. They just made them the same so that they didn't have to create another fucking uh, model for flight in a separate game. Even though Megalatius you know. and Megalatius were in Nixon 1 originally. But yeah, I, 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 there you go. I, sent it to you. I actually don't remember that. Yeah, they were from Nixon 1 originally, not from Morris. But yeah, there's my tier list. I mean, I personally disagree with Venusaur and. Look, uh, I have a story with Venusaur, and Venusaur is my favorite Gen 1 starter, so I am- I was gonna say, but but I, I did say personally. I'm explaining it's... to you why, because if it were just by pure design, he wouldn't be up there. Yeah, yeah, for me, for me, it's, uh, Blastoise, though. I think, I think uh, Blastoise is pretty good, it's just more- I, I, yo, yo, Blastoise is my, is my goat when it comes to the Gen 1 starters. Fair enough. I mean- Granted, yeah, it is cool. The torches with guns, but yeah. Okay, it's, so it's cool, not even cool. that. It's just I like it a lot better than the other two, and I just kind of re developed a, a relationship with the, with it over the years. That's cool. all. And it's just a cheer list of Pokemon that I'm like, eh, cool. Yeah. Question mark. So that's it. Uh, so anyway, I'm as I'm going to say, I dis I disagree with Rayquaza slightly, but that's just because I think Ray Mega Rayquaza is a little overrated. I mean, but at it's the same also time, overpowered. Well, that's part of the reason why. Yeah, exactly. I think I don't like overpowered shit that gets super uh, overrated. Anyway, but as I was saying though, uh, but I also love its design because it's like it's too much, and I love it. Yeah. Uh, like I think I think they were shitting on takes like for example me putting uh, Mega Steelix down, which is just like Mega Agron but more mid. Uh, agreed, and I like, I like Celix. I don't like um, Mega, I don't like Mega Medicham, for example. I don't well, I don't like it. I think it's okay. I, I don't like Medicham, period. <laughs> I'm neither do I, but I don't know. Mega Medicham's okay-ish. I eh, I'm not a super fan of Mega Slowbro. It's just like eh, it's funny, and they're like, oh, but it's so funny. I'm like, eh. it's funny, but I wouldn't 
considered a good design. And, and they're like, and they're <laughs> like, oh, Lo Megalopony is just fucking favorite. And I'm like, yes, and it's great. Have you not seen okay, her if knocking down Mega Sableye and giggling? That is the most adorable thing ever. Also, Mega Lopunny rocks. If anybody points at a, a Pokemon says you can't like it because it's furry bait, fuck them. That's stupid. Yeah, both. But I think both Octo and Demo put them on like the bottom tier because they thought it was undeserved because it looked because it was just furry bait. I'm like, bruh. You know, at anyway. least they get so, at least Lopunny gets some fucking rep. Anyway, uh, the only ones I the only ones I disagree with on uh, the amazing tier are uh, Houndoom and Bennett, but uh, both of those are because of my own personal preferences. So I'm not going to say anything. You mean like they're better or they're worse? Uh, I mean, I'm just not a fan of either Pokemon, so I can't really speak. Oh, fair enough. I don't know. I just think they're like. I feel like both of those could have been, like, evolutions, you know? Like, uh, Houndoom I can see. But Nets, I'm not so sure, Same but that's with, just because like, I don't... Mawile? Absol Mega should've Mawile been... should have just been an evolution outright. Same with Absol. Yep. Uh, also, really quick. Yep. I'm ignoring that you you put Diancy in there, because I... Fuck Diancy. I, know you I don't like it. it, and then it got. I, I don't like it. It got a Mega, and it, when it was a Gen 6, they were like, oh, we're not gonna get any, any Gen 5 Pokemon. And, and then we Mega. got Audino. And then we got Audino, and they didn't give Zoroark one, one that deserves it. <laughs> Zoroark needs it. Nah. I think I like one of this. I would have loved it to have a Mega. Anyway. Like, there's some Pokemon that are like, oh, they deserve Megas, they deserve Megas, like Flygon. I don't think Flygon needs a Mega, I think Flygon is fine as it is. I don't think, like, the, I think there are Pokemon that don't deserve Mega that got it. Like, you know, Stars are immune to getting killed. Gadrill. Or Garchomp. Gadrill. Or Titar. Yeah. Uh. But. but. Also, I hate Mega Garchomp's look. I hate it so much. It looks so fucking stupid. We're getting there. Let me, let me, let me just get, get out. Get down, uh, Seize. Your, your B tiers. Uh, I disagree slightly with, with Metagross. I put it slightly lower, but that's just because I don't like the design. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I, I'd say the same with B drill. Honestly, it's one of the few like Gen One not like it's. I think like it did. Beedrill a little bit justice, making it, you know, more drill. Fair enough. Uh, but as much as I like Latios and Latias, if I were just doing this off of design, it would go in D, not in Yeah, same. B. It's like, I, I love them, so that's why they're like, high up there, and, you know, it's cool that I... it makes a match, but it's like, why the same color? I'm pretty sure the shiny is also the same color. I am very, uh, also design-centric when it comes to this shit. Oh no, personally. don't worry, a lot of these Pokemon are also uh, because of design. Uh, for example, uh, the, 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 the Heracross, Glalie, Aerodactyl, Pidgeot, and, uh, Garchomp, and Tidar. And Velkazam. I hate their designs. It's fucking disgusting. I hate them. It's just more. And you're like, but that's, right. that's what Megas are, basically, right? And, and yeah, but they did it so wrong. I like, I, I, I. All right, all right. Let me, let me continue. Sorry. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, uh, I need to bend my frustrations because I hate Mega Evolutions with a passion. I disagree with your Mega Mewtwo X. I prefer Mega Mewtwo X over Y. So I like, I, I put, prefer. I put, like the ones that I don't like, I put them on the undeserve. Which is X yeah, and I, Charizard X and, and Mewtwo Y. I just prefer the Y version just because I like the small. I don't know why. I've always been this way. I don't like it because of Butthead. But it also looks kind of like Frieza. Actually, they both kind of look like Frieza now that I'm looking at it. But the small Frieza, which... I'm yeah, not a big... Form uh, Frieza and, and second four Frieza. I know what you mean. I'm not, I'm not a big... Uh, Dragon Ball Z fan, but I've all I did watch the Frieza arc, and I I did enjoy it. I mean, I think Charizard. everyone that has watched anime at some point has has to watch uh, Dragon Ball and/or Dragon Ball Z. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm going to skip over Charizard because. Yeah, that's just gonna get toxic for me very fast. I prefer Agron X because I hate X because it's overrated. Same. Black and also, and also, why is better competitor? It's more competitively viable because of drought. Anyway, Agron, no. I can't disagree. Caesar, why did they do that to my boy? I prefer normal Caesar. Like cool yeah, and, that, and below is like, why do you give it to them? Like, okay, but that, cool, but why? That's exactly why I said, but why did they do that to my boy? You, I've already said my thoughts on Camerupt and, and Medicham. And Sharpedo. Yeah. I don't like Swampert, so I'm not going to comment. Neither uh, do I. I mean, I don't like it in the in the form of, like, I do not like it. It's like, okay. Gyarados? Eh. It just looks like a bloated Gyarados. <laughs> yeah. It just looks like it ate something that didn't agree with it. <laughs> yeah, like when cats eat wasps. We need we need to give him some insulin, not some insulin, some uh. We need to give him a shot to get the, get, get the anaphylactic yeah, reaction yeah. over. Anyway, uh, they got so close with Sceptile. I'd put it up a little higher personally. I, but, again, I think it's cool, nothing more. But like, it's like I I would if you tell me if you ask me, do you prefer the normal version of the Mega? I will I will tell you the normal one. But I still think I still think they could have gone a little harder with the design and a little harder with the stats. It's like slow, so, bro. I'm not gonna comment. So like, okay, do you want to know why I think it's why it's so low? Except that. Go ahead. The Christmas tail looking ass. Tail. I mean, I just don't like the back person. I don't. I don't like the the the, the tail is so fucking gigantic. Also, yeah. Why the dragon? But... Why give it a four times weakness to ice? But my problem with uh, Sceptile's, I, I, I just always thought the Grobile's design was more solid anyway. I mean, we are Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fans, of course. Yo, I, I liked it before Mystery Dungeon. Because of, I just thought it looked so much cooler. It's one of the few middle evolutions that just gets it right. Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry, it's just, it's become my favorite starter. Breaks in. I mean, I just Quilava. say Freebait, but yeah. Yeah. Breaks, uh, Quilava, uh... Yeah. Dua. Not Dua, yeah. I, a Toracat. I like, mm. I genuinely like Toracat. It, like, if, if I didn't like Toracat, yeah. uh, in Sun, I would've only had a Litten. And I'm not I, You know what? It. You know what? I can, I can, I can agree there. I like Toracat. I don't like it as much as... Litten, but yeah, I like it. I mean, it's um, big cat, it's a big fluffy cat with a fire bell. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I did also either. send you. I did also send you the the starter tier list and the, and the legendary tier list. If you want to look at them. Anyway, uh, do you want to continue talking about the tier list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aircross, fuck that design. I hate it. I hate it. I hate. It. I hate. It. Glalie, what did they do to my boy? Kong, just like dislocated jaw looking ass. Yeah. Uh, no comment on anything to, uh, uh, what, Mon, what the you... fuck is it? Sableye. Uh, I'm skipping straight to Sableye. Okay. I like it. I don't. Maybe it's because I, I have I... bias against Sableye as well, but I do not like Mega Sableye. I don't understand why it's just like, oh, big gem. I, it's I put literally it on just me. add a big gem and that's it. Yeah, but it's a goblin. It's a little goblin boy. I like I, I, I like the Sableye. little goblin boy Sableyes. I played. I play. I used a Sableye in black and white. Fucking useless. I had to have it because one of my teammates on the on the cable link had a fucking. I think it was a legendary on that slot, so I was forced to use it. And I hate it even more because of Unite. Because I hate this Pokemon in Unite. Why did I have to make all, like 90% of the ghost types fucking cringe? The only non-cringe ghost type is fucking Cerulege, and that's because it's fucking Cerulege. Sorry. Yeah. I just I, I you can see I have enough hours in <laughs> in Unite to have hatred towards certain Pokemon. Yeah. And by uh, certain uh, hours uh, I mean like more than 700. Help. Actually no, don't. It's my rage. It's my rage rate game. Gar Garchomp looks like two things. One. I 
a praying mantis. Who? It's some alien that I've seen somewhere and I can't put my finger on it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work for Garchomp's design no, no. because of because of uh, the themes of it's up to give up to there. It's a, it's a land um, it's a land chart, right? Something like that. But it's why does it add? Like, I don't get why they added the like weird teeth on the chest and the like scythe arms. It just doesn't work for me. Same here. Tyranitar, uh, no clue it's just, what what's wrong with that design. I it's just like there's so many things I don't know where to start. Oh, last thing you like it or something you don't? I don't. I don't know where to start with it. All the spikes. Yeah, but there's so many other things that I don't like about it. No, that's too. like I, I'm 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 giving you a point to begin. Yeah, but then then I'm like, but then that's the thing. I it's, don't have anything to say about them because it would just be like, oh wow, those spikes are bad. Oh wow, look at the fucking weird things on its chest. That's bad. Uh, I don't even have like a why question. Uh, okay, so, and then I saved Alakazam for last for one reason. The meme? I don't really have an opinion on Alakazam. Fair enough. I just, like, how, how funny Alakazam I, I, and 5, and five uh, vanilla-ish uh, uh, vanilla meme, but that's pretty much it. But here's the thing. I don't even remember where I put this on the uh, tier list last time. I... I think I put it higher than I would today, but that's my thing. Part of the reason why I don't like it has nothing to do with its design. It has nothing to do with its stats. It's just to do with the fact that, like, it's Alakazam, and then on top of that, something happened in Gen 6 that made me hate it so much more. Not Gen 6, Gen 7. Sorry. I'm surprised you haven't talked about most of the. Uh, uh, did you talk about everyone else? Come I on. skipped some. Okay. Because I just had no comments. Oh, fair enough. Uh, but like Alakazam in Gen 7, the reason why it sucks is because the first fight against a Mega Evolved Pokemon is one of the strongest in the lineup. When you're not prepared for it, and you can just randomly encounter this without knowing, huh? the the mega evolution shit in Gen Seven, mm -hmm. I think I kept saying six. Uh, in Sun and Moon, is done post story, and you find it while just wandering around, or well, you can accidentally find it while Brett. Not in the battle tree, no. No, going to the battle tree, if I recall, it's when you find the two the two Calosian people that were researching with uh Yeah, something Sigmar, like that. And then they fight you and they, but, they have a Mega Lucky Sam or they had a Mega Lucky Sam. Yeah, it's their last Pokemon. Huh. Ah. Which means if you lose You have to start from the beginning of the fight. Which is why I hate this gimmick gimmick thing at the end bullshit. Because if you end, you have to rewatch all the cutscene bullshit of that. Oh, yeah, That's why I've always hated it. <laughs> what? Final Fantasy X, if you lose a boss fight, you have to rewatch right. all the cutscenes. Okay? Yes, but at least they didn't put the cutscenes at the end for the most part. <laughs> they, they put it at the beginning. Yeah, again, if you lose to a fight, you have to rewatch the cutscenes again. And at least Final Fantasy X and Kingdom Hearts both games with that problem got remade in a way that you could skip the cutscenes. But regardless, I lost that fight three times, and it was infuriating. And I was max level. So what- so they just- yeah, something like that. And they just expected me to fucking fight Alakazam in a, with an actual good kit, and just like, out of nowhere, and the difficulty just spikes up randomly. Fuck you. Fuck you eternally. Right, do you want anyway, to the only over... oh, okay. the, the only thing that deserves more hate 
is the fact that two of the most overrated Pokemon got two extra Megas. I wonder why. Because they're two of the most overrated Pokemon. Exactly. And because they said money. I, I don't. Uh, people will be like, oh, but Charizard is. Charizard is Nick super popular. Or whatever. Exactly. That's why they're overrated. Yeah, and it's just, it's like, it's one of the icons, like the Pikachu. It's just like, you, you sh so? That, that is exactly the point. That's exactly, it's okay to dislike, there are many people who dislike Pikachu because it's the icon. Who the fuck cares? I mean, I like it because it was my partner in PMD, in PMD2, and, you know, I also have, well, my sister has a fat ass Pikachu. Yeah, I like Pikachu. I like Pikachu. I got nothing against it's like, Pikachu. It's like, no, but like Harvey, it's like fat Pikachu plushie. I like Raichu better, though. I mean, I, I like the whole line. I think I do prefer I, no more Raichu over no more Raichu, but that's just me. Uh, I, I can agree there, too. Like, I will, I will, I will forever and ever say that a, a low one Ninetales is worse than regular Ninetales. Uh, yeah. because it is. I'm not going to tell why. You can probably guess why. Uh, but I do prefer Will and Raichu over regular Raichu. I like psychic types, so of course I'm going to prefer it. Also, I also I like prefer the regular Zigzagoon over uh, Galarian. And it's not just because of Pokemon Mystery Engine 1 with Mappa the Zigzagoon. I've always really liked Zigzagoon, and I did not like what they did to it in Gen 8. Okay? okay. I mean, I like Dobbs to Goon. I just, I don't like Ziggy Zagoon. I hate Galarian Linoon. The fucking, like, the little, 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 <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna discuss our other tier lists that I have? Yes, but I'm gonna just there's a lot more on the starters ones, so, so I'm gonna be skipping a lot. Yeah. Uh, first off on the starters, where the fuck is Duwat? Why is Duwat one one layer lower than Goated? How uh, dare you? Because I think it's a great starter, but I don't think it's Goated. How dare you? What? Why is? Why is Servine not with uh, Snivy? How dare because you? Because I prefer Snivy and Super and Servine. I think it's a totally perfectly fine. Sorry, I think. I think great, all three. I, I think I just all three are perfect. In my I opinion. I prefer the other me. two. So no complaints about the go to tier. I have one other complaint. Okay. How dare you not put Quillava and go to tier? I think it's great. I think all three of them. Lava. Kalava? Kalava is adorable and awesome at the same time. You cannot tell me it's not goaded. It's adorable. It's your best. It's the best. You say that because you have a Kalava plushie. I, I, I say that because it was my second start. It was my actual, like, first starter to Yeah, and mine was evolve. Piplup. So, you can tell I, fully... I am biased towards Piplup, but I'm realistic at the same time. Look at what Primplup is. Yes, but uh, Quilava is literally my favorite. Actually, there's one other one that I have a complaint with. Okay. Why do you and Sam don't n uh, not like uh, Hisui and Typhlosion? <laughs> I just think it's pretty good. I just prefer a normal one, so that's why it's slow. I like I I, uh, I like. Don't get me okay. wrong. I think it's a like a perfectly good starter. I just prefer the normal one. That's why it's lower. Yeah, you know, you know when I when I make that joke, it's more just me exaggerating my feelings, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, when I, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm like I sometimes take things a little too literally. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, why is Quilava not goated? And like, I, I'm always, I'm always like, when people ask me questions, I don't like, I have this problem. I don't really get rhetorical questions. I, I, have, I always think that I have to answer them. <laughs> Sam, Sam's the same way. I get it. That's why I, I keep going with the joke to see if you you'll catch on. I'm not going. To. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to. So like, yeah. 
Also, as uh, you can see, the Mega Evos and Ash Greninja are all in the I'm, I'm not even gonna. Just so you I'm know. not gonna worry about. I'm not gonna worry about them right now. Yeah. Uh, I will say though, I don't get why Sam hates East Sweden Typhlosion. I really like it. I think, honestly, I put it up alongside Quillop. I really like Typhlosion. I, mm. I, I just like East Sweden slightly better. But that's because okay, that's because it's kind of taking from uh. Like, it's like mythology of like soul guides and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Afterlife soul guides, and I it's I fun. love that. I I love more I normal type potion more than Hisuian because of, of this little short. Okay, but my thing is, I just he's adorable. He's I, just a big guy. I don't want to hug him. Look, look. I'm not saying I don't love Typhlosion. I love Typhlosion. Honestly, uh, even even with you know the the Gen Six shit towards Typhlosion's model, I think it's a perfectly fine model. I just I just think I just think that the Hisuian variant of Typhlosion mm -hmm. just pushes it over the edge just a little bit more into Goten for me. Fair enough, completely completely understandable. And. I, if it weren't for the lore, I think I'd be like, it would probably be same tiers, hmm. normal typhlosion. Uh, but Quilava will always be, like, uh, be way above it. So like both of us have middle starters as our favorite starters. Is what I'm hearing. Uh, pretty much. Because, again, after, you know, playing Gen Nine, I absolutely fell in love with Floragato. Especially after the DLC, when when you can you know control for Agato and you can do funny little, little tricks with the yo-yo, I'm like I love him. He is baby. Yeah, my... I actually found oh, I'm uh, I like uh, through the DLC. I actually found or not through the DLC, the uh, Gen Nine. I actually found out I like Miascarada more than I, I I thought I would. So Dude, I, I I completely really get that. I, I like uh, when I saw when I saw Sprigatito, I was like. I was like with everyone Adorable. else, I was like, please do not give us uh, an Incinero situation where it's like two quadrupeds and then end up, end up bipedal. If you're going to give us a uh, bipedal first start, at least give us like a Del Fox situation where it's like quadruped, bipedal, bipedal. Which it did. Which it did, and I love it, and it's like I have a spring of plushie. Speaking of Del Fox, oh, no, never mind, I, I, I just found it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's out there. Also, yes, right. it, it's also like the, the Colosseum and XD starters are also there. Technically, XD because Eevee's there. And uh, uh, I love Actually, Eevee. I think that's supposed to be the Let's Go. I think that's I know also that's supposed the Let's to be the Let's Go. I, I know that's Let's Go logo. I said I said it's technically both. Yes. That's what I said. Yeah, that's, that's but, what I was also thinking. But I will say, Wes is goaded for having two starters, and they're both the best Eeveelutions. Don't at me. <laughs> I mean, it's not flaring on, but they're good. I said, don't at me! I didn't add you, I was just stating my opinion. You added me! Anyway, uh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. I do um, think Bayleaf is also a good start. I do have you're... bias because of Ash's Bayleaf. At what? Uh. No, I don't want to know. Ash's Bayleaf? She's adorable. Oh, Ash! Oh, Ashes! I yeah. think you said fascist. <laughs> oh no! I said Ashes, what? I believe. <laughs> How did I hear fascist? Uh, I, I was like, what? <laughs> I have no idea how to say fascist, but... I, I was like so concerned for a second that there was a meme series that I was not aware of. <laughs> oh my god. I'm here. Anyway, uh... Where were we? So, tier 2. Yeah, okay, A tier. A tier. Uh... Why Torterra? I like Torterra, he's a big guy. I don't get pe why people like th that whole line. I, I like it, I, I like the idea of like the tree of the, the world of the Sinner Turtle. I just it's a personal thing I just think it's ugly I think I think all three are ugly as hell that's your opinion that's, I like again I think yeah like the turn trick line I think it's good great even because 
Torturia is just a big guy with a big tree where Pokemon can live, and I love that idea. Yeah. And Torturia's uh, just a little guy. It's just a little turtle that I'm, I can put to the moon. I'm also just... So... I, I'm not a big fan of the... the the dancing bird from Gen 9. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Quackoval? He's, he's I, I can't so fucking say it. I... I don't know. Something about it... About... About them just doesn't... It's I not that I dislike or like. It's just... I, I don't feel either way toward them. When I saw the evolution of Salsa, I was also like... I was like... Eh, However... And then I and then I saw I, how it moved and everything like that. I'm like, oh my god. When we get to, when we get to uh, the next tier, you'll hear my feelings about it, about your positioning of a certain one here. Uh, uh, I assume uh, Fuegoga. Yes, but we'll get to that. Not Fuegoga. No, uh, we'll get to that in a second. But okay. anyway, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, so, I like all three. No, I I don't like the water starters of Gen Two. I, I mean. I, I, I have I have bias. I, I will admit 100% I have bias. Because my yeah, starters like I, for... Uh, I... Sorry. My starter for Explosive Darkness was Turtledile. So, you know. Fair enough. And it's just big, big, big alligator man. And I... also no thoughts had empty little guy. So, I really... So, I thought Turtledile was alright. I don't like Croknaw. I, I mean, I think Croknaw is one of those, like, one of those but, middle a, middle stage evolutions. I think it could be better. I think it's. But here's really the thing. Bad. I really don't like Feraligatr. What did he do to you? He did several things. Oh my. One, I don't like his design. Yeah. Two, I hate that they've never fixed the typo in his name despite having more characters on, ah! on, on, I, I didn't even call it I don't usually call it Feraligator, I, I call it Feraligot like changes the T for the R wait, Feraligot yeah because Feraligatr right? yeah, GTR yeah, I say GTR I, I just G don't R -T. get why they never fix that so many fan games have fixed that. It doesn't take long. Oh no. Why? <sighs> Sorry, that one. Pi that typo pisses me the fuck off so hard. I can see that, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> me, because my my brain does not does not read things correctly all the time. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen me do this. Yes. So when I. <laughs> So when I read something that's misspelt, it bothers me. Because it could have fucked me up. Mm. Anyway. The I can agree with Megadium. You already know. Oh, where are we going to be here? Oh, that was good. Yeah, 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 I I don't disagree with a lot of your uh A tier. I've already told you my opinions on Swampert and Zeptile and all that. So Yeah, which again I just I think Gem three yeah. Like, there's a couple gens that I think all the starters are minimal, like, good. Which are gens... Uh, one, because that's iconic, but could be better. Gens 3? Gen 3 starters, or uh, first stages, are all great. I agree. No, in general. Like, the even the lines. Like, even if the second evolutions for two of them are kind of bad. But, like, first yeah. and last evolutions are all great. Uh, Gen yeah, 9... I don't like Swampert, but I can agree that uh, at least the other two have good final and mid uh, evolutions, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Combuskin. I mean, uh, as you can I see, like... I hate Combuskin because it looks like I'm a not... dog. I'm not the biggest fan of Blaziken, but I love its design. Its design is great. I mean, giving giving it, uh, like, playing it in Unite made me also kind of appreciate it a little bit more because it looks but... really cool. Because it can't, like, it's old. It's like a stance change. Yeah, so but he uses I just it attacks using its legs, and they can change it to attack using its hands, and I I find that really cool. But I just really don't like Swampert. It's a personal thing. Oh well. All right, uh, B tier. Yep. I can agree with Meganium. I don't get the love for Fuecoco. No thoughts on empty. 
I mean, yeah, I like a lot of things that's, that are that's no thoughts head empty. That's literally but... why. That is literally why. But... Cute, cute croc with no thoughts head empty. But yeah, I also don't like its final evolution. I, I do. I, I also do like the idea that it's a singer and that the thing on it's like it's like a bird on the tip of the nose. Like it's an actual yeah. fire bird, like an, uh, a different creature living alongside it. I like the idea of it. I just don't like its execution. Mm, fair enough. But. Yeah. How dare you put Quaxley in B? Again, I think it's a completely fine evolution. I, I just prefer Quaxley, and I don't like Quaxley. Quaxley deserves A. Quaxley is a little cutie. Quaxley's a little cutie. I love him. I, I love know, him. Maybe too much, He's a little for my liking. Little little blue-footed booby. Honestly, I'm looking at tier list. I think I might have to take. He's suing the CGI down a little more. If you did, I'd disagree with you. I'm like, I'm looking at him like... Okay, I like he's suing the CGI, but I do agree that it's B tier at most. I don't think it like, deserves comparing lower, it, personally. Comparing it to... Oh, I didn't mean like lower the tier, but I mean like below... Uh, like, I think I would move around those, like, last six. Like, it's not, like, fully ordered. I think only S tier's order and bottom tier's order. I don't, I don't order them when I'm doing tier lists, so I, I wasn't even paying attention to For me, it depends. Order. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I usually do try to order top tier because, you know, it's the top of the tippy top. Yeah. Samurai, I, I think... I think he's and Sa Samurott got a little too high in my opinion. I, th I, I don't like it. I think he's too edgy, so that's why it's in B tier. It's but I do think it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good Pokemon because yeah. Samurott's also great to begin with. It's too similar to the original Samurott for me. I mean, by proxy, he's doing Typhlosion is very similar to the original Typhlosion. The only one that is like yeah, really but... changes is and the Citra. <sighs> okay, but. They still did enough to change it to make it feel different, mm. is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah no, I'm really fair enough. You, you don't have to, to... To make something different enough, you don't have to, like, change it completely. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying mm -hmm. to say, you just have to change it enough to give it a different feel. It's why I like Hisui and uh, 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 Sneasel. Oh, it's not Sneasel. different. I also love Sneasler. It's just... I love Sneasler, but it's just enough difference to make it feel different. Hmm. And I wouldn't say they're too different. No. Uh, I love Sneasler and I love Weavile just as much. Yep. They made they made a spin-off evolution that works. Yeah. Uh, Which is weird because not all not 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 many of them do work. Like what? What what other evolutions do we have? We have uh, uh What do we have? Oh, yeah, uh, Bastion Legion. Eh. I don't like Overquill. Eh. Overquill is just... I, I don't get their design standpoint for that. It looks I mean, like... Overquill. It looks like <laughs> Quillfish, but, like, with its quills out, which they could have just made a whole different form. I mean, that the pants and, of the quills are, like, super outwards. And, like, it and also, boring. like, they didn't need to make it such a long process to get... Oh my god, getting overquill is a pain in the ass. Didn't you have to use like 10 times Barbarash and like Strong Slide and that's it? I, I thought it was like 100 times. No, I think it was like 10. Regardless. I mean, at least it, it's not it's fucking just... Runarigas. I don't know how you get Runarigas, even uh, though I love to... Runarigas. It, it is like such a fucking head scratcher of an evolution. It, it it's the... I think you need to like do like level up on a on the desert area while you your mask is like 30 percent hp okay which like huh anyway uh yeah in, in poke farm they're just like yeah just put in the ghost area or not in the ghost area in the in the ground area that'll do it Fair enough. So where um we? Yeah, we're... I think we're still going through A's. Oh, yeah. No, we're B. Or B's. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. I meant to say B. I was looking at B and said A. Uh, Breon? Underrated. Uh... I feel it's underrated. Look, I know what the whole line is going for. 
But to me, they look like clowns. Hey, that, that's, that's kind of the point. At and least for the first two. Here's the thing. You hate clowns. I, I, it's not that I hate them, it's that I fear them. Ah. I can't rate them highly. I always put them low. Fair All three, I put low because I don't like clowns. They scare me. Ronald McDonald is the worst one. You know why? Here's Ronald McDonald. Because I hate mascot costumes. And Ronald McDonald is both. Uh -huh. He he can't I, I was eating at, at McDonald's with my grandmother and my sister once. Mm -hmm. And I just hid under the table when he came by. I was like, ah! Okay, that's kind of adorable. I was also like so, yeah. Anyway, Chikorita deserves to be higher. That's the only other thing I'm going to say. And also, I'm not debating our opinions on Bulbasaur and Squirtle, because obviously we know why we don't like... We, we like one more than the other. Yeah, basically. We, we, we have our preferences. Yeah, so and I'm not going to... Charmander's there because, honestly, even though Charizard's overrated as fuck, and I like Charizard, I do like Charmander. He's just a little, no, I'm, little I'm gonna, lizard. I'm going to agree there. I'm, I'm not... No disagreements. Also, see, as you can see, a lot of the higher-tiered Pokemon are grass types. Yeah, I've noticed. It's uh, funny, my... because my favorite type... I, 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 I always choose, like, most of the generations I've chosen the water starters. Uh, mine tends to be fire or grass. I'm not mine a big fan of water, water starters. Uh, because... Yeah. Except, like, Gen 1's... Like, I can tell you Actually, a list of, like, what stars you should choose on every gen. Mostly grass, now that I'm thinking about it. Most of my favorites are grass. Do you want to go through the gens to see what star we will pick for each game? Uh, in, in a bit. Okay. In, a, in a second. I just want to quickly knock this out. We're getting close to the end. First off, Chespin is underrated. I will always I, say I, that. I don't... Okay, so I don't like the line. I think Chespin's fine. Could be better, yeah. But that he is I, the, he is brought down by his emotions by a lot. I I love Chestnut. What are you saying? I hate Chestnut. <laughs> With a passion, Yo. and I and and mind you, I have chosen Chespin on X and Y. I chose no, Chespin I... to see if I could, you know, using Chespin and Chestnut would make it like like the Pokemon more. It did not. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I had the reverse happen. I didn't like Chespin and all that, and then uh, and so I went through with Delphox. But at the end, when uh, the weird, creepy, way too in love with you girl. Yeah. Came by and was like, gives me, she gave me a chestman. I'm like, okay, thanks. But then I leveled it up. And I started to just fiddle around with it. I'm like, I, actually, I kind of like you, chestnut. Like, I am currently shiny hunting chestman in, in, in Violet because I do like the shiny chestman, but I'm intending on keeping it a chestman. Anyway, uh,. War Turtle is underrated. In I think, it's a, I think it's a perfectly opinion. fine uh, second stage. Could be better, yeah. a little bit, but I think it's perfectly fine. Same with Charmeleon. I, I think I, I think I have bias towards Ivysaur because I fucking love playing Ivysaur in Brawl. Like, yeah, it might be the worst single adult character in that game, but man, is it fun to play as Ivysaur. Okay, now... Also, quadrupedal, uh, quadrupedal, only quadruped character in the game. Fair enough. Uh, I really wanted Absol, and they never gave me Absol. Mm. Or Zoroark. I mean, anyway. Zoroark's at least a Pokeball. Yes, but I wanted more. Fair enough. Anyway, but I will say, I actually like Charmeleon. Uh, I actually put Charmeleon in A, believe it or not. I, I can I can see why. Like, Charmeleon is... A, I mean, I, I think it's a perfectly fine starter. It could be better, yeah. But I think it's yeah, a perfectly uh, fine starter. But, uh, the one that I think I, that stands out to me the most in this is Inteleon, but not for the reason you might think. Uh, do you think it should be lower? Yes, but not for the reason you might think. All right, hit me. Why? So, I think, okay, so before, okay, sorry. Before you tell me why, the, I will tell you the reason why it's up there. Snapshot. And the Gigantamax. Okay, fair enough. Because the Gigantamax not... being a giant sniper tower is kind of cool, and the move is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna disagree. But 
But that's not even the- neither of those take any part in this. The reason- just Inteleon, had I- <clears throat> I think in my writing list I put it at S tier B- a D? Yeah. Just a couple of days ago, it dropped to F. Oh. It dropped to E or F. Because of one reason, I saw it's shiny. Oh, yeah, no, the shiny's kind of... It's cool. shiny. It's, it's abysmal. Yep. Who chose those colors? Yep. Who? Oh, they are terrible. Yeah, I completely What were they agree. thinking? Honestly, do you see the shiny for uh, Cinder? For Cinder, huh? Yeah. Have you seen the shiny for Cinder Rings? I've not, actually. I'm going to send it to you. I, I genuinely love it. That's why I have a shiny Cinder Rings, but... Oh, I, it's like how I love... Uh, the shiny Kulava set. They're so cute. So pretty. Like... Uh... Hold on. I'm sending it to you. So if you... If you... Yo. You know what it reminds me of? That I speak of what? funny? What? <laughs> you, you can see why, right? Yes! But yeah, I have a shiny Cinderace. All right, so let's look at D. Okay, hold on. Let me set it. I need to. I need to put it up again so I can. Yeah, D for I do not like you. Uh, honestly, I'd put these all lower, but that's just me. All of uh, them? Not all of them. God damn. But uh, I mean, fair enough. Okay, but so I at, will give at the you... same time. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I can't disagree with you enough uh, uh, because I don't really think that they're that. I I don't think that I disagree too much. So like I I personally would, but I can't say that they're they're fair enough. You know. I will tell you so I will tell you Incineroar, if it weren't for uh Smash, it would be on E tier. I hate Incineroar, but I love playing as Incineroar and Smash. Under Feral. And um, also Incineroar is really good. So Yeah. You know, I've uh, I've gotten used to him to the point of like he's at the top of D tier for a reason. Like I don't like I tolerate you, I don't like you. And then I think this is going to be our strongest disagreement because I'm skipping straight to to your E, but I I call it F. Yeah. Why are you blaspheming my boy Dartrix? I don't like it at all. I I, I don't I don't like it <laughs> whatsoever. I do not Bro. like this Pokemon. Bro, Dartrix is amazing. I'm what do you fine. mean? Its its design is so cute. It's it's cute. It's got the little, like wise owl look. I love that. It's just so much is great. It's like seeing yeah. Rowlet and seeing Decidua and then seeing Dark Tricks for me is like great, uh, great. And I don't, I don't see. This is our strongest disagreement on this tr on oh, this well, one. Yeah. Because I, I really, I put Dark Tricks A. At least easy. You know, a. we're having a civil conversation about this. If anyone, like other people, were talking about this, they will be fucking flaming me about my decisions, because, you know, it's the internet. Yeah. Alright. Quick, quick, uh, legendary discussion. You can see, okay, I, I, I assume you understand why the, the, the bottom six are where they are, right? Let's see, bottom six. It's funny, because my top one and bottom one are both grass middle uh, middle stages. There's no, there's no six, what do you mean? Uh, the bottom six for E for E, Thwacky, uh, Rillaboom, Warren, Inferno, Infernape, and then more. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were talking about... I thought you and were talking about Pick the legendary. No. Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, that's the only one I disagree with. Okay. Was you putting dark tricks there. Okay, legendaries. We're not gonna... I'm not even gonna discuss the other forms. Yeah, no, we're that, that's why... We're skip that's, that for... That's the reason why they're there. It's just other forms jail. We don't care about those. I'm only interested in the normal ones. Alright, so I actually can't speak on Marshadow. I think it's adorable. I think it's No, adorable. I don't know enough... I don't know enough about it. Okay, let me send you a gift of Marshadow. Well, you'll need to... I need to learn more about Marshadow before I can say much about it. I'm just showing you that. Anyway, um... Nothing. I'm not a fan of the... I'm not a fan of the fish. You, you I, I also fish? don't... 
saying that it's like, uh, not, I'm not that big of a fan. I'd probably put an A. Okay, fair enough. It's not just that. like, I, uh, I just think it's so silly. Also, uh, I hate Game top... Freak because the shiny for Chiyu is absolutely fucking amazing. Yeah. Have you seen it? Uh, no. But, um, I put all the tapus in B. I'm sorry, just not that big a fan. Fair enough. I, I, I can understand uh, why, just... Again, have a couple biases towards the girls because they're cute. Also, that's yeah. the shiny for Wait, you. And oh my god, that's one of the great. Sickest, and one of the sickest uh, shiny locked shinies that we've had in past times. Oh, and it's I'm locked? So, yes. No! I am so mad at Game Freak that they shiny locked fucking to you because it is genuinely a fucking amazing shiny. Ugh, that sucks. Uh, another one here that I can't really speak on is Zera Aura because I don't know enough about it. I fucking love Zera Aura. I don't know. I watched know the about movie, it. and it's. Great. I'm not gonna watch the movie. <laughs> uh, we're gonna watch it together. It's actually a really good movie. Maybe some other time. Okay, but yeah. Also, I love you. Made your own wrong category, by the way. What do you mean? I put platinum. Oh, you're on the crew too. You're on the crew but too. I still, I updated it to platinum. What the fuck? Uh... Well, I didn't even you. notice either, and I joined in the middle of this. Oh my thank god. Thank you. Also, I mean, so... but yeah, I thought, I, I sort of I thought it was in Pokemon Planet because I updated it. Anyway, okay, anyway, so you can't talk about Zora. Uh, Big sad. Yeah, because I just don't know. Okay, cool. I, I just don't know enough about it. Fair uh, Meloetta, I'd put B. I love Meloetta. I'm not a big fan. I will ha I will admit, uh, I have a little bit of a bias for the small mythicals. That's fair. I do too. But I'm just not a fan of Meloetta. That's why they're all at minimum like A or S. I think the only one, ex the only exception is Keldeo. Fuck Keldeo. Uh, I think it's fine. It's it's cute. We'll, we'll, get, to, we'll get to we'll get there when we good? we'll get to when we get to it. Uh, I will also say, based for liking me right on as well. I uh, fucking. Fuck yes. Why do you think? Why do you think I went for Violet? <laughs> oh my God, Techno Lizard. <laughs> Yes, I I, I, lo I saw it's it and I was like, oh my god, it's a Pearl Gem. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking! Fucking and then, hell! And then you go through the game with it and I'm like, I love you. Literally, you, know, you, know, just... what my, you don't want to know what my Mi Raidon in game is called? What? Friend Smiley Face. I just I just kept it because I, I liked Mi Raidon and then I just looked yes. I know, but it's like, he's, he's my friend, Smiley Face. You know? Yeah. Also, I'm surprised uh, you haven't commented on on the top is to top tier. I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't like the Gen three starter. Uh, Gen three. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, it's also I don't like, like the Gen three uh, legendaries that much. I I, I don't want to comment. The only one I like is um, or the Gen three box legendaries. I should say. I'm go walk dog. Okay. Uh, it's the only like... one that I like mm -hmm. is Rayquaza. So I'm gonna put it A. Fair enough. It, like, for me, I one of the reasons why I like Gen 3 so much is the lore between the three of them. How they just fucking tire and ground and just fucking hate each other. Like, you want a fucking goal, bitch? You want a fucking goal? A fucking deck in yeah. great glasses like, stop fighting! My my thing is that, uh... And I also that have, like... a lot of... Sorry. Is that, uh, those three created a lot of division when it, uh, it, it became two discussions with my friends. And I just kind of got tired of them. Fair enough. It's like, for me, I have, like, embedded in my brain, like, by by the flames of Al, Gen 4 Platinum Kyogre using Surf. Yeah. Because I um, used Kyogre a lot, because I transferred one from my brother's copy of Emerald, and I still have it. He's also quirky natured. Fun fun fact, both my Kyogre and Groudon on Platinum both are quirky natured. Neat. Yeah, they're both quirky and stuff. Alright, so... With that, quirky let's go little, to... Quirky little con uh, legendary Pokemon. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to... You're gonna have to help me with the lore for Marshadow and Zero. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what, what I can do. I don't know much about Marshadow either, but Zero is just cool. I also... Okay, there's also an artist called Rhyme... Uh, Rhyme... Rhyme... Atelier, who's also a Unite player, and he draws, like... He's a Zero Aura main in Unite, which I, I, at one time I got to play with, uh, with him on a game, and I was ecstatic and I was super nervous, and they were super chill too. They're Japanese, okay. and it was great. 
and they draw and they draw like lore for the Zerora character, and it's adorable. All right, next what? Ne next tier. Okay. Uh, okay, I have to. I have an admission here. Go ahead. I don't like any of the Galarian uh, of the trio. Honestly, I think Articuno is fine because it's Articuno, and I fucking love Articuno, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I don't like I just... Moltres, and I think okay. The reason why I like Galarian Sabdos. <clears throat> Uh, someone told me once that the shiny makes it look like a chocobo, and I like chocobos, and also it's funny running bird. Fucking zoomies. I just... I don't know, their designs just don't do it for me. Also, just a heads up, the forms that I have on the place are the forms that I like more, but generally they would be around the same place if I also put, like, extra forms. Okay. I'm saying this because um, of Skyming for uh, uh, Shaming Sky form and Giratina Origin form. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Um, okay. I'd put Giratina one up. I like it better. But that's just me. I've, I've just always been a Giratina sim, mostly because I found it on my own in Pla in uh, Pearl before Platinum came out. Before it I was think released. You just stumbled upon it. I just stumbled upon it. I was just exploring the world. I didn't look up a guide. That's what I I'm saying. I stumbled it. upon it. it. And it was like so cool. I was like, what? It's the same for what me is with Heatran. I fucking like Heatran's up there for a couple of things. First of all, Heatran was my first Pokemon at level 100. Yeah. So, you know, and second of all, finding this is very cool and I am very attached to Heatran. Yeah, I put Heatran C. Fair enough, I, I completely agree. Again, very much nostalgia bias towards Heatran. Yeah, I, I found Heatran as well, and I just... Not for me. Um, Fair enough. Would you put Solgaleo? I'm uh, trying to see where you put Solgaleo B. really quick. Lower B. Lower B? Yeah. Yeah, I'd swap uh, Solgaleo and uh, Lunala person. I, I love Lunala. It's funny, I because Sol I have Galeo. Sun. So you, make, so you would think I like Solgaleo more. No, I have Sun because my sister had Moon. I have Sun. I just like Solgaleo. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I'd put uh, Latias higher by one. In fact, I'd also put Latios up there. Fair enough. I um, like them, but it's like, they're also up there. Like, if, if it weren't for heroes, they would be me. I really like Anthro versions of them. Uh, All I'm going to say, Chair. I will have to find some. It's been a while since I found some. But, um, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Reshiram would also be up one level. Uh, Diancy would be in F. I, like I don't Diancy. like Diancy. Again, bias or small uh, mythicals. And also the Diancy movie. Yeah. Are... Yeah, I'm not going to watch that movie. Nope. Okay. Uh, I just really don't like Diancy. It it it, it probably yeah, made a long way. Yeah, I know. I know. It's against it because it has a mega and everything. It's not just I like. I just liked it before it's mega. I just I don't know. I don't even know why I just like it. I just just I just look at it and my mind just gets upset. I think it's because of the shapes of how irregular it is. Maybe, but I like some really irregularly shaped Pokemon. So, speaking of which. I'd put Eveltal in uh, S tier, personally. This is, okay, I will admit, this is because of bias against Genesis. I do think it's a, pretty good, it's a pretty good uh, legendary, that's why it's at the top there, but I have bias towards all their generations. Look, Bacon Bird is one of my favorite legendaries oh my God. in the series. Okay, I have to tell you something. This is a story my sister shared with me. Uh, she was doing a Evel this is Pokemon Go, by the way, so you know. She mm -hmm. was doing a Pokemon Go raid for Eveltal, and someone sent out a, a shiny Eveltal, and she's like, Man, I hope I don't get the shiny Eveltal, I don't like it that much. And that Eveltal was, happened to be shiny. And, uh, yeah, she has a shiny Eveltal in Pokemon Go. She called nice. it, I think, Atleti, because it's the, like, the same colors as our hometown's, like, team uh, emblem. Atleti Glue de Bilbao. Which is, like, red, mm -hmm. and, bla and, red and white. But yeah, I think it's a again perfectly fine start. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, Arceus, I'd put in B. Oh yeah. wait, we are in B. Yeah, we are. Actually, in B. no, I put it in A. I put it in A. Uh, 
funny llama, but, it, but uh, I mean, it's cool, the idea, it's cool, but it's like... Um, not sure? Yeah. You know? Um... Oh my god, why are you so loud? Uh... I, I agree with your... Legend, your uh, Sinnoh legendaries, I aside like from... Them. In the in the in the two next to it in that tier. yeah I, I prefer uh, Palkia over the Alga uh, the Alga over Palkia sorry also Primal the Alga Virizion yeah would be an S for me I I think okay so the reason why Virizion's in B it's because of uh, Gates Infinity I don't Fair really enough. like how they portrayed her in Gates of Infinity. I forgot she was in Gates. Also, I think that's one of the reasons why I dislike Gates, because of It's that. also the fact that it's like, they give you a, like, like, I love Gates, everyone knows this, I will defend that game until I die, but I do think giving you a Legendary super early on breaks the game a little, so I never used her. I And Cobalion is right next to her, because I have a bias, bias towards Cobalion, because it was uh, one of my first level 100 Pokemon in uh, Black and White. I'm 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 still um I'm I'm just gonna stick with what I said because I completely blanked that Verizian is in Gates Infinity as a main character. <laughs> I genuinely must have just blocked that from my memory. Maybe. Maybe. No, I, I feel like that's a definite. It would explain why I, I don't have this bias. I assume that the Pokemons that you haven't talked about, you're like, okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, or just don't have a comment. Fair enough. However, there is one I'm going to circle back to here in a bit. Okay. Um, Entei... Death or movie. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd keep it's it. It's above mind. Raikou because of the third movie. If not, I think it would be a little lower. I think it would be behind Raikou. I do like all three beasts. I love Suikun. I always thought it's, like, fucking beautiful and majestic. And we had a toy of uh, Suikun, and it's great. And we also had an Entei toy. But, like, the movie yeah. makes Entei such a fucking daddy. It's adorable. I love I, I, I love the third movie. It's probably the best movies. I mean, I like movies. it. I um, like it, but I, I prefer other movies over it. Like, I prefer the first but, movie over it, for example. But I do think it's... Ew! Look, okay. Blech. The only movies, the only Pokemon movies that have gotten me to cry are Pokemon Heroes of the first movie, okay? Seeing Pikachu cry and everyone else cry made me cry, and the music fits it very well. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just keep going. Sorry. I put Raikou in C, personally. I'd also put Keldeo in C. Fair enough. I like them. I, I put. I put Mewtwo in D. I know you. I I know you were going to, but I like. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's a little bit of also like Smash. Mewtwo is a lot of fun to play. I like. Again, I watched both the original movie and Mewtwo Returns. And Mewtwo Returns builds Mewtwo, like, really good. I so, like Mewtwo Returns. I don't like the first movie. I like Mewtwo Returns a lot. Oh, so this frying pan, it's your drying pan. It, that's one of the, the reasons why I loved it. And but also, actually, like, I, I, I Domino and the scene where they torture Mewtwo. Ugh, ugh, fucking hell. I, I don't know. Even though I don't like Mewtwo, I just like that movie a lot. Mm, yeah, like, I feel like they flesh it's, out that Mewtwo, that specific it's Mewtwo also, a lot. It's also just very strange the way it feels as a movie. I mean, it's more even like compared a, to. It's not like a it's not even full like a, movie. Yeah, but it's not even that. It's not even like a full movie either. It's it's not even like a, a half. It's not even like a TV special either. It's just kind of like this weird in between. Yeah. It's like it's like an extension ugh. of the original movie. Like if they yeah. made uh, what's it called? Like the Lord of the Rings extended edition, but with like the Mewtwo movie. They went at this at right after that. Yeah. You know? It felt like a direct-to-DVD sequel, but it wasn't... But it was higher quality than most direct-to-DVD yeah. sequels at the time. I That's the best way to explain it. I have it, I have it DVD, it. speaking of. Sorry. Yeah, and you know that... You probably know the menu I'm talking about that makes it feel that way. Hmm? The menu? Oh, I, I it, it's got a weird menu. Huh. Maybe... Anyway, I, 
I rewatched that movie a lot. That's how I remember it. I've rewatched it anyway, a couple times. Anyway, continuing, continuing. Keldia would be in D. Uh, Keldia? Didn't you just say C? Whatever. Whatever I said the last time. C, you said C. Uh, that, uh, the ghost horse Spectre. thing. Is that Spectre here? That's a Spectre, yes. E. Or F. Okay. Because you don't like Spectre or... I... I don't like its design. I don't know enough about it. But it's one of the few that I'm confident to talk enough about it because I'm like, I just don't like it. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I like um, it because haha, funny. I don't like a lot of... I don't like a lot of the Sword and Shield legendaries. Fair enough. I'm like... Like, they're... Okay. I don't really know much because I haven't played Gen 8, so I can't really give a full opinion on. Yeah, speaking of... Yes? Magirna. That's a Sword and Shield one, right? I think that's either Sword and Shield or Sun and Moon. I think it's Sun and Moon, actually, because it was you can obtain a Magirna now using a QR code on Sun and Moon. Which you can still get, by the way. If you I... can find the QR code for Magirna, you can get a Magirna. Even if the online is off. Fun fact. I don't know enough about Magirna, but I just don't like its design. Fair enough. It does have a recolor, too, which makes it look like the, the skirt is a Pokeball. It looks really good. And the shiny is like an Ultra Ball. I still don't like it. Fair enough. I like it. Again, small small legendary bias. Like, it's not as good as yeah. other, but I do like it. It's, you know, so right, mechanical let's... things. I like mechanical things. Yeah, let's circle back a bit. Now, you got two that I want to talk about in my circling back. First in off... What tier? Well, we're still in B. Okay, we're still so in B, we're so I'm circling B. back. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, is it called Terrakian? Uh, Terrakian is No, B. no, no. No, no, uh, sorry, sorry, wrong one. Uh, Landorus, sorry, brain is... Landorus Therian? Yeah, I, I don't like... I, I think that the... Darian forms are better, but I wouldn't put it in B. I mean, okay. So... I still wouldn't put it in B. I'd put it in C or D. Okay, so for me, it's like I. Again, I have bias for Lando over Thunders and Tornadoes because I did use Landers in Black and White. And seeing Landers Therian is like, oh, cool tiger form for this Pokemon that I like. So it's just like an upgrade. If not, it would probably be in B tier alongside the other two. Yeah, and speaking of, the other two would be in uh, F. I, I don't really care about them. So that's why they're in yeah. the tier. Like I said, I'd put them in F, personally. Fair enough. But, yeah. Alright. There were two. Let's What's get... the other one? The other one is... Actually, I'm not going to uh, disagree with this one. I just want to point out... Yeah. Had you put any form other than this form... 50? Zygarde? A Zygarde, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'd have disagreed with you. I, okay, so Zygarde is, like, I put all forms of Zygarde there. Like, I put 50% yeah. because it's the most iconic one, and also Snake. But, like, yeah, regardless, but I, I like, put any form there. I I think the Doggo is the only one that's decent of the other two. I mean, I do I like, the... I do like the, the Kaiju uh, complete form. And also, how, uh, the... how a little child... Com uh, com it just com does... I don't like it. I I really think it's over designed. I mean, I think that's the point. It's, I it's a I just down. really do not like its design. I just don't. I don't get. I don't. There's something about it that just doesn't rub me right. But but I do like Zygarde fifty percent. I just like it's yeah, that form. Like yeah, I do also like. And Zygarde there's another. 50%. There's another reason why I don't like it. I think it then. I think it in the full mech form. Mm -hmm. Conflicts with its does it conflicts with the, uh, you know, thematic design of Xerneas and Eveltal. I mean, it makes me think of like the summon Alexander, like the big ass like city summon. I think it's from six originally. Like this I mean, giant protector of the earth. Honestly, you know what it reminds me more of? It reminds me more of fucking Alexander from 13. 
Yeah, but you know, I don't like I that. Mean, I I mean, like the the kind of like giant uh, mech thing to protect the earth. I know what you mean. Okay. I know what you mean, and like, I don't know. It just looks more like Alexander from Thirteen, and I don't like that. I, don't, I haven't played Thirteen, so I can't really give an opinion for that. You don't need to, but I will. I wasn't planning on. Since you. Since you're okay with spoilers, I'll just show you. Yeah, I don't really... Again, I've never really cared about spoilers. I've lived my life watching YouTube, uh... Uh, YouTube, uh... That's 15. Playthrough. Why are you... There we go. Okay, maybe it doesn't remind me as much of... Oh, um, yeah, by the way, Carby, I'm sending you, uh, something. It is it, not safe for work. It is a spoiler, but it's, it's our, one of my characters. With someone else's character. It's spoiled. Okay. Just thought you'd like because one of them is an absol. Yo, holy shit. Big man. Yeah, I'm still not a fan. Yeah, fair enough. It just looks weird. Although, keep in mind, that was before I, um, before Perfect Alexander from Final Fantasy XIV, which mm -hmm. had it come out before mm -hmm. uh, Perfect, before 100% uh, Zygarde, I think I'd like it more, which by the way, this is Perfect Alexander in fourteen. Look at that fucker. Well, that just reminds me of Alexander from Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, One of the coolest. Oh, sorry, I'm chewing on plastic. Oh, okay. Just, just curious. I don't worry about it. I didn't realize you could hear it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> reason why I'm, reason why I like that is because not only is it like really cool looking, but mm -hmm. uh, Alexander is one of the most notorious raid tiers in all of Final Fantasy, fourteen. Um, and they were just like, all right, let's then as like our third ultimate ever create one based off of Alexander mm -hmm. and then they were like how do we make Alexander cooler ah make him stand up right and make him a reference to six but also make him combine with the other robots that he summoned fusion ah. yeah and on top of that the whole lore behind this is that basically instead of actually fighting perfect Alexander this is um a dungeon this is like it's not even a dungeon it would be cool it's like, now that you say it it oh, would be cool yeah but the I the idea is that this minstrel dude is like hey what if I exaggerated your tale to like the absolute nth degree of what could have been possible <laughs> and like bro what would Alexander, the god of time, in this, uh... Wait, Alexander's the, the god prime... of time? In, in 14, not really god of time, but can control time. Oh, I see. Uh, what if... What if he felt like you were strong enough and needed to go all out to really test you to make sure you were the true hero? Mm-hmm. He would fucking basically trap you in a bubble of time of both future and past colliding together in with the present until no and if fucking you have to do some weird bullshit and if he does you don't pass this test he just traps you in time permanently oh goodness like holy fuck this 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 thing is so powerful it's just like yeah, I'm only testing you, but I'm going all out now. Fuck you. And it's just, it's just like, crazy. He goes all out, fucking blasting you with everything he's got, and just deciding, like, Alright, this fight's taking too long. Cage on you. Cage on you. Cage on you. <laughs> and then just chains up all of time around him. God damn. Just bro. 
<laughs> Sorry, I got so invested in that. Anyway. Where were we? C tier. Oh, yeah, C tier. Um, last year would also be an F, personally. No, I like the horses and I don't like the rider. I don't like, I don't like either. I don't like all, any of them. Fair enough. And I don't even know that much about them. I just don't like them. They look cool together. I will tell you that. But like on their I've own. Seen, like I've seen I've what they them, look. I, I've put them on their own because I felt like it, it's more worth it to put them on their own instead of like combined. I've seen what they look like together. I don't like them together either. Fair enough. Necrozma, I'd put A. Eh, I like I Necrozma. I also feel like Necrozma is blown out of proportion. I, 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 okay, I don't like the whole Ultra stuff. I'm just talking about base Necrozma. I'm not a fan of I Necrozma. really like ba base Necrozma. I think it just looks really cool. I love its design. I love its whole thing. I, there's just something about it that I really like. Mm. Like, for me, it's like, uh, it's, it could be better because of Ultra Necrozma, if not, would be on Donk Air. Yeah, so, Lugia and Xerneas I'd put in B, personally. I feel Same like... Same with Deoxys. Okay, Deoxys is... Okay, so Lugia really only matters in the movie. That's pretty much it, because all of Gold and Silver basically revolve around the three legendary beasts in ho -Oh. Lugia is doing fuck all in the middle of War Islands, doing whatever he wants, so he barely does anything. And, uh, Cernius, again, I don't really like Cernius that much, it's just dear. Did you, did you only play, like, Heart Gold? No, I played Silver. Oh, sorry. Then I played I don't... Silver, and even then, it's like, most of the story revolves about the three beasts and the Pokemon that revived it. Like I don't even, uh, I'm not even talking about Soul Silver. I'm talking like genuine silver, which I also have played Soul Silver, mind you. But it's like the story revolves more around Ho -Oh than around Lugia, because who revived the three beasts but Ho? -Oh. You know? Yeah. Regardless of the story thing, I just like Lugia. I I do, but it's like I like the design, but it's like could be better. Could they could have done way more with it? You know? Yeah. And it gets overshadowed I... by the other, like, ocean dweller. You know, Mr. Orca himself, Mr. CEO of Water. Like I said, I just blew them up to B. I'm not saying they're, like, great. And, uh, like, D tier. I... Oh, okay. So between D tier and C tier, there's PTSD tier. I don't see that one. What? I, I don't see what which one you're talking about. Between could be better, between don't care, there's another tier. I don't see it. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, I think <laughs> you're doing... Okay, my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, By I the way, where's Mesprit? Where's what? Mesprit on this chart? Uh, gone. Reduced to <laughs> atoms. Why? I like uh, Mesprit. Because of Pokemon Platinum. Chasing that motherfucker is the worst thing ever. One thing I will say about Gen 4 that I hate is roaming legendaries. And it all started with this tiny pink motherfucker. I like it. I can agree there. But it gives me fucking nightmares thinking about it. I have bad memories of it. Same with the other bitch that you don't like to remember about. That also is a bitch because of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> Don't care. Um... Don't, the don't care tier is Pokemon I just do not care about. Okay, okay. There's only two here I disagree with. I assume one of them is Cosmo. Yes. I really don't Look. care about Cosmo. I, if if they were only Soggy and Lunala, I would have been fine. I feel like adding the legendary throughout the story didn't work as well in some moments it didn't scar me by it. Look. I just like Nebby get back in the fucking bag. I mean, it's a funny meme, but it's like... That's it, it, it's just cute. It's just cute, okay? Anyway, okay, but I, I put it... I put in C or B. I actually kind of like Petromont. Look, he's 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 there because of, of, what, of what he did to, to my girl in the boat. I hate him. You like Nimona? I love her, dude. Dude, one of my favorite rivals is Barry. They share the same energy. I love them so much. 
And I mean this in the best way possible. I love, I love all the Gen 9 rivals. I love all of them. You like Barry. Yes! Dude, he's quite literally me. Same energy. No thoughts, battle only. And I want to battle I'm... for fun to be the best. I, I'm starting to see like <laughs> why you like them. And also, oh, physically, no. when I was a kid, I was similar to Barry. Not as tan, but I was like blonde kid. Blonde, oh hyperactive God, kid. I just... Look, I don't like Barry, and Nimona tires me out. Fair enough. I like I, I like but, matching her energy. But Pe Petron would be CRB. Pretty good. I like I like it. I like it. Um... Ew, Meltan should not be here. A Meltan is a legendary. Is Meltan legendary. is not a legendary. Yeah, I don't legendary. care what people say. It is. I don't. I am not qualifying it as a legendary. It can fuck Damn. off. <laughs> uh, Kyurem base Kyurem would be a uh, C for me. I, all I others not, would I be. I do not like base Kyurem at all. Like it. it like it's like I. I don't like it. <laughs> I. I feel again. It's like. It's the same thing with uh, Diancy. But like, I like Diancy because she's like rocking all that stuff and it's uh, non asymmetrical. I hate Kieran because he's non asymmetrical. As a joint to, to a Pokemon, I feel like he should be even more symmetrical. I just like it. I, I don't get why I like Kieran. Um. I hate those All three, right. you know who three, because of what they did to poor old Wurfan. Yep. Uh, Lavender would be D. I hate Lavender. But very, very low D. I hate Lavender so much. It's like the, they did not have to add it. Yeah. Like the uh, they didn't were have fine to. as they were, and then they just like here have another one. Wait, Lavender I... and and Amorous. Lavender's the pal. Oh, sorry. God damn it. Yeah, I, I get it. Look, it looks like it. It yeah. looks like they look very similar, yeah. okay? Yep. Although Lavender looks better. Yep, and also looks better. Anyway, no, I'd still put, uh, I'd still put, uh, Enamorous. D l very low D tier. Very high F tier. But the only reason why is because there's just others that I dislike more. <laughs> Fair and finally, it's just like, I, I don't understand why Cosmog is a thing. Like, they could've just made Cosmog in, like, two stage. I don't like that it's, like, heavy. Why is it so dense? I don't know. Maybe. Uh. Anyway. Now we gotta discuss one tier here. And not three legendaries? Yeah, just for one Pokemon here. Uh, Silvalli and Tob no? Nope, nope, nope. Just Silvali. I don't think it's a legendary. I know because you don't. Type but technically, Type Null isn't a legendary, but Silvali is. That makes some sense. How is I one know it doesn't. Not legend legendary and the other is. If but one's not legendary, here's... the other shouldn't be, and vice versa. All I'm gonna say is, I love them both. I like Silvali and I like uh, Type Null. It's just like I don't consider them legendaries, so that's why they're I, not really legendaries. I just want to discuss them because Type Null is. I just love him because he's just like, oh, he's so sad. He's just sad. He's also with Edgy Mac Edge, but you know. What? He's also with Edgy Mac Edge, but you know. Bro, Galadian is so cool though. Eh. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, his theme. His theme fucking rocks. Galadian's theme is a banger and a half. I think the latest theme's fine. Ooh. There are other anyway. things that I prefer. I like house theme more. Especially the champion fight. Yo, you know who's you you know whose theme though is fucking top tier top S tier? Cynthia's? Right. Uh, well Cynthia, but we're talking about Sunny Moon. Yeah, and also like it's, it's, the it's boy Guzma <laughs> I think Guzma's a solid A tier. Guzma's theme fucking goes hard. I love it. My sister absolutely adores it. She, she had a cross on Guzma. Bro, I, I still I want the, his the, the glasses. Meme, the meme for what's his face? The edgy guy who gives you type null. Galadian? Yeah. 
Uh, the, the, the meme Get is, out of my room. At least the, the, the meme that my uh, sibling came up with for him is he has uh, chronic emo disease. <laughs> yep. Same with Silver. Bro, oh, I kind of like him. Very quiet. I, okay. uh, only for me. Or only for you, because uh, he's fine for me. I have him maxed, though. That's the thing. That's weird, huh? Whack. But... Must be losing volume in the transatlantic cables. There you go. But what, what I was going to say was um, that I think the reason why I like him so much is because he kind of reminds me of me when I was like a teenager. Edgy and thinks they're way too fucking cool. <laughs> well, the, the the other thing with him is that uh, his his start of battle theme and like all. Or, start of battle pose and like all the media it's like him like grabbing his hand kind of thing just like ah yes he has hurt his wrist at some point like i said he reminds me of my fucking of my fucking self back then anyway i'm playing world of warships so i've made that mistake again <laughs> Oh you know what God. I'm going to do, Carby? I'm going to do a rivals tier list. World of Warships player names. I've got Nuclear Gandhi in the server. Alright, so, what was the starter thing you wanted to do? I'm going to do a tier list for rivals. No, 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 starters. Killer kit. Wait, what do you mean starters? You were like, oh, let's go through the games and pick our starters or whatever. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Which which starter did you pick through each game? Let's start with Gen 1. Hmm? What? I thought, I thought you were going to do yours, too. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can start. Okay, I'll, I'll start. So, Gen 1 is Bulbasaur. Yes. Gen 2 Three. is Cyndaquil. Gen 3 is Mudkip. Gen 4 I'm is... Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Gen 3 I don't care, I could choose any, but if yeah. I've, I've chosen hey, Mudkip more. Gen 3 I feel like, of, of the early games, definitely has the uh, strongest, you actually have a choice here. Yeah. Between the three of them. I mean, Gen 1 Gen... also, but like, Gen, Gen 2 is like the weakest True. one of the three. Yeah. Because Gen, Gen like, 2 is... Yeah. It's either... Gen 2 is more just Chikorita sucks. Yeah. We like Chikorita here, she just not good. Yeah. Uh, why would what why would you like My brain just forgot what I was gonna say. Mood. Mood. Yeah. But I I, I purchased before torture torture slightly over Mudkip, but that's mm -hmm. just cause I have a fire type bias. Fair enough. Uh Gen 4 reality... Piplop. Charmander. Pip -lop. Uh, Gen 4. Yeah, Gen, Gen 4. Yeah. I, I'm Piplop. I'm Piplop gang all the way. Yeah, he's uh, a honestly, Charmander. I, I really like all of them, but that's also the Gen 4 was my first game. Yeah, same and, here, uh, but I hate Chimchar. I, with a passion. I, I, Chimchar was my first Pokemon. Fair enough. Uh, and then on my copy of Platinum, I ended up uh, picking Turtwig. My sister picked Turtwig in her copy of Pearl, and then picked Piplup in Platinum. I, play, I picked Piplup in both a Diamond and Platinum because I just like Piplup a lot. Wow. Gen 5, honestly, is a toss-up. It can be either Snivy or Oshawa, I don't really care. I both, I love yeah. both of them. Snivy or Oshawa. I hate Tepic. I picked Tepic and Embor is just kind of meh. I, I, I think I personally, for Oshawa, however, that's just because, you know, Snivy is our superior. Part of its whole shtick is it has a really, really good hidden ability. And contrary. you can't really just get that with the starter. Yeah. It has Contrary. <laughs> Yeah. It's just nuts. No, even it's even without it, like, I, I uh, we generally chose Oshawa in black and white, but I chose Snivy in Gates to Infinity, and Snivy kicks all kinds of ass in Gates to Infinity. Yeah, Snivy's good. Yeah. Gen 6, oh, uh, Finnegan. Th not, not, not a question about it, Finnegan. I chose yes. Chespin in Gen 6, and I regretted it. I chose Fennekin, uh, but I'll be honest, uh, in terms of visual design, I personally prefer Chestnut over Delphox. Yo, 
damn, okay, I got somebody of, of one up here. I hate Chestnut. Nope, nope, you're not. Out you're... of the three of us, yes. Well, I'm not gonna choose Chespin, is what I'm saying. I like, I like Chestnut, but th that's not the one I'm gonna choose. It's like visually, I like Chestnut. However, I d definitely am actually picking Fennekin as like the starter. Yeah, Gen Seven, honestly. Is... Chestnut's I could go ass. for any, but if I pick Linen, I'm not evolving it into Incineroar. I'm keeping it on Tower Cat. I, I, I'm a certified Rowlet enjoyer. Mm -hmm. I pick Linen for Sun and Moon, and then I'm like, no, Ultra Games, I'm picking the I'm picking the Owl. I yeah. went for... I th actually didn't pick Rowlet for any of the two games. For Sun and Moon, I went for Linen, and then for Ultra Sun, I was like, I'm going to go with... Because at the time, I was like, not that big of a fan of this enjoy. I preferred the other two more. I prefer Linen and Torquet and the Primarina line, so I went for Primarina in Gen in Ultra Sun. Uh, Gen 8, while I can't really say because I haven't played the games, I would go with Cinderace any day of the week. I fucking love that, and it's the only good starter out of those three. If you disagree, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Cind Cinderace is definitely the best of, of that pick. Also, Raboot is adorable, I love him. Yes. Like, I don't again, the love. Uh, that said, I have seen some very good uh, stuff done with Inteleon in terms of stuff, but that's mostly just people drawing him like the sniper from Team Fortress 2. Fair enough, for like Jen's Bond. I. Like, so. We'll, we'll get to that when I get to it. And Gen 9, I think both of you know which which one, which one would be my choice. Weed Cat! Yes! Weed Cat! And they're not, and not specifically for Spigatito, for Florigato. I fucking love Florigato. I fucking love his Pussy Boots attitude. His pussy boots. Puss in boots. I know what you said. I'm the one who twisted it. Oh my god. Sick, sick help. Anyway. I, I, I see therapy every day. <laughs> but yeah, I love I love the puss in boots attitude from Florigato. And it was like, I, I literally have a, a level 100 Florigato called Banderas. Because of Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Alright. And I love him. Very much. Alright, Carby, your turn. My secret nine. Alright, so. So. First three, Squirtle. Okay. I mean, honestly, Gen 1, it's like, they're all, they're all good. Yeah, but like, one second, I'm gonna write... I, I'm going to do something here. Oh, you're gonna write them Fire... down? Fire... No, I'm gonna write down the scores. Oh. To see which one I, I prefer. So, water gets one point. Oh! Oh god, I haven't counted the points for mine. <laughs> anyway, it's mostly water, though. Water or grass. Yeah. I think I choose, like, fire and, like, two gems. Alright, so. Gen 2. Mm -hmm. Cyndaquil, hands down. Yeah, I think Don't everyone here would choose Cyndaquil. Yes. There's Fun some fact. people who, who pick Totodile, and that is legitimate. Yeah, but... I would choose, like, from time to time, I would choose Totodal, but I, I am more of a Cyndaquil enjoyer. Especially in Silver, because fun fact, Typhlosion and Silver can land Thunder Punch. I... I just want to carry a cool lava like a long cat. <laughs> yes. Completely understandable. Have a nice day. Also, <laughs> uh, also Typhlosion can also learn Earthquake. In Gen 2. Yep. Yeah. Also, quick question. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it after. If if you guys remember Pokemon's from teams that you think like made you enjoy that Pokemon more, because I do have a bunch of Pokemon that are like that. Anyway, keep going. Uh, I have a couple I'll, like that. I'm pretty, Number... sure, I'm pretty sure I really like Glade because I ended up picking up a, a Glade on my X and Y team. Fair enough. I mean, that's what happened with me and Metagross. That's what happened with me and Nido King. I'll I'll explain more later. One second, I need to check something. Okay. Also, I like how Charizard and Blastoise are the same height, however, uh, Venusaur is one foot taller. Yeah, Venusaur is fucking massive. Venusaur is a very large lad. Yeah. Venusaur is large. Creature of significant size. So, oh, me. God damn it. So Alright, I'll, your... I'll do this while we're... Okay. So. What, ask me what you're going to really quick. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
All right, cool. So, Gen 3. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be one of each now. Trico. I can see why. I know Kane yeah. would choose Trico in a heartbeat. He fucking loves Trico. Trico? I like, I love Sceptile, and I love Grovile. But I, mean, I just like Grovile so much more. I mean... Yeah. And it's not just because... But I, it is, but I it knew is about Grovile before. But it is a factor, though. Yeah, but that was before. And I still feel the same, so it's not like... Anyway, so... That's, um... Uh, then Gen 4. Uh... Honestly, this would be a hard choice for me, but it would be Peplop. Let's go! Do you know? Do you know why though? Why? Even though I don't like Prinplup and I love Empoleon. Yeah, same here. Prinplup, I my dislike for Prinplup is stronger than my love for Empoleon. Strangely enough. Fair enough. You also but have to like you're... in Gen Four. You have to carry your uh, your start your sorry like mid mid level for like. Five gems. Yeah, but here's the thing. I really, really do not like either Chimtar or Turtwig. Hmm. So it's a hard choice because my strong opinions are in all three of them. So you don't, you generally don't really like Gen 4 starters. I don't like the Gen 4 starters, and it, uh, nothing, shame. like, yeah. I, like, I don't think they're, like, terrible. I just don't really care. Fair enough. So, Gen 5. Alright, Gen 5. Snivy. I don't need to think about it. For me, for me, I would have to really think about it because I love both of them. Both Oshawott and Snivy. I hate Tempic. Always did. I hate Embor. I especially hate Pick Knight. Well, here's the thing. For me, Oshawott is a 2 out of 3 I'd like the evolutions of. Who you not like? Snivy! I, I, I'm not a big fan of Set Amarant. It's not bad. It's just not... It's just not a home run for me. Fair enough. Whereas... Then I, I feel like was let down by his Gen 5 sprite that, for me at least, made me really confused how Razor Shell for it was supposed to work. It's... I, I just... I just really don't like it, personally, because it goes from standing up to to on all fours, and on top of that, I just... Why does it look like a unicorn? What, what's the point? What is its point? I don't... I don't get it. I don't... I don't... I don't get its design. That's my problem. Okay. But... Snivy, I like all three. Hmm. So it's an easy home run for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the one that I like all three of. Even if Superior is the weaker of the three, technically. I think it's the stronger of the, of the three of them. It's not actually. It's contrary, one of the weaker. Contrary contrary makes it makes a difference. Trust me. Contrary leaf tornado spam. Contrary uh yeah, leaf storm spam. Leaf storm, not leaf tornado. And even then, it gets like a, if it doesn't have contrary, you get coil, which is a pretty good setup move. Yeah, number six. I think we all agree here. Fennekin. Fennekin. Like for me, I used to like Greninja, but then it, like it, it got so out of hand. It's like mm, no, and I don't really like Froakie, and I don't like Frogadier, and Greninja was like it's too much, too popular, and like. Eh. I also really don't like the Ash one. Why did they get it? I don't it? get it. Why isn't it a yeah, that Mega? That was a weird thing. Why isn't it just a Mega? <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Gen 6 stars with Megas would have made sense. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But, but, and then also, they got went lazy and they went like Z moves, which honestly are the worst of them. I, I, like are, uh, I know I, you I, do. I, it's the lazy personally... animations that I hate. I find them hilarious. It's the length of the animations on Z moves is too long. I've, I thought it was a 
a, a, a good, like, new thing. Uh, really, it was uh, the Dynamax and Gigantamax thing where I'm just like, okay. Okay, so I feel like I like Z moves and I like uh, Terrasization because they feel like neutral. Like, they don't swing too hard to battle. I I agree with Terra. So I don't like any of the not, others. Like, you can work around not using them in their respective generations, but I don't think you can work around not using Megas in Gen 6 or Dynamax or Gigantamax in Gen 8, which is why I don't like them. It's From a mechanical standpoint, I feel like uh, Terra's is the best. However, the actual in-game visuals, I think, are even worse than Dynamax. I, I agree. The, I, I love the, the, the visual for Gen for uh, Terra. I and I, I, I ironically love the crystallization and crystallization of the Pokemon. I honestly don't like If it like was the just bit. that, if it was just that, I think it would have been fine. But the hats are so ridiculous. The, I can't. The say hats it. are. Hilarious. I agree. I, love them. I agree. I agree with the hats. I also. I also just really, really don't like that it makes everything look low poly, and it just takes so long to, uh, to get through because the system just takes so long to load the, the whole animation. Is old. Anyway, which gen were we on? Five. Uh, seven. Just that's what I can. Oh, all right. Oh wow, it's actually. 2-2-2 two, two, two across the board right now for me. Mm -hmm. Um... Gen 6... Gen 7. Well... My, my little owl boy. Yeah, he's a little chooser. Little, little guy. Day! No, sorry. Fucking hell, I'm sorry. Yeah, they are... Owl is adorable. And I want, I want a little owl to hold. Uh, my sister has a crocheted Rowlet. A friend of hers made her a, a crocheted Rowlet. And also a demonic Pikachu. Like, it's a crocheted Pikachu, but the eyes doesn't have, like... It, it's just the black dots, so it looks demonic. It's funny as fuck. Yeah. I approve. Yeah, he's, just, he's just a little adorable little freaking Ball. Ball bird. Okay, so And I like Dark Tricks, and or... I really like... I... Is, isn't really there a like, clip from the anime where one of the kids like pulls Rowlet out of a bag and just absolutely chucks Rowlet overhand like a basketball? Yes, it's yeah, it's it's the dude from the Aether Foundation who just grabs Rowlet and fucking throws him. Yaw yeet. Also, I really like Decidueye. It's one of the best final evolutions of my life. Honestly, opinion. I didn't like Decidueye a lot. Like I thought it was a fine Pokemon at the beginning, but it, it has grown on me. It has definitely grown on me. Right. Uh, nine. For... It, it, what about Janae? Yeah. Oh my God! Sorry, Janae. Thank Janine. you for the raid. Back. I want. I want to discuss the lit line a bit. Okay. Kirby, finish up first. Though. Okay. So, Janae, Score Bunny. Yeah, I think everyone can agree here. Score Bunny. At the rabbit. And then, yeah, you can pet the rabbit. Kick the I rabbit. I like. And then last one. Take a guess. Yeah. Weed cat. I mean, yep. it's it's like, it's such a good design. Yes. Also, Meep, have you seen Shiny uh, uh, the, uh, Cinderace? Uh, I think so. Yo, Ryan, just be 1020 mode. Let's fucking Yo. go. Congratulations on beating uh, FNAF 2's 1020 mode. Sorry, he just raided me. He yeah, no, I know. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, raider. How are you? How has your day been? We're currently. I'm just currently just shiny hunting Giratina. Just chatting with Carby and me about uh, what starters we would choose uh, in each generation. And yeah, I do have a slight preference toward grass. Yeah, it's four two. Uh, four three two. Yep. Because it's grass, fire, and water, right? That's the order. Yeah, I have a gra- I, I like grass. I choose four out of nine. Was Gen 3 Okips? No, actually, I'm Mudkip. Uh, Carby is Trico. 
And then I'm Torchic. And he's Torchic, yeah. so everyone's one of each. Again, Gen 3 has, like... I think that's the only one where he picked all three of them. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I believe that is correct. Okay, Meep, your turn. Then. Right? Or do you want to discuss something beforehand? Uh, well, I kind of... I went through mine, uh, when you did yours, but I wanted to discuss, uh, the lit line real quick, because... Yep. Specifically when it comes to Incineroar. Yeah. Because I feel like the idea behind Incineroar as, like, a character design on its own is good. However, I feel like it being <clears throat> attached to Litten doesn't work very well, particularly with it falling after Torah Cat, yeah. which kind of leads into it feeling like it should have stayed a quadrupedal cat as compared to uh, Miascarata, which follows Florget Forgato, which is already by okay. people, it's only Sporgatito that's uh, quadrupedal. Yeah, I remember a lot of people were like, please do not stand up, please do not stand up, please do not stand up when Sprigatito was released. And then, and then it ended up standing up very well. It's kind of like the same thing with Fennekin. Yeah. Fennekin starts on all fours. Yeah, Fennekin, and, Fennekin up and, and... Breaks him. Yeah, it's like Fennekin, Fennekin and Sprigatito have both the same things. Like, first form is Quadrupel, and the other two are Bipedals. I, I remember Brakeson very angrily over a uh, Pokémon tournament. Yes. Brakeson's and I didn't even own Pokémon tournament. One of my friends did. Mm -hmm. And Brakeson's and and Pokémon for some reason. And Gardevoir is in Pokémon, but Gallade isn't. Very angry. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't put Absol in. Well, it, it's more that all all the, all the Pokémon in. Pokemon tournament are fully evolved except for breaks. Uh, no. -uh. Yeah. What about Pikachu? Well, Pikachu doesn't count. Or Krogan. Krogan's gonna? Yeah, Krogan's a Pokemon. It's it's the joke character in um uh, in Pokemon. It's in the Switch version. It's a character in the Switch version. Oh. I. I. Okay. I didn't, I didn't realize it was in there. Okay, never mind. Disregarded what I said. I didn't own the game, so I'm allowed yeah, to get enough. things wrong. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. I, I also don't own it, but I like a week or so ago, Octo showed me all the characters of Puckin. Okay, so you've actually seen the character roster. Yeah, I have so, seen like... the roster. Also, there's DLC in the newer version, which is Aegislash and Blastoise. Aegislash is busted. Yeah, I heard that, and Blastoise is not that good. Colin Blastoise L. Yeah, okay. You know what's funny? I've never gr I I played the uh Wii U one. And holy fuck, I loved Weavile in that and it made sense because I like tricky characters. Oh yeah, if I, I told Octo if I get that game I'm probably mainly Weavile. <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah. Oh my god. You and I would be the worst people to play against each other. He also I, showed I remember, me all the recallers I watched, and uh... I watched a video talking about how apparently in Smash Bros. Brawl, Snake Mirror is like a 60-40, depending on which port you're in. Yeah, I think it's because of, uh, I would assume it's because of, uh, Ledge. It, it's because of the port priority system, and Snake has a whole bunch of things that involve port priority. That's hilarious. Like his grenades and shit. That's funny as fuck. That's, that's yeah, the only, only ditto level, that is 60-40. Like... <laughs> Well, they it said uh, it's either 60-40 or it's like 55-45. Yeah. It's, you know it, what but that that's means. like at high level. If it was like me playing, it wouldn't fucking matter. I remember listening in before and I heard someone saying they really liked Sneasler. Yes, both Carby and I really like Sneasler and Weavile. We love them both. Sneasler! But like... But back to like the Incineroar, the like actual idea behind Incineroar being really fits with the whole the Mass Royale yes. thing or whatever. With the Yo, it's supposed I mean, uh... to be the it's the How theme, are you feeling? thematic like character play in uh, like Ucha Libre wrestling, where it's the 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 villain in the yeah like, the heel wrestler script fight or whatever. Yeah. Uh, which is why it's a dark type to lose to all the fighting types. Be right back. Yeah. That's how that that uh medium works yeah it's, it's a also very like good character idea and it works well mm -hmm. but it just doesn't fit with the rest of the starter that's line. why that's why i always say i hate incineroar the pokemon but i love incineroar the smash character you know like incineroar yes. on its own if it was its own thing i i would love this pokemon but like it does not make any sense whatsoever yeah. within 
you know, Litten yeah. and uh, yeah. If it was attached Norton. to a different evolutionary line, or just it its own thing. Bad. Yeah, or just on its own. Yeah. Like I, I, I love playing Incineroar in Smash. He's super fun, but it's like I hate Incineroar in Pokemon because he just doesn't make sense. Or if Torghat had led into it better. Yeah. Is Incineroar's revenge like completely busted? Uh, yes and no. Uh, Incineroar's revenge, it's kind of like a counter that boosts Incineroar's hit, uh, next hit. This can be either Pummel or it can be more dangerously, uh, Side B. And it stacks, like, the more damage you deal in, when, in one attack to Incineroar, the more damage it will deal back. But yeah, no, the thing with Incineroar in Smash, and I know this because I second, I have it as a pocket. Incineroar's buttons are amazing. Like, he has some really, 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 really good moves. But he is the slowest character in the game. Hold on. Oh, there goes Meep as well. But yeah, Incineroar in Smash, it's like, if he was faster, he would be probably, like, top tier. If he was, like, I'm not even going to say, like, fucking Mario speed, but if he was, like, DDD or, like, DK fast, he would be probably, like, a top tier. Bruh. Because he's but he has really good buttons and really good frame data, and his grabs are fucking broken. Like all like three of his f throws kill, and one of them is a really good combo tool at early percent. Side B kills, down B is just good, just sometimes throw out there. Uh, he has a speed that can break shields, especially with the revenge. Uh, all his uh, F tilt is the strongest F tilt in the game, and can kill ridiculously early. Uh, up tilt can kill. Down throw, down tilt is a really good combo move and a two and two frames on the ledge, which can lead into kills with either F tilt or uh, Nair or uh, Fair. Sorry if I'm nerding a little bit about here, but I play in sin. Uh, up B, it could be better, but it's it's good recovery. It's a good recovery too if they can move around it a little bit. Uh, it is really easy to accidentally be reverse it. Trust me, I know. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a good good soup. Also, it's very funny that it has mini in uh, in game built tons uh, into some of its moves. Also, uh, F Smash has a ridiculous sweet spot. I killed I once killed a Pichu at twenty two percent with a sweet spot F Smash. At he was at zero, I did one move, throw him threw him off stage, and then I just F Smashed him, and he died in two hits. And, uh, yeah, down smash is just annoying. Up smash is a good anti air move. Up pair is a really good juggle move that can also kill. I love that Adam Driver meme. Uh, a good soup. Yeah. I don't know why I started saying good soup, but I now say just good soup instead of good shit. Oh, so that's how I've seen 20s to 70. Yep. <laughs> yep. Welcome to Incinder War. Soup. Soup. Time. Soup. So, uh, while Carby and me aren't here, how about you two tell me what are your starter options in all of the generations? Like gens 1 through 9. Uh, if you don't wanna, you don't have to, but uh, it would be cool. Also, me and I And this is why Carby doesn't like talking about Smash Bros. Yo! I'm sorry that I was nerding out. No, I'm joking. I was. I just wanted to come in like that while I was gone to see the reaction. But yeah, I, I, I just wanted to nerd out a little bit because I do like playing with Cinderella. He's a lot of fun. Yeah. And he's also Think like I don't like saying this because honestly, I don't find Smash hype. But there are some characters that if you play them a certain way, they can be hype, and Cinderella is one of them. Like the shit you can pull with Cinderella is kind of impressive. But yeah, Meep's uh, currently gone for a moment. Yeah, and thanks for coming to our tech talk. Yep. I was... Uh... So what else can we talk about? Oh yeah, I was working we're... on a rival tier list. Well, and then I got distracted. So I made... So let me go into the here and let me share screen so you can see what I, I'm doing. Uh, great Pokemon is rival tier list. There you go. So you can see it. Chat will not be able to, but it's a it's a small price to pay. So here we go. There's here's the tier list. Uh, immediately putting you here, and you, 
and you and you and you and you. You're putting them too high. Uh, they're the bottom tier. Oh. Yeah, I haven't met them. It's literally I have not played their games, so I have not met them. <laughs> uh, okay, huh. so. Ryan, I don't know some of those. Uh, DLC, uh, base, 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 DLC, let's go. Okay, but that doesn't help me. I'm talking about, like, I don't know which games those are. Uh, Sword and Shield, 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 uh, Pokemon, let's go. Oh, wait, now I recognize that one of those is... One of those is Hop. Yeah, that's Hop, that's B, that's actually... I'm gonna put you at the top because I haven't met you, but I've heard good things. I have met her, and she doesn't have personality, at least as far as I played. Fair enough. Uh, so I don't care about any of you, especially you, actually. Anyway, where was I? Right. Uh... You are Gucci, you are Gucci, you are Gucci, you are actually very Gucci, you are very Gucci, you Gucci, uh, you Gucci. Okay, uh, we're, we're gonna have some fights. We're gonna have some fights, oh good. no, oh no. Uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good, care a little, care a little, don't really care about you two either. Uh, same with you. And it's just a rough. I, I'm not like I will get to it in a moment. Are there two Wallies? Uh, Oris and uh, Ruby Sapphire. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, because they're technically they're technically different. Yeah. And they're, you they're, are on. They Ruby. fucked up. There you go. Okay, so they. Uh. Uh. I can. I can. I can. Y'all can see I have a bias. Yeah. Uh, a big one. Uh, but yeah. Like, I love Gen 3, but I would not- I could not care less about the rivals in Gen 3. Uh, but yeah, uh... I'm biased towards Wally, but... Fair enough. I mean, he does get a Galade in Wars. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. But yeah, uh... I hate you. I hate you. I fucking hate you. You ruin... You ruin what could have been a better, uh, a greater game with your fucking wear portal loin thing. The fucking so annoying. I hate him. I hate you so much. Then we have you the know Gen what Six I gang. Do? Because I'm I gonna do Jimmy. Yep. Uh, can I request we put Hop and I hate you? Uh. Ag agreed. No, because I haven't met them, so I can't really put my own opinion. This is my tier list. Too bad. Yeah, well, I haven't met them. Uh, twice? <laughs> Ryan's just dancing. He's just vibing. But yeah, he's, he's, he's staying there. Oh, my gums are bleeding. But yeah, uh, Gen 6 rivals, I really just do not care. Actually, I'm gonna move you there so you're right next to me. I'd put them in hate, personally. I really don't care about them. They're like, they, they do nothing towards the story. Exactly so that's why, why I, I hate them. Yeah, but, but I don't, that's why I don't care about them. But like, Hugh is such a driving. It's so he's so much more involved in the story, and it's like the same. He's just fucking Batman. Where's poor Lloyd? And I fucking I despise him because it's like you could have been such a cooler character. You could have you know had some kind of like driving like character change, but no, he's the exact same thing throughout the entire story. All right. Like, I, well, if you're not going to change anything in the list. Probably not. Unless convinced otherwise. Like, well convinced. I assume you're talking about N. No. Really? Who? So, here's the thing. Okay. When it comes to rivals, I really hate rivals that stop me a lot for stupid shit. I assume you're talking about Barry. Oh, I'm not just talking about Barry. I mean, the other thing does that. Me, she just crashes into you all the time, which I find absolutely hilarious. I love it. When I say, when I say stop, I mean, anytime when I'm just 
doing something, I'm in the groove, and all of a sudden, character just comes out of nowhere and stops me. Or stops me on the road. Or whatever. Barry a bitch? What do you mean? He's yes, he me. Is. He's he me. He's literally me, but in Pokemon. He's... Well, then you're a little bitch. Well, I'm sorry. I ain't a fucking bitch. <laughs> bitch! Mina, can, can, can we get your opinion? Uh, Harpy and I are only between Hops and Go and I hate you. But, uh, as I was saying, Barry... He annoys the shit out of me with his five. I'm gonna find you, whatever. And just like all this bullshit. And he just keeps stopping me, and he just annoys me. He just irritates me. There's nothing good about him. He doesn't add anything to the plot. He just is there, and that annoys me. I mean, I feel like rivals shouldn't really add to the plot. They're just there to fight you because they're your rival. They're supposed well, to yeah, know but... that you're equal. Look, look. I think as pro I think as the games progress, having them entwine with the plot a little bit is a good thing, which is why I'm actually not going to say I hate Nimona. I love Nimona. I don't care about her. I put Barry and I hate it actually, in F. Actually, I'd put I'd put Barry in F, but I'd still put Nimona above him, just because at least there's a little bit of something else there. She at least contributes in some way. You know? I also really like her design. Uh It's just a, it's just the school outfit though. It doesn't have just to be to do with the school outfit. I like her design. Okay. It's like let's, I let's love how she the, looks the, the... physically. I love the, the ponytail, the the uh look it can't be, Phrasing. I, I said the ponytail. No, f the, the the I like her physically. That is not the physical that is character phrasing. Design. Yes. Yes. Exactly. I'm saying phrasing. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Anyway, okay, can, can we agree though? The 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 Scarlet Violet dog guy. We care more about the dog than we do about him. I mean, no. Arvin at the beginning is a little bit of a bitch. That's why he's an all right Yuguchi. But you do get to like him later on. And also, poor man can't catch a break. <laughs> He can't catch a fucking break. First, his dog is about to fucking die, and then he discovered. Uh, d d can I say this? Does anyone mind spoilers for Scarlet and Violet? The game's like a year and a half, year, two years old. How, how old is the game? Uh, yeah, two years. They should. They should. I think they should. I know people didn't like Hop, but as a character, I loved him. It's like having a bond above just someone I fought a couple times to get through his journey, and can actually they match my strength to some degree? Uh huh. So, I mean, I did like Hop. So, like, for me, I like, like, once you get to know Arvin, you like him a lot. I like Arvin a lot, but it's, like, the beginning. That's why he's, like, the below. Uh, actually, I need to do a little change. You are going here, and you are going here. Guys? But anyway, as I was, as I was saying, though... Since you, since we were still talking about Nimona, yeah. Nimona does at least help out in the uh, ending bit of uh, with Area Zero. Which, by the way, I agree with Ryan on this about it just being one of the best parts of any uh, Pokemon game, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, why do I say? Uh, why do I give a shit about Gary? I took down an entire criminal organization where he fought a bunch of kids. Fair enough. And what I like. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons... But here's the thing. When it comes to um, the early rivals, I'm willing to give them a pass. It yeah. was specifically the one through three rivals. I'm willing to give a pass because they're earlier games. I mean, I, 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 I'm I, fine with Gary. Gary well, but also, elk. Gary canonically cheats at his competition to be a uh, catch more Pokemon than you. Because when you meet him on the SSN, he tells you how many Pokemon he has. It's not physically possible to catch that many Pokemon by that point in the game. It's very funny. I mean... Anyway, but as I was saying, uh, I like Nimona because she at least contributes, but I don't like her personality. Fair enough. Penny. I love Penny. Yeah, you you, you put her in the correct tier. I just want her backpack. I 
I still <laughs> we we all want the Eevee backpack. We all want the Eevee backpack. Let's be I, honest. I still I still every time I see her in the story, I'm like, I'm going to mug you for that backpack. And also, just I, just I'm, be careful. I'm Don't about turn to say around. This, uh, the the theme, the fight theme for Penny. Absolute fucking. The banger. only, the only thing oh, that makes her, the that makes her not perfect. Yes. No espion. They, they had to pick six of the nine, and unfortunately, they didn't pick Carby's favorite. Yep. They did pick espion. Sadness. Have you gone? Question, Carby. Have you gone to her room? Yes. It's adorable. It's adorable. <laughs> I love all the memes of, of, of like, her. I love, like, all the drawings of people, like. You have to worry just... about Eevee's. Eevee's. Got it. <laughs> I, 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 I just. There's one meme I, I just about love the uh, series of images that's just her in a normal day with her. Uh, yes, I know exactly her what you're talking about. Just, it's so cute, all of them. Yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, another one I saw where, I, I, I don't know if it's, it, it looks like it's a game screenshot where it's like they have to go do something and Penny's like, but I wanted to like, go catch up on anime or something Yes, like that. that is after the story because, uh, Penny stole a bunch of leak points, uh, to do, uh, to give to you while doing, uh, Operation Softball because again, she's a masterful hacker, of course she is. I will say, I love the rivals in Hoenn because they're so sweet, especially in Inora's. I don't really care about the Gen 3 rivals. I think they're just kind of there. Alright. I'm just working down his list. Yeah, I have my list on, on VC Open. Uh, Arv I don't see why you put Arvin in A, personally. I, it's it's but because of the beginning. I like, I like but I him, also... but it's like... Mm. I also super sympathize with him. I completely with understand absent... why. Because um, I have... When, when I was a kid, I was basically raised by my aunt. Mm -hmm. So having absentee parents... Y yeah. You, you can see why I kind of relate to him a lot. X and I both cried over Arvin. Both of us just having lost our dogs. Oh... Yeah, it, 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 it's, as, as I said earlier, we can't Oh, yeah, and that too. Dog. I mean, it, it also, I feel like Arvin's story also helps us, like, grow bonds with our, like, ride Pokemon more. Yeah. Which is, like, great, because I fucking love Maradon. I literally call him Friend Smiley Face, because he's my friend. The, yeah. uh... Here in. Is that someone pointed out is... You, you finally get the dog back healthy again, and then you immediately beat it up. Yep. <laughs> you Pokemon. I, I, okay, so Kieran, for me, it's, I feel, uh, it's, he's A tier, because I also, like, as a little brother with an older sister, I can feel, like, what he goes through. So it's like, I get it, and it's also like, I feel really bad, because, I, I don't know, it's just like, I cycle, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I get him. I get why. I was, I was the older sibling. I I am the youngest out of three. Yeah, I was the older sibling, so I guess that might be why I don't particularly care for him. I have him. no idea who this character is. Ah, uh, he's from the DLC. DLC. Don't worry, he's not good. I agree. Wait, is I he, disagree. Is he the is he the ogre pawn yes. DLC character? Yes. Okay. I okay. So uh, I, well, technically he's in both. He's in both technically, but whatever. yeah, he's saved a little bit by the the extra thing the I, extra uh Patron stuff i still haven't touched the dlc okay we won't tell much but uh i do i when i finished the dlc and i saw that cinematic i was pumped to see what would happen to kieran so i was very happy to see uh, so i was very intrigued uh on indigo disc around what you know kieran so i i, I liked the, the dlc a lot on scarlet and violet I, I, I am very proud to say those were 35 bucks well spent. Uh, I, I don't think it's worth them. I think it's... I think they're a little too overpriced. When I opinion. when I finished Kitakami, I was like, okay, this 
if it was just for Kitakami, I would not I would not recommend it at all. But considering it's both the DLC and all the things you extra get from the DLC, I think it's totally worth it. I, I still don't think it's worth the money. That's my opinion. But Enough. as I was saying though, uh I just don't like him personally. Oh, yeah, I think I mean... he's I, I think he'd be a C, but mostly because he got saved by the uh the extra little pitch rot thing. And also I um, love I love talking to him in the in the um in the room. And it's also funny because according to Galar Cannon, uh you know what Pokemon he has, right? The, the little apple. Hello. Oh, hello, who's there? Oh. Oh. Oh, he was talking to someone in the room. Okay. He defended himself. Anyway. Uh, but like, uh, according to Galar lore, gifting an apple to someone means that you like them. So I find it very funny. Yeah. Because he gives you an apple. Ah, so a lot of people, so a lot of people shipped Kieran with the main character, and they also bought uh, pennies from Galar, uh, and she could see it uh, if you invited her. So it, it, I found some funny pictures about that. But yeah. Anyway. Yep. N. Yep. Honestly, as much as I love N, I think that's uh, fair. He feels Wait, a little too dim. Uh, he feels a little two dimensional sometimes. I think I think it's fine that he's an A. I don't dislike him, but I uh, I don't think he's like. I I think I would have put him higher, but I wouldn't disagree if you put him in A. No, I was thinking I think B or A, like top of B, bottom of A, because it's like it's a good character. I love the design. I I like the idea behind it. And I just feel like sometimes he's like too two dimensional. But I think I think that's why I uh. Why I say that, like, with with him, like I I can see the flaws, but I like him despite the flaws. Fair enough. I mean, but... I like I like the black and white rivals. Yeah. Speaking of, they're in the next one. Yeah. But first, Carmine. I don't like Carmine. At I all. think I think she's fine. I I at the she beginning can, she can go in she can go in D. I think his na na uh, naivety is part of why he's two dimensional. As a character. Yeah, that's yeah, part exactly. of the reason why I'm like. Yeah, and it's like, even in Black 2 and White 2, he feels like, oh yeah, he's sh not there for a long time. But it just feels like he didn't grow that much. He feels kind of the samey. Just, you know, not liking Getsis. And having the legendary. But that's pretty much it. But anyway. Yeah, I put Carmine in D, personally. I... Okay, so at the beginning... I was like, okay, she's going to be one of those, like, assholey rivals, like, blue or silver. So I was ready for it. And then you start dealing with her more. And she's an absolute fucking dork. And I was like, okay, she's just, she's just dumb. I love her. I think part of the reason why I don't like them is because, uh, around the time that I played this DLC, I was having issues with my sister. Ah, fair enough. So, I'm not even gonna go into that. I don't no, want to talk don't, about it. you don't need to. They'll start to get into I, specifically, talking. specifically on stream. I don't want to talk about it because I don't think I don't know if she's fucking blocked me on Twitch. I know she's blocked me on everything else except Steam. So okay. I, I don't know if she could randomly just drop in on streams that I'm inside. So I don't want to don't take that risk. Don't worry about it. If anyway. you don't want to, you don't have to. Don't anyway, have to sorry. Anyway. Uh, Carmine, again, I, you know, in the beginning I was like, oh, she's just gonna be the asshole rival from, you know, the, the other games, as other people asked, because a lot of people asked for really asshole rivals, for some reason. Uh, and then you start to know her better, and she's an absolute fucking dork. Like, yeah, yeah. she's a little bossy, but she's a dork. So I was like, I, okay, I, I vibe with her, she reminds me of my sister. So that might also help why she's higher up. Yeah, uh, I, I just personally, it's a personal like I think. Yeah, I fucking believe in yourself. So. All right, so back to the. Terrible. Sorry, I, I was sent reading something. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'd put how there. I buy with how. I 
I like that he's just a happy dude. He's just, he's just it's chilling. A- I don't understand the hate. Why would you hate this guy? He's just here to vibe. He's being I chilling. Mean, I can see why people would dislike him because he he's two dimensional. He's very two dimensional. Yeah, he's like and it's, he's, it's the same reason of why it's Anderson Aids because he's two dimensional. How is there? Because but, he's very two dimensional, but it's like a kind of two dimensional that I vibe with. You know. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say he, he his works because it's just it's he's at just least an island kid. freaking it's at least freaking like he's like yo how H A O. H A U, oh, from uh, Sun Moon. Yeah. And what makes her, what makes him work, in my opinion, is just that he's like just he acts this like, like a kid. Yeah, he acts like a kid. He, you know, he acts I, like an actual eleven-year-old, not like some other rivals around here. Yeah, and I would mm. um put him lower if I didn't like him, just because he kept stopping me. Every fucking ten seconds in the beginning. Oh yeah. Holy shit! I don't like that. But he rescues it by just being a chill dude. Yes. Who's just kind of just there. Honestly, I do like Gen Seven a lot. Like it's not, yeah. you know, my fi- it's not like on my top three favorite gens, but it is behind five. Like for me, the lady uh, Gen Seven. So, like, for uh, me, uh, just really quickly, tier list wise, it would be Gen 4, Gen 9, Gen 3, Gen 5, Gen 7, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 6. Yeah. Gen 8's not there because I've not played it, so I can't really give an opinion on it. Uh, but. Gladian. Uh, okay. Big Twitchy. I would put him in A. Mm hmm. Personally, but like as I've said before, I relate to him because of um, how is one of the battle riser? Especially okay, yeah. Um, how is one of the better rivals? Yes, especially in the North Central Tournament, with the champion battle being a much better execution of the rival champion compared to Gen One. Fun fact: well, I mean, technically, in in Gen Seven, you're the champion. He's the one battling to take the champion title from you. So I've, I, I actually, I love that idea from Gen 7, like the fact that you are the champion, and you have to defend your title. Uh, okay, but what I'm going to say is, I, I, when it comes to stopping and hand-holding, I think you can... <laughs> Gay, Gladian Jojo poses, it can do no wrong in my eyes. Yeah! Enough, but, but it's I... like, it's a little too edgy for me. It's, it feels like 20, 2010 edge, Edgelord Shadow the Hedgehog fan. Bro. Person. I say this being a Shadow the Hedgehog fan, by the way. He's raised to forever in pain. Did you Bro. get that? Did you get the, 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 the pose? Me, uh, Carby, the, like, edgy pose in Scott and Violet? Uh, I think so. Because there's a, you know how you can pose on. Yeah. There's one that's like like the Gladion like holding his hand, edgy pose, and you yeah, get I it think from I did. from uh, Blueberry. Yeah, I I didn't use it. I used the overconfident one. <laughs> my anyway. eyes watched his mom go fucking insane. He's a lot of a little edge. Fair enough. It's just like not yeah. my style. Yeah. Uh, and I've had family issues in my life, and I I can completely be with like, and I I I relate to his edge. Okay. Because I, I used to be like a, a 10 to 14 year old edgelord, okay? <laughs> I know the pain. I don't know, I don't know. I, I wore know. hoodies and shit. And I related to the weirdest shit, okay? I loved Gla- I love Gladian because of that. He's going to be A tier in my mind. Fair enough. No, I mean, this is, again, this is my tier list. This is my opinion. You don't yeah, have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just. I'm, I'm explaining my opinion. My creepy bus edge all. came along when issues came up with my family. I see. Uh, but no, I'm explaining my opinion because not not trying to convince you otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, Sharon. Huh. Yeah. I, I I can see him put being put in B tier. I that, will that, admit, Sharon is also in B tier because of Black Two Y Two because they do flesh him a lot more in there, and I do like the changes that they did to both the rivals in Black Two Y Two. Yeah. Also, uh, Bianca with I- glasses. What I'm go- and actually speaking of Bianca, I'm actually going to say I think she deserves A tier. Like I, I feel like it's like similar reason to why House in B tier. It's the same reason why Bianca's in B tier. 
Like, they're both, I... like, the cheery go lucky. Like, I know she has issues with her father, but I feel like right. they're resolved kind of quickly. It's also, like, I've been, it's been so long since I played Black and White, so I don't really remember the story. <laughs> Chain Inspector is getting the stick out of his ass. Love that for him. A true. Yeah, Chain's character character growth is just him Did growing some the... balls. He suffers he suffers from evil disease. <laughs> yeah, I've got eating characters and playing. Let's get the most important. <laughs> Did you character. see the uh, Are... meme that 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 me? I just posted. I just said it. Yes. That's what I'm giggling. Yeah, that's great. But <laughs> anyway. What I was going to say was, uh, Bianca actually would put an A, mm -hmm. because I think that's a very relatable arc. Yeah. I Putting see. a lot of effort into something to realize you don't actually like it that much. Hmm. And you want to do something else with your life. And that's a very... I like that. I like that for her. Mm -hmm. She realized... She wanted this all of her life, but realized, actually, you know what? I'd rather just be a lab assistant. I'd rather be a professor myself. Yeah. And I'm happy for her because of that. Also, again, I Bianca love. Glasses. Yeah, that too. But I love her. Eight, uh, eight tier, eight tier for just the wholesome message and everything. But yeah, like, I, I, I like her. Again, it's been so long since I actually played through Black and White without it being a randomizer that it's like, I can't really comment again on, on some of the story. Fair enough. And I haven't played, like, I didn't play Black to White 2 until I played it on stream uh, a little ago. Like a year or we'll two to, ago. We'll have to replay Gen 5 soon. Weren't you doing, uh, Gen 3 recently? Uh, I did Gen 3 recently, yeah, and uh, that was Moemon though. I don't think there's Moemon Gen 5. No, I wasn't talking about Moemon, I was just saying I thought you then did Platinum recently too. I am currently doing Platinum. Okay. Anabai! Uh, I'm being called, I think. It's something that is repeated with Hop later too, but I think it's so good because sometimes you. Uh, just can't get into the plan you had for yourself, and it took it to start out. I also really like that she had to fight with her dad to try being a trainer first, that he didn't want him to go, and that'll hurt. Alright, give me yeah. a second, everyone. I'll be right back. Uh, Carby and me, please, if you can, distract them. Uh, please do. Fair enough. <laughs> Carby entertain them. How use the can can? Ba ba da 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 da. We're on two brain cells mode, boys. <laughs> Don't make me your eyes. You know I will. I still haven't gotten my sprite for. I I want I want an SP salt. Like I don't even think we got a pair. What? Was I What was I saying? Alright, I wanted the I, I I recently realized I want a sprite that looks like the like I think it's the Gen 5 Absol where it's like got the splayed paws on either side. I want that, but like my Espeon Soul, because I want to see if Pokemon Farm would let me use it as a custom sprite. <laughs> Entirely brain cells derived! It is correct! Oh! Oh, I wasn't- I wasn't asking, I was just making a comment. Has nothing to do with 
uh, no, take your time. I know that you've had a lot of shit going on. I don't know what, and I'm not going to ask. I just hope that everything's better now. Um, I'm, it's, it's not that we keep trucking begrudging. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yo, okay. A couple of years ago, I got betrayed by some friends. Well, I'm going to say betrayed. I don't think that's the correct word, but like I lost a lot of friends uh, with something that was stupid. I'm not gonna go into detail, but just, like, I was left devastated. So much so that, like, a year ago I had to just disappear. I- oh my god, it's almost been a year since then. Because it was October when it happened. Anyway, I just had to disappear for, like, two weeks. Because I just- Ended up in a oh, mental hospital. Was, I, I have returned. I ended up back in a uh, a mental hospital for a week or two because I was suboptimal. Yeah, suboptimal. We'll say we'll, that's the best way of putting it. We'll put we'll that's just both the situation and your situation and your status. There we go. Problem solved. Hey, you too. Big brain. Yeah. Time. But that's why that's why when I sent you a message the other day, I wanted to tell you, hey, I know that saying it will get better. That if you, it it's that's not always the case. All I can say is I hope that it's be it gets better for you, and I hope that things work out. And that you've got friends here, should you need it. And there's many people who care for you. I feel like that's a message for, like, all the people going through hard times. We are... There is no guarantee that that things will get better and anybody who says that is honestly sounding I know they mean we know they mean well but they sadly are not helping because what they're going to do is they're going to have you sit in the back of your mind thinking something completely different about like well why isn't it better now or something like that you know I, I don't know the exact psychology, but those specific words don't help. <laughs> I just know that it's when people reminding you why they like you and why they like being around you and the positives and saying how they hope things get better. Exactly. That's a, that's a great way of putting it. And that's why I'm saying... That's why I'm saying, if, if you help them focus on the positives... Like, if you help people focus on the positives, it helps shift frames of mind to help things get better. But since I don't know your issue, all I can say is what I do know, and that is there's lots of people who care for you. So, yeah. All right. Happy your notes. Uh, I'm hatching Eevees. Eevees. Yeah. 
Oh, that that's a box full of Eevees. We like Eevees in this chat. Yeah, they are they are fluffy. They're little fluffies. What? Uh, we've got the classic on in the meme meme page. Say something nice about the United Kingdom. You guys created the largest number of Independence Days around the world. <laughs> Ain't that the fucking truth? Good and fitty. <laughs> One second, I got I got responses because. What's I gonna say? Burgers. Burger. Burger. Yo. But what if the burger made you slim? Me removing the vegetables from my burger to make it have less calories. <laughs> what is this brainless meme we are doing? Yes, I found it. You found what? The the image. Hold on. Oh crap! I just realized I didn't show you something, and I just knocked something over. One second. I'm, I'm gonna post it in the memes channel. Obligatory meme channel post. This helmet for the model. What model? You know, if you're working on a model, you could you could get people to pay you a lot. If you can do all that work. Model work. Okay. Look, I am an artist. I am like, you can also make money from art. It is okay to do that. Fair enough. Ah! I got a text, I think. Uh... <laughs> Oh! Okay, 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 so, so. 
here's here's the thing. I just realized. I have not mentioned what I got tipped with. So, this so earlier today, not uh, earlier in the week, I went and did a normal pizza delivery, and they handed me a tip with four bills. I'm like, oh, cool, four dollars. That's that's a decent tip. Well, I was counting it. One, two, three ones, and a two dollar bill. I had never seen one of them in my life. What in the world? Yeah, two dollar bills are real. I know they are. The fact that I just got one out of nowhere was like, what? Okay. That was, it was like wild. I shall follow your orders. Right, okay. I'm totally not mimicking characters that I'm putting into my team in Zadlis Zone Zero to attempt something. Oh, me. Did I show you my, uh, Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I should explain first. Meep you there. Wait, hold on, there's this one. Prometheus, hot take. The Greek gods. No, give that back. <laughs> I get it. <clears throat> so. Are you okay? Uh. Have I told you what a melanistic Pokemon is in Pokefarm Q? Uh, no. So, they have albinos. Which, okay. you know what albinism is. I shouldn't need to yes. explain it. Well, uh, so basically, what ended up, uh, basically they were like, oh, what would the, what would happen if albinism and shiny were to just align. It would just have high melanin. So they, they made it melanistic. Or melons. I need to show you... The, the, I need to show you some of these. I like these. Uh, give me a second. There's My keyboard is... Still we got... I'm scrolling the beans. We got another beans on toast meme. It's the Lord of the Rings meme. Put that in the meme channel. Beans on toast? Where are you? There you are. Why is my keyboard still wet? That's better. Alright. There's one of them. There's another. Mm, the beloved purple Umbreon. Yeah. Here's uh, Absol. And I got two more. These are like super rare, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna include the description below it to under to explain why the name is that, because <laughs> it's a it's an out of pocket name without that explanation. And finally, there.
There you go. They're they're so nice. I like I like the looks of them so far. <laughs> what? Uh, right. Avatar: The Last Airbender meme. Oh. Oh God! Dare I look? Oh, Dare I oh. look? This this is just like it's like a thing where it's like the when Aang grows out his hair, it's, it's like oh yeah, they're betting on what color the hair will be. Tops like I think I'll have purple hair. And then he pulls out his <laughs> and guitar is like, but he's a brunette. And Tops like prove it. Top wins. <laughs> God damn it. Just blind tough winning. People winning. were like people there are people who believe that she's like a fucking like Mary Sue or whatever. And it's just like, what do you mean? Well, one of the whole points of her character is that she she's not liked by people because she's way too blunt and kind of a ass and people don't like her because of that. Because she's also a wealthy kid's a wealthy daughter. You know? It's like they forgot the whole point of her character. It just kind of upsets me. It's like, bro. Go, 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 go! Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yo. Are we on fire? I think we're on fire. Chat, chat, I think I think we've got them cooked. <laughs> chat, are they cooked? <laughs> Oh my god! Chat! Are the enemies cooked? I think they're cooked. Yeah, my girl's got it. Woo!
Yo, impaired already! Yo! Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Yo! Police called after men dressed as traffic cones block road. What? What? Looks like it's a picture from England. Yep, <laughs> looks seems right. Seems legit. Hey, yo, let's go, chat. I cooked the enemy. Let's go. to do I sent you creatures oh adorable I've always liked the idea of a fall version of Leafeon give it the dearling treatment that only works in gen 5 because they remove the seasons after I know one of the things I liked about gen 5 <laughs> I did it I I posted a picture in one of the servers I've been in, just the Pokemon pictures dump. Posted a picture of a boy on a bucket. Captioned it, this is a bucket. Dear God, there's more. No! Materialized in the chat all of its own afterwards. What? Team Fortress 2 keeps winning. I know, but that's not what I mean by what? It was a rhetorical play. Winning. That was still a rhetorical what? Winning. Okay.
There we go. Sorry, I'm 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 becoming a wolf. Featured on Uber Eats, the Home Depot. What? <laughs> Excuse me. To which it, it, it's like it's just a post that someone had the bunch of question marks. To which someone responded, "If you're a beaver, this probably slaps." But nah, it's, it, it's it's probably from the south. There's probably a Waffle House inside. What do you mean featured on the Home Depot? On Uber Eats, feature featured on Uber Eats, the Home Depot. Oh, like the the Home Depot was fe featured on Uber Eats. I misunderstood. Hi for the delay. I was getting myself dinner ready. Welcome back, Jimmy. Okay, give me a second. I need to clear the table a little. I can't hear it right now, I don't have the headphones on, so, you know. <laughs> if a package of bacon isn't resealable, it contains bag. one serving. That's just science, I don't make the rules. Why is the chair rising? The flower is rising, it's overflowing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, who's here? Who's not here? Like hard. Okay. Betty. So where were? What were we talking? Okay, hold on. Let me read up chat. I've uh, been going through. Chat you need to be. Don't make me drive. You know I will. Don't make me draw it, you know I will, I don't think we got a pair? We're in two brain cells mode, yes, and unfortunately I'm muted to the pieces and very brain cell deprived. I'm sorry, I just had my own shit to try and balance on. Plus, pay the missions, yo. It's not, but we keep on trucking, but <laughs> trucking begrudgingly. Let's go. Hey, you two, more time, we got a freeze movie. If you're developing uh, to your feelings in the moment, it will get better soon. Okay, but I'm in hell now, trying to figure out this helmet for the model, and I think it's finally working. But warm, I am aware. I'm doing this to practice, though, because I've only made mine. I had to use this in my portfolio. Oh, sick. My mom has a few too lot of beers in her house. What were you guys talking about? <laughs> There's no context to a lot of that. Yeah, I know. I can see that. So... Uh, this is self-made dinner. Dinner. I feel like the Mexicans in here are going to hate me for what I did, and probably the Americans too. Uh, so I grabbed one of those like Mexican tortillas, and so what I did is I put a layer of cheese, then I put a sausage on top of it. What do you mean, a Mexican tortilla? You know, one of those, like, round tortillas you use for fajitas. Fajitas are Tex-Mex, first off. I'm sorry. And second... And second... Is there a different kind of tortilla that I'm not aware of? Spanish tortilla? What's the difference?! A Explain lot. to me! Tortilla, but well, it's a completely it, different dish. Okay, explain it to me, don't, and don't just say American tortilla like I know her, not American, uh, Mexican tortilla like I know the difference. 
What's the difference? Tell me. Tell me. Have you never seen? Tortilla? I want to know. Have you never seen tortilla de patata? No. Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm looking for a picture. So, tortilla de patata is a type of omelette, basically. But since it's Spanish and we're based like that, we call it tortilla. Because fuck the French and their omelette. That's that. So it's a dish, not oh, a wow. not a part of for a dish, and it's something that you fill in to make a dish. It's a dish. So, uh, again, I want I grab one of those like Mexican tortillas. Okay, that's why I was like confused. You just kind of said that like I knew, and I'm like, I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm what I was expecting. <clears throat> All right, news headline. You're overweight, expecting a overweight Ford truck plunges through historic wooden bridge in Maine. This okay, so you can look at you can see um, uh, the stream, right, Carby? Um, yeah. Discord. That that's what I'm talking about. No, I I saw, I saw. You sent me the image. I was saying. No, the, the I Tia didn't. Mexicana. I I know. Okay. Wait, okay. What I was saying was, earlier you just said it like I knew it, and I'm like, I don't know what that is, I didn't know there was a difference. I mean, I was expecting you to, considering it's, you know, one of the biggest Spanish dishes, and everyone knows about it from paella. I, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm oh, sorry, really? a lot of- look, look, there are- Hey, there are Kirby, Americans. Kirby, Kirby, the more you know. Yeah, and there are Americans who don't believe that uh, Spain exists. There yes. is no- country called Spain. It's just the language is called Spanish. No, it's called Mexican. I've heard that one too, yeah. Brand. I'm at least a little bit more knowledgeable, but not everybody knows these things because of the American uh, education system is bad. Look, it's like how I didn't realize that, that corn dogs weren't a thing you'd know. I mean, I know what they are, because I've seen them in movies, but I never tried them. Oh no, it wasn't you, it was another friend who had never heard of one. Ah. So, anyway, I got one of those Mexican tortillas. I put some emmental cheese, like grated emmental cheese. I put a sausage on top of it, I partially cover it with a cheese. And I put it in the microwave for a minute. Then I take it out. I put ketchup. I put so barbecue sauce. I put uh, fried onion, like sparklies. That we would put in like decoration and such for extra flavor. And I put two pickles right next to the sausage. And I wrap it up. And I eat it. I can already see uh, Carby's face bomb. No. Oh. Man, I see so much weird shit with food that at this point I don't care. Oh, cool. It's like, I don't really know how to cook, so this is, but it, this is easy to make, and I like it. And I've definitely uh, made this uh, sometimes at 3 in the morning, even without, like, preheating it. I have done it without heating it, and just cold. Look, I used to just eat a, a tortilla and friggin' honey. I mean, every tortilla and ketchup. What? What? Huh? I said I also have eaten tortilla and just ketchup. Yeah, and I I got focused Fringe. on what I was doing. <laughs> hey, tortilla and just ketchup? No. I mean, sometimes I had cheese. Cheese and ketchup quesadilla? Uh, more like a wrap. But yeah. Why is everyone gone quiet? I'm currently just eating. Because I'm focusing! Oh. My bad. What were we talking <laughs> before I had to go for dinner again? I think we were talking about the rivals. 
Yes, and then you were gone long enough for me to start some stuff on Ziggy Ziggy. Oh, okay. My bad. No, Again, it's not your fault. Ooh. I had to take care of the dishwasher, and then I was like, uh, you know what? I'm just going to prepare myself dinner because I want to eat. I'm hungry. What's up? Dog. What's that dog doing? Me remove the vegetables on my burger to reduce the calories. I can feel my health myself getting healthier. What? How long did I come down? Spices. <laughs> the countries that were invaded for spices. Cast them into your food. Use them, Britain. No. Team Plasma is in a cult. I know as the king. Black to white to all oh, Arceus. I was in a cult. People whining about the queen being a colonizer are full of shit. Name one country hurt by the queen. <laughs> Yakko's world. Da, 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 da. Two wraps, and I've drank my gazpacho. Anyway, you know what I was going to do though? I was going to do a Pokemon side. How do you call the games that are in the main games in Pokemon? Side main games, the main series, and side games. Ah, spin-off. There Bad we go, game. that's the word. Spin-off, yes. Spin-off. Oh, hey, great. S, A, B, C, D, and not played yet. Perfect. Uh, I no idea what that is. Pokemon Box is in a game. I haven't played that, haven't played that, haven't played that, haven't played that. I haven't played Pinball. I haven't played that. Dream World, no. The training card games, I haven't played, um... I technically have played Stadium and Stadium 2. I haven't played Snap. I haven't played my ranch. It's another box thing, it barely counts. Yeah, I know, I know. I haven't played Turn Car Game. Rumble Blast, I haven't played. Uh, that's Rumble it's U, right. I haven't played Rumble U. Uh, I think this is Pokedex. Pokedex 3 Pro, Dustin Games, Dream Radar, it's not a game. Uh, no idea what this is. Pokemon Duel, no. Pokemon Pinball, no. This is up to Gen 6, I guess? Because there's no Pokemon. Uh, this is probably the other Mystery Dungeon games. I haven't played Battle Ultras, A. Eh? Okay, so the games that I've played here, I haven't played these either. I haven't played that one. I haven't played XD, I haven't played Puzzle League. Okay, <clears throat> that doesn't leave me with a lot of games. But we'll start with the easiest one. Rumble? Uh, where's Mr. Dungeon? Mr. Dungeon. These are all... Up here. 
Actually, yeah, you're here. Uh, you are here. Uh, you're here. You're here. Uh, you're behind these. Okay, I think like that makes sense. And then like that. Poke Park, yes. Poke Park 2, it's okay. Dash, fun gimmick, but that's about it. Conquest here, Magic Up Jump, interesting gimmick, that's pretty much it. Picross, interesting gimmick. That, you're kind of shit. I have not played you. Rumble World, it's great. I love it. Shame it was a free to play game. Ranger, well, you're doing Ranger on C. Shadows of Palmyra on A, and Spirit Guardians also on A. Pokemon Shuffle here. We need a Poke Park 3. Uh, mm, mm, do we? Do we need oh. a Poke Park 3? Uh, stadium here. Stadium 2 here. Did I'm you just say Stadia? Stadium. I didn't know you were such a Google fan. Uh, and you go here. Okay, now. Uh, I think you go here. You're not that good of a game. Uh, so are you, so are you. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so. No! My Kong! He's fucking it. I just made my spin off game selection. Uh, DX would be. Uh, Mr. Energy DX would be right next to Red and Blue Rescue Team. Uh, Pokken would be on Not Played Yet. Uh, News Not would be on Not Played Yet. And, X and Cafe Remix would be on B tier. I'm sorry. What? Actually... I, I need to see this list. Wait, no. Actually, you go here. As I heard you say DX. Uh, uh yeah, Mr. Nanjun DX, because it's not it's not in here. Where's Coliseum? Oh, I haven't played it. It's a nut blade. There's XZ. And Coliseum is probably around here as well. But you said I thought you said XZ no. you have played. No. DX. Pokemon Mr. Dungeon DX. Oh sorry. But still, uh, this is what you get for not playing, uh, uh, Coliseum. Hey, they didn't grow up with a Wii. Oh, well, there they go. Welcome back. Band. Anyway. Ah! No. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I left the tier list if you want to look at it. There's not a lot. I don't know enough. I don't know enough of the side games, honestly. Fair enough. I mean, I can't explain. <laughs> you know what? I could. I could have sent you something cursed instead of leaving. That would have been funnier. But I decided against it. You simply immediately adopted the cursed. I was born in it, molded by it. Actually, hold on. Add a row buff. Green. Bitch, I used to piss at urinal urinals with my pants down. Do you think you're and you think you're more cringe than I me? I piss at urinal. I piss at urinals by sitting down on them. I used to yeah, but my one of those, one of those shows your bare ass. Anyway, you go here. Uh, I'm sorry, you two. There we go. Alright. Yeah, darkness goes first. There we go. Alright, there's a tier list. So, uh, do you want me to explain? Nope. Okay, well, here it is. I don't, I don't, I don't play enough of the side games. I mean, that's why I was asking if you wanted me to explain why. No, that's why I'm like, I'm good. But thank you. 
Uh, now mainline games. Pokemon mainline game tier list. All right, main game tier list. I think this one I already did. That's why it's here. Yep, correct. Okay, there we go. All right, that's my game tier list. Going to do one quick change. There we go. Alright, there's my game main game tier list. I already did it, so. Harvey? Yeah, one second. Okay. Alright, so. Uh wrong, 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 um, wrong, 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 um, wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> I'm being yeah, a Harry, dick. I, thought, I, thought, I, I didn't know you had such a shit opinion about the video games. That's a shame. Okay, so... Sun and Moon would be good. Um, Gen 5 would be the best, in my opinion. Um, uh, which one? Uh, yes. I disagree, as you can see. Yes, I can tell. Uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver would also be the best. Um, uh, Pokemon Arceus would be great. Uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pro would be good. I think you're the first person I've heard. That they that they think Brian Devon Chang Bro are good. You're saying that like I haven't said it multiple times and gotten in fights with you and other people. Really? Yeah. I've said this multiple times to people. I think people shit on it because they wanted a platinum remake, but they got just Diamond and Pearl. Which are and I don't games. think it's the I mean, yeah, Platinum is better, but, like, I don't think they're that bad. I think they're good. Just good. And I'm not... And people get really upset with me when I say that. And it's just, like, they are not worse than Oros. I refuse to believe that. There's no way. I think they're both equally bad. <laughs> also, I'd put Diamond Pearl also in good. I like I am a Gen Four baby, but I I like the difference between Diamond and Pearl and Platinum are just they're so drastic. Like Diamond and Pearl feel like betas, like yeah. genuinely an open beta, and it and it upsets me. I'm because even gonna disagree. I'm Platinum's just gonna so say that I it feels like the actual game and Diamond and Pearl. I put them bad because it's like as the years gone by, I realized that, that this game just doesn't feel complete. There's so many bugs. There's so much shit with this game that it's just wrong. Anyway, but I also returned back to the series with Diamond and Pearl, so I'm a little biased. I mean, I started um, the I series know. with Diamond and Pearl, so you would imagine I would be biased, but... Um... I would also shift um, gold, er, uh, silver, gold, and uh, crystal up to good. I don't, I don't like you Like, I, I played through silver. It's, it's just long. I'm sorry, but the, the level... The lever curving and adding Kanto for no reason other than to just add Kanto and hide like half the Johto decks inside of Kanto just feels stupid to me. Okay, but I'm going to argue a counterpoint. Given the space on that cartridge, that is incredibly impressive. I mean, I guess, but it's like it it it's Kanto light. It's not yeah, even actual I don't... Kanto. Look, I still would put them in good. I'm not saying they're... I, I honestly think that they've aged pretty not that great. They've aged uh, poorly. Especially because they're very easy at first. But No! No, what do you mean? No, they're stupid hard. What? No! What? No, Gen 2 is not easy. No, the thing is, Gen 2 is... it's It has a random difficulty spike at Whitney. 
then it's a fucking I don't think lot. I never had issues with Whitney. I mean, not really either in Silver, because I was prepared for it. But in Heart of Gold, Soul Silver, she, she's a pain in the butt and she's still really annoying to deal with. But that's but Heart Gold, Soul Silver. We're not talking about this. We're talking about the base games, the originals. Yes, and but Crystal. again, I was older, therefore more wise for it. But even Fair then, enough, she's, but... still, she's still annoying. She's still annoying. I, but part of the reason why I like Gold and Silver so much isn't just because they're a fucking marvel for yeah, their yeah, time. Yeah, it's because on they added Espeon. Not, no. It's actually because it's technically the first uh, full... It's honestly the first Pokemon game I played technically if you don't count me just constantly trying on uh, an N64 on the first trio. Huh. Anyway. But yeah, I feel I like... Think, I think part of the reason why I think certain games in certain series are better is because I just have played a lot of bad games, and I don't get why people shit on games that are decent. Fair enough, I guess. But yeah, no, it's like, I don't... I don't like gold and silver. I, I, especially when I grew older, it's like, the beginning, if you pick, especially if you pick Chikorita, oh, oops, guess what happened to me, so I'll go so silver, but that's besides the point. If you pick Chikorita, they're fucking stupidly hard, because you pick the worst starter ever. Uh, if you pick the other two, they're a little annoying, but you can go through fine. But then the mid-game is such a boring in tedious log of go here, do this, go here, do this, and it's like the entire region just randomly opens up to you once you get surf, and it's like, okay, where to go? And then it's like, why is Price, you know, the seventh gym, weaker than the sixth gym? Because technically, you can take them out in any order. But either still, of those. Still, technically, you can take. The 5th, the 6th, and the 7th gym in any order. You can take Cyanwood last. You only need to talk to the dude that gives you the medicine and go back. It's just that, you know, it would which, take a long while because you didn't have uh, fly. Which I still think that's a, that's great for the, its time. That's all. It's like, Kanto, okay, cool if you want Kanto Pokemon, but, not, but don't hide half of Johto's Pokemon behind Kanto. Like, imagine being able to go through Johto with a Mistrevis, for example, or a Sneasel, for example. The fucking, the Ghost Gym doesn't want to have a Mistrevis on the team, it only has the Hunt, the Gengar line. The level scaling is completely atrocious, the Rocket segments are an absolute slog. And I mean this because they're piss easy. I'm sorry, it's just I, I I have a lot of bone to pick with, with Gen 2 and Gen 4's remake. Like, yes, it's good, but it, it worsens some of the things. Like, the level curve, a curve is just, it, it's even worse. Like, they don't fix that much. Like, yeah, they add the crystal points from, you know, the, the unknowns and so you can take more attention to you and you seeing and that and the Pokeathlon's cool and fun, but still, it's not like, you know, amazing. It's not the best. There, there's a lot of things that Hargon Soul Silver did wrong, and I feel that a lot of people don't look over them. Did, did I speak too much? Huh? Did everyone. No, I'm still focused. Oh, okay. I'm focused again! Sorry. But yeah, it's like. Sun and Moon, while great games, are also, like, I'd rather play Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I prefer the story filter Sun and Ultra Moon over Sun and Moon. Black and White, uh, I haven't played in a long time, but they're fun games. I like them a lot. They're great. 
uh, Fire Island and Re Leaf Green are great. They're like the best remakes we've had so far. They capture the like going back through Kanto in a much better way. You do so much more in Kanto. You have things like the Sevi Islands, for example, which I love the idea behind. And it's like, it looks so good for the time. Emerald, well, I mean, it's it's Pokemon Emerald. What do you expect? It's like, great. It's Hoenn. I love Hoenn. Uh, Scarlet and the Violet, again, has, has just... It's technically the game that I've spent the most hours on. It's not my favorite game, but it's definitely the game I've spent the most hours on. And I have a massive bias towards Platinum. Because it was the game that I spent the most time with. Not hours, time. Like, thinking about and, like, talking to people and, you know, watching things about. And that's how I feel about, about, uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Black and White. Fair enough. Also, yes, yellow is above red and blue because yellow does fix a lot of things. A lot of whack with red and blue, and I do feel like the, it is, like, somewhat fun of a game. Also, Pikachu. I love how it's I never... actually like the anime cry, but like really, really, really filtered and uh, pixelated. I never disagreed with that. <laughs> no, I'm just explaining. I, I agree. Just explaining. Yeah. I just, look. Maybe I'm just a little more positive about games after, after watching a bunch of people just constantly shit on games. Just makes me not want to do that. And I just kind of hate the feeling like I'm constantly shitting on something somebody could like even though I'm like quite opinionated so maybe that's why I'm just a lot more positive about games I mean, fair enough. especially I the just, Pokemon games I'm just like well I may remain positive if I don't like a game I will be like my I will opinion I will void my opinion like they all have I mean, the yeah. good and bad things, but it's like if there's more bad things than good things, well, it's gonna be a bad game. See, for, for me, it's not about specifically like weighing it like that. In my opinion. Oh yeah, it always it's always what I do. It's like I weigh the goods, I weigh the bads. If I if there's more goods than bad, then it's a good game. If there's more bads than good, then it's a bad game. Honestly, it's more just for me, it's just a feeling. I mean, it's also always a little bit of, like, feeling with things, but... Yeah. It's like, this. it's like with Brilliant Devon and Shining Pearl, it's like... I... Well, I did enjoy my time with it, it's like... There's so much that I feel was wrong with it, and that they, you know... People, as you said, wanted a Gen 4 remake, but they wanted a Platinum remake, or something more akin to, like... Hard gold and soul silver, or violet, red, and leaf green, which is a you know a story of the original one, but with elements here and there of the of the successor, or like extra things. But it's a faithful remake of Diamond and Pearl, which are not that good to begin with, because there's a lot wrong with these games. Uh, again, uh, refer to me. Speaking as they sound, they feel like a beta of Platinum. <clears throat> and it, it's just... I say this having had, like, a team and, you know, growing up with them. And I, again, I enjoyed my time. But when I lost the copy of Pearl, I wasn't, you know, broken or hurt. I was like, well, that's that. I guess I can't play Pearl anymore. But, um... Yeah, for me, there's just... A lot to do in Heart Gold Soul Silver, so I always thought that was like one of the best ones, and I always thought that it was cool that that Silver and Gold went back to Kanto because they hadn't really established what the game series was going to be like just yet. So going back to Kanto felt like it helped feel out how the world was like laid out a bit, mm -hmm. and also helped make the world feel kind of. Interconnected. Makes sense. On top of that, it also. Uh, well, I'm not saying that your points are invalid. I definitely think that it does have this aspect of, wow, this is a huge game for such a small cartridge, for its time. And oh yeah, no, completely understandable. Quite... That makes sense, but it it just feels like 
Okay, so for me, the problem with Kanto, it's sometimes, especially in the original one, it, it just feels like you're just doing nothing but the gyms. And that just feels like needless paddling of like, oh, hey, look, here's Kanto. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, cool, Kanto. But, I don't know, it, it just feels like sometimes it wasn't necessary, especially considering all the crutches they had to go through, you know, to make Kanto a thing. Like, Mount Moon isn't a thing anymore. Uh, Burden Force is literally just a tiny maze. This is, these are things that Hard Gold Soul Silver do touch on, and it's great. Like, you actually have Burden Force in Hard Gold Soul Silver. You have more Mount Moon. I think it's more similar to Gold and Silver, but still, you have some more of Mount Moon, and it feels like you can do more things in Hard Gold Soul Silver with Kanto. But in the originals, it feels a little empty. Mm hmm. And I can get that, but even there, it's still impressive. Yeah, no, absolutely. I also like the fact that you can catch both legendaries in both games. But again, yep. it's not into Gen 3 where it's like the the lore, like the legendary lores is expanded upon. Well, yeah, that's because of um that's because of uh hardware limitations and all that. That one I am that's why I'm slightly forgiving on at least the originals. And even then like in in Hard Gold Soul Silver, like you like, Lugia just feels like an add-on. Even Soul Silver, it just feels like it's there. It's doing fuck all in the middle of work, hey? I wish they could have gone a little bit on with that and done something with it, and vice versa. I mean, they didn't change the story in uh, Leaf, Fire, Red, Leaf, Green all that much, from my understanding. Yeah, but th the problem with Fire and the Leaf, Green, there's no, like, legendary to speak of? Like, that it's, like... The box at legendary, and that's kind of my problem with box legendaries be having become a thing through the series, is that they become too much of a focus at a certain point. That's why I'm like I don't really care about them anymore. I mean, fair enough. Like they kind of have have overridden the story, and they made them too selves too important. And that's why I'm like, I don't really see your point about Lugia, in my opinion. Because I think the one that really set the precedent of it, of them having, like, intricate, like, uh, bits of the story is Gen 3. Which I'm not that fond of Gen 3, actually, in my personally. Like, I don't think it's bad, it's just, I, 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 they are not, like, this masterpiece like a lot, of, like, I feel a lot of people feel. I mean, I wouldn't call them masterpieces, but I really like Gen 3 because it feels like one of the more replayable games for me. Yeah, and I'm not saying that you, you did, I'm just saying that, that a lot of people do, and it's just like, I played it, I'm like, yeah, this is fun. And, yeah, it's because it's... A good game. Yeah, be cool. So, I think I asked something before that we never actually got to explain. Uh, that we never actually got to discuss at 3 Plus. Uh, which is Pokemons that, with a play within a playthrough, you use them and you ended up liking the Pokemon a lot. Metagross. Okay, so, since I started the last one with the starters, uh, me, right here. Yeah. Would you mind starting myself? Uh. I don't know. Are you tired? I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. Okay, so uh, what I was talking about is Pokemons within playthroughs that we, uh, by the end of the playthrough, we grew to like a lot. Gallade. It's like my, I think it was my X and Y team, I'd put a Glade on it it's for some reason. Now, now look at the stream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Farby? Uh, first off, Metagross is one, is the one that I always point to. Yeah. Um, I was fiddling around with them at one point in a, um, in just like a little like showdown or whatever and I played with them I'm like you know what mm -hmm. holy crap I really like you you're really good 
Mm-hmm. I don't really have much of a story. Oh, okay. Other than that. So I have a few Pokemon to speak of. I'm going to start with uh, one of the more important ones, Markiplier. What? what? My Nidoking. Oh. <laughs> I knew I wanted to say first the name of the Pokemon, to, the, the nickname, because I wanted to. I knew someone was going to get a reaction of it. So, uh, this is the reason why Pokemon Yellow is in good deal, by the way. Like, solely this playthrough. Uh, I was around 16, 15, 16, when Pokemon Yellow came out for the Virtual Console, for the 3DS. And I was like, holy crap. Uh, I actually do want to play these Pokemon games because are, there are some of the few ones that I have, have, haven't actually played. So, I, I, you know, I reviewed what I should play and I decided to go with Yellow. You know, Pikachu Edition and all that, uh, Mama Jama. So yeah. I start the playthrough, and one of the things that I did read is uh, Nido Nido Male is good against Brock. I'm like, okay, I'll catch one. And so the the gimmick for the nicknames in uh, Yellow were YouTubers that I watched at the time. You know, you have uh, Pig, uh, my big butt, the, my big butt, the Pikachu, uh, because of Lost Paws, uh, calling his characters my big butt. And then we come to Nido Male, and I'm like, hmm, Nido against this you know big bulky guy. And so I named him Markiplier. And he became the absolute MVP on the team. Uh, he was an absolute beast. He wrecked everything. I think he had... As Markiplier would. Exactly. E exactly. Literally that. And then uh, a bit later uh, on Pokemon Showdown... Uh, Meep, do you remember... Another, I don't know if you were in uh, Stupid Short EV Comics when that was a thing. When they did the gym challenges... Like the showdown gym challenges I think things. So. Yeah. Okay, so I entered in two of them. That this was Gen Seven rules, uh, singles Gen Seven. And at the time, I had a friend that also was into Pokemon, uh, Janix, and we were like, you know what, we could do teams on showdown, and we went for uh, singles UU Gen Seven. <clears throat> and because you know I liked uh, Nido King, I was like, hey, this is in uh, UU. I'm going to use Markiplier. And guess what? Again, it was the MVP on the fights. It was the sweeper. So it's just like, for me, if I get a neither a Nidoran, it's just Markiplier. So that's that's Pokemon number one. Pokemon number two. It's uh, Nidoran female? No, Nidoran male. Uh, no, uh, Firo. <laughs> okay, I know it's a weird Pokemon uh, to just go, like, Firo, what, what? But I had a Firo. I, I still have a Firo. From April 2008. Called Firoi. I know, it's a very stupid name. I was like eight when I named him. But he is. Uh, he wasn't, you know, on my team after. Before the post game. And I grew very attached to this Pokemon. I grew very attached to Firoi, the Firo. Uh, he holds a premier ball uh because as a kid i just put it on and i haven't got it off him because it's a lucky charm of sorts and he is one of the pokemon that has been with me the longest so i have a lot of memories with him doing a lot of things with him uh what's next what's next oh yeah my first shiny uh simba the luxury because of course yeah. Uh, so, this is, we're okay. talking right now, I think 2014? Yeah, 2014. Because this was when X and Y were, like, recent. And, you know, there were, like, guides on how to do Poké Radar hunts. And I was like, hey, I want to try this out. This sounds like fun. And, well, now here mm -hmm. we are, me, uh, you know, research hunting for Giratina. But I started hunting. I first went to Route 2 on five i think it's the route right after floroma town the one to go to the forest mm -hmm. and i started shining hunting shillings there and i lost the chain at 64 65 to a weasel i was angry and i went to route 203 i think the one going to Ro not rothboro to pyrite town uh, Orbo, Arbor Town, yeah. 
And I start a chain of Bidoofs. And I go one, two, three, and then I go for the fourth one, and it breaks. I don't think I've ever gone from so angry to so happy so quickly in my life. Because the thing that broke the chain was a shiny shinx. I caught it? Oh my what? It's adorable. Yeah. I caught him. I named him Simba. And now he's a level 100 Luxury. And he's still in my 2009 uh, Safe Health Pokemon Platinum. Honestly, I feel if I ever lose the ability to play on that original Safe Health Platinum, I will break down and cry. I have too many moment memories in there. You know? Yeah. Like, I have, like, all of my, like, important legend level 100. I have Kyogre, a Groudon, Palkia, Dialga, my Empoleon, a Wolrain, Fero, Heatran, uh, Articuno. And I have so many, like, weird Pokemon, like, Temagreña, the, Pe the level 43 Pichu. Or Turumpedo, the, I think, level, like, 30-something Wurmple. You know, like, we're, we're shit like that. Funny nicknames and all that. And it's just like, I... I have a lot of memories. Yes, I'd like to keep watching. Dang, you did a whole bunch when we didn't... We we only got one. Hmm? You did a whole bunch of them when we only got one. One what? Pokemon! I'm confused. Oh, I'm sorry, I, 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 I started rambling. <laughs> it's all good. It's like I- It's I, all good, Ram- It's all good, Rambly. Boop, no. Ramblo. I'm, if you guys I'm, want to tell tell more, feel free, I just- Since you two I was gonna say- interested. I was gonna say Luxray. I mean- As well, because I just saw Shinx and it was adorable. Yes. And I- it just- I took it through the entire game. As you do. Actually, I took two through the entire game. Because... You know, mm. I... have problems. Mm -hmm. Also, um, honorable mention to Pachavisu. Uh, yeah. I've, I've faced and caught God with a team of Pachavisus. Oh! Right, there's one other. Grimmsnarl. No. Uh, in... In Gen 9, I saw Impidimp, and I'm like... Alright, it's Dark-type. Let's try something new for once. Mm -hmm. I named him Mr. Dink. Because of... Uh, Mr. Dink from... Uh, the, Dink from the works. show... From the show, uh... Doug. No idea. You, you probably don't. I think it's a very... Amer I think that's an American show. But like, oh, I've never heard of it either, bro. You're probably, I'm probably old here. Yes, I, I think that's established. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, and then he, he just was like, he just come, I just throw him in, and he just fucking wreck shit. Hmm. Also, uh, another, well, I mean, we all know it for another game, but Zigzagoon. Before yep. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, the reason why Zigzagood is called Maba. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, uh, I had my red DS Lite, whose top screen did not work. So I could only play games that uh, had the game itself on the bottom screen, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, or GBA games. And one of the games that I played was uh, Emerald. My brother's copy of Emerald. You know, we just fuck around. So I caught a Zigzagoon and I called him Mappa. Because at that time, like, Dora the Explorer was a thing and I did watch it from time to time. I thought it was funny because it helped you get around the map. Wait. What? Wait. Is that. Mappa just means map in Spanish? Yep. Yeah. Damn. Is something the matter? Oh, uh, there's like ten. 
No, I'm just... <laughs> my brain... <laughs> my brain was like... Huh. It Interesting. Sense, I though. thought it was just cute. And then, no, that's not it at all. I was going to just be like... Oh wow, we're about to get some awesome lore. He just put together like a bunch of syllables as a kid, like I used to do. And he's like, no, he... Map. Yeah. Door the Explorer. And I'm just like... Uh, Most of... I, I don't really think about nowadays, but I used to, because when I was little I didn't understand what that prompt meant. Uh, and most of them were named after the form they were caught in, but horribly misspelled. <laughs> because my spelling was even worse back then than it is now. But yeah, it's like, it, and ever since then, like, because of that original Zigzagoon, every time I catch a Zigzagoon in a game, one of them is called the Mappa. And then we go into Pokemon Red Rescue Team, where uh, Mappa the Destroyer of Worlds uh, appeared, and... You know? He destroys the map. He destroys the ones that want to destroy the map. Mappa Oppenheimer. Moppenheimer. Moppenheimer! <laughs> no, no, me. It's Mappa Rambo. We have the Rambo Mappa thing with the, with the assault rifle. Yeah, but Oppenheimer is Mr. I Am Become Death, the Destroyer of Worlds. That's the truth. Yeah, and also, like, just, just the, the Mappa. It works with Oppen. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, uh... Should I fuck that up? Oh no. Uh-oh. Ow. Also, another honorable mention to the level 100 shaming I got in Auras. What are they... <laughs> You'd be wondering, how do what you get What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> boat. Is yeah, boat, boat. All going well? Uh, I've got 16. No, 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 no! Oh, ZZZ isn't going well either. <laughs> Six teammates are in one grid square of the map, okay? <laughs> Bruh. But yeah, uh, honorable mention, shout out to the level 100 shaming I got before the first gym. How? Gaming. Uh, Mr. Gift. I remember vividly grabbing the, my cop, the copy of Horus from my friend and deleting the save file because he was not gonna play it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna play it. And I started the save file and then I'm going, oh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna check the mystery gift. And they're like, here, have a free shaman. I'm like, oh, cool. It's probably gonna be like level five. I take it. I open it because it's on the team, level 100. So imagine me walking up to me, the first May fight, with a level 5 map kit and a level 100 shaman. Built different. Exactly. My, my first level 100 Pokemon was a defense form Deoxys. That's ugly specific. My yes. first level 100 Pokemon was that Luxray I was talking about. The only, I think the only person that has had a normal level 100 is Kirby, because mine was Heatran. I am. I am become grind. But yeah, it's also uh, not from Pokemon itself, like mainline games, but Pokemon Rumble. Do you two know what Pokemon Rumble is? Yes. I know about the second, the, the 3DS one, I played that one. Yeah, I but, played Rumble Blast, I didn't play Rumble. But you know yeah, what same. Pokemon Rumble is in general, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so... Mimic is a big fan of that. I want to, a, a little, little story, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy story time. On how I discovered Pokemon Rumble. Uh, be me, be 13 years old. Uh, be browsing through the internet watching Let's Play. Okay, green text! <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. All right. I just want to. I was joking. I just look. It came out a little forceful because I'm in the middle of something. Okay. I'm sorry. But yeah, be, be me, 13 years old, watching YouTube, and then I see someone that I watch have a collab channel, and they start playing Pokemon Rumble. I'm like, oh, this game looks fun. Wait until Grandma can buy it for him. Plays it, loves it, loves it a lot, a little too much. And because my Wii couldn't, you know, still can't read discs, 
uh, it was the only, like, really only game like I, that I spent a lot of time in. And I want to give a shout out to Machamp. Uh, great Pokemon to get Pokemon out of, to catch Pokemon with. And also to that level, uh, mind you, levels aren't like in Pokemon, so I'm going to say level 100, but it's more like level 5. Like the higher, yeah. like the power it is, but yeah, okay. Shout out to All my right. base, uh, to my 100 power Cubone, because uh, I discovered the strategy with that game to catch the rarer Pokemon. So in Rumble, sometimes on the map, there are these like rarer Pokemon that are hard to get. They, they usually only come like one in a group of people, and they're really hard to get. The idea is, you clear the map except that specific Pokemon, you go into a weaker Pokemon, and then you weaken it with that Pokemon. If you get it stunned, you, get, you hit it with a crit, you immediately change to your strongest Pokemon and kill it, because then you'll get it. If it's reaching low health, and you can't seem to get it, you move away and let it reheal. And rinse and repeat. This is how it got things like Mesprit, Yuxi, Azelf, and other like rare Pokemon that you couldn't get. Like Dra Dragonair took me forever to get. Not Dragonite, not Dratini, Dragonair. I'm sorry if I'm blab blabbing too much. Okay, no, no, I'm just focused. I'm just really focused because like one mistake could cause somebody to die. Oh. Um, I'm pausing for a second. Um, but yeah, I it... hate this boss. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, and then I was like, when I got Rumble uh, World for the 3DS, I was like, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to keep Wait. a low power Pokemon. I'm going to keep the low level I power. Thought... Rumble Blast was a 3DS one. Uh, no, there's two for the 3DS. There's Blast and World. I didn't. World is a free-to-play one, know. Blast was the one with Gen 5 Pokemon. There's four Pokemon Rumble games, technically five, but the fourth one got discontinued soon after it got released. You have Pokemon Rumble, you have Pokemon Rumble Blast, you have Pokemon Rumble U, and you have Pokemon Rumble which World. Was, which was bad. You? The the U one was bad. I think it was fine. It looked fine. Common Wii U L. Sadly. But yeah, Rumble, also, fun fact, Pokemon Rumble only had Gen 1 and 4. So but, Pokemon uh, like Electabuzz didn't have Elegant, but, half elect but had Electabuzz. I, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say, the reason why, um, with the Wii U one sucked was because, uh, it was just arenas. Ah, right, it's not like actual levels, it's only arenas. Yeah. That, that was pretty much it. It, it just wasn't fun, mm -hmm. from my understanding. Um, also, have you noticed that nobody's asking for a port of it? Fair enough, yeah. I mean, it's also like a WiiWare shop, so it's like... Oh yeah, that too. It, like, if they give us a newer Rumble, I'd I, I, I play it. I love the Rumble. Yeah, but they, they seem to understand less and less with that, but... Makes it good, but anyway. I mean, have you seen Nintendo Switch Sports? Let's not talk about it. That is literally just, and then the monkey paw curled. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, Rumble, the original, I, uh, I also have a lot of stories because for some reason, that is the game that uh, strengthened my bond between my cousins and I. Like. From one side, my uh, my my mom's family has a lot of, she has a lot of brothers and sisters, so I have a lot of cousins. So first, it's like the two two cousins that are both boys. Uh, they both really liked, well, one more than the other, but they liked playing Rumble with me, so we played it a lot together. And then once, uh, my one of my the, he, mom my mom's youngest brother uh, came along for about for a couple days. And you know, I was distracting the the girls, and then I was I look at the Wii and I look at the girls, and I'm like, hey, you want to play with the Wii? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? They were hooked. While we were there, they like apart from you know going outside and doing other things, when when we were home, they wanted to play the Wii with me and play Pokemon Rumble. Like it's a great party game, well, group game. I wouldn't say party game. You know. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot of fun, and I you get you can get shinies, and there's a lot of Pokemon I'm very you know happy that I have. Fun fact: I also did a quote unquote speed run. I say quote unquote because it's not legal, but I, I did it anyway because I thought it would be funny. Uh, Pokemon Rumble Nine Tails percent. Where I beat the entirety of the normal campaign as only using nine, o using only nine tails. As you do. Yes, I had a uh, swift nine tails on my Wii remote saved, so I used it for most of the levels except a rank. Wait, that was a game that used the Wii boat's internal memory? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could you could save a total of twelve Pokemon inside the Wii remote's uh, internal memory. What? Yeah. They fit that many into that tiny bit of memory? What yeah. was it, like 8 kilobytes? Yeah, you can have 12 Pokémon instead of the Wii, Wii Remote. So, the thing with those Pokémon is that they would be capped, because a lot of them were like, you know, EX rank, which would be like 2,000 power or so. So they capped it. So like, it was tough, but it was manageable, but for A rank, I just got a Ninetales. I got like a brawny Ninetales that did more damage. So I used Ed for the Battle Royale. I mean, it was still Ninetales, so, you know. It was funny. I know uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution lets you save a team to the Wii yeah, mode. Yeah, it's if you it, you, like, you save one one team to the, to the, to the Wii, Wii mode. Correct. And I think Brawl right. lets you save your controller con custom configuration. Yep. Yeah, something like that. Uh, anyway. Now I want to talk about my Rumble Blast experience. Sure. Also, I, uh, have we all played World? No. No. Yeah. I've only played one Rumble game. Uh, fair enough. I mean, it was free on the 3DS. So that's why I played it. Anyway, your Pokemon Rumble Blast experience. Tell me about it. Tell me about the rabbit show. Oh. George. Sorry. Tell me about the George. Rabbit, George. If you're gonna Bang. be, if you're gonna try and make me cry, at least fucking get the names right. What are you talking about? Do you not know what that's from? Nope. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. He hasn't had to read works of American literature. No, that is not. true. <laughs> But that fucking story makes me cry. Holy shit. But what what, what story is it? Of uh, Mice and of Men. Of Mice and Men by John, by John Steinbeck. Steinbeck. Uh, you're quoting... You're quoting a man who's about to kill another. Because no, no. he... What? You're quoting the guy who's about to get shot in the back of the head. No, qu tell me about... Oh yeah, you're right. Tell me about the rabbit George. Yeah, he's not, you're you're asking you're talking about a guy you're, you're you're quoting a guy who's about to get fucking killed because he just he killed a woman. Right. And he did it by he accident. Fucking, fucking he did it by accident because it's kind of implied that he's essentially autistic for the time, and the person it it's hard to explain. You have to understand. You have to read it. It's oh my god. Anyway, so, as I was saying, though, I, uh, be me, Christmas Day, get, get a package, my sister gets one the same size, get another package, also the same size, open it up, it's a game, it's Sonic Generations on the 3DS. Ooh. Sister opens up the her game. It's Pokemon Rumble Blast for the 3DS. We don't have 3DSs. Open up the second package. It's a 3DS. <laughs> pop in Just Sonic. Winning. winning. Uh, pop in Sonic Generations for the 3DS and realize that you don't really like it that much. Uh, sister doesn't play Pokemon Rumble Blast that much. 
ask her if you can use it because it has multiple save files for some reason. I think it did. I don't remember. I think it does, yeah. Radius oh, yeah. Trade yeah, trade because, because, trade deals. because, right, now I remember, because it was, uh, it's based off of the system's memory, not uh, the card. That's right. No, it's based off on the card. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it I is. don't remember it being. But I didn't know no, that the, was a shiny. The, the, the S game is generally saved to the card, Wii game is saved to the console. Yes. Okay, whatever. Okay, I did it too early with that one. I need to hold on a second because I need to check if I if I accidentally skipped over uh Okay, give me a second. I keep keep explaining things. Anyway, if she hands it to me, I play it. I keep playing it. Holy fuck, I just keep playing it. Oh no, this is actually kinda of fun. It's not amazing, but I still quite enjoy it quite a lot. Mm. I couldn't stop playing it. I even started farming for uh, the rarer versions of Pokemon and uh, legendaries. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, I'm addicted. Yeah. Friend asks to play it. Loses the game cartridge. No. Depression. Just... That was okay. Guess guess what game was right around the corner? X and Y? Nope. It was a it was gonna be the greatest game ever. It was gonna be the first Pokemon 3D Pokemon game, and on top of that, it was also going to be a mystery dungeon game! Oh, Gates to Infinity. Yeah. Pretty game. Super Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> the exact opposite reactions here. <laughs> I still think Mystery Super Mystery Dungeon is I I think it's good. I don't think it's bad, I just think it's good. I have a lot of I like it. that game. I have way too many. Uh I feel like I have to and... replay it, but uh, it's like I feel that if I replay it I'm either gonna I, I'm gonna hate it more. Uh, but I, uh, th th that's how I feel about, uh, Gates to Infinity, I have too many problems with it. You know something that happened to me in Gates to Infinity? You know on the what? final dungeons, right, there's a lot of ice-like Pokemon. Yes. By the way, me, this is when, when, when Solarius was still a thing, when, when the PC was still a thing on Discord. So this was a long time ago. Uh, he knows what I'm talking about, it's an RP server that used to exist, but not anymore. So it's uh, where Jimmy and I first ran into each yeah, other. Yeah, that's when we met. The 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 RP server oh, no. to the stupid short EV comic uh, official Discord. Mm -hmm. I was like pseudo attached. I don't know. It at one point at oh, the beginning it was pseudo point. attached, but then not anymore. But and yeah. then it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's been flat out deleted. What, did something bad happen there? No, it just... Ev everyone just stopped doing it, which was sad, because I I had things I wanted to keep doing. Just everyone stopped participating. It was sad. Yep. I had a character who was gonna have the emotional end to their story. It was gonna have the happy ending. It was gonna be great. I was a king. What? Yeah. I, it was uh, it was kingdoms. Uh, there were kingdoms because it was for evolutions, and there were kingdoms for the evolutions. And because my character, uh, who's not of nobility, uh, hit up the queen, and the person that did the queen vanished, I became the king. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Upgrades, people! Oh my god, no. If Mina's still here, she'll remember that art. Oh, but yeah. Uh... Oh, just dinged. My pizza's done. Hey, your pizza here. By the way, random question. Yeah? You said you could do something with my, uh, with my old pick of my OC. 
Oh yeah, I. Mm, okay, uh, it was for the PMD uh, style emote, but I've just completely forgotten. I'm no, sorry. it's okay. I I thought I. Since I hadn't heard any updates, I was gonna ask. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I I I I've, I've gone off the rails, and I I I've, I've, I've been with other things. I'm bad. Bro, we're both ADHD. Anyway, I, I had something prepped to send you in case you said too much about uh, Gates to Infinity. Which you were talking about a second ago. Yes, but I, mean, I, I, I like Gates to Infinity, but since you don't, I don't want to, you know, yap. No, 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 that's not what I meant. You you kind of didn't get to your point. <laughs> this is what I was trying to say. You, you got distracted. You got distracted by the... the, the oh, yeah, the server. story. The, the story. So, I was in one of the last dungeons in Gates of Infinity. You know, right? One of those, like, scary cold dungeons. Yeah, the bitter cold dungeons. Yes. Uh, did you know that you can recruit Pokemons in those dungeons? No. Uh, apparently, yes. Because... <laughs> I recruited a Glaceon! In one of those dungeons. Nice. So apart from, you know, Umbreon and Espeon from the story, I also got a Glaceon. Also, fun fact, in that game, I made it my mission for recruit every single evolution. I have nice. them all. Do you give me a give me a good guess on who what's the hardest to get? Uh Espeon. No, no, I already have Umbreon and Espeon from the story, remember? Oh, Sylveon. Sylveon isn't in that game, it's Gem 6. Fuck! I forgot. Uh, well, therefore, Sylveon is the hardest to get, because it's not obtainable. <laughs> uh, Vapor... Funny. Vaporeon. Correct! That damn fish! Yeah, the fish was very hard to get. I don't know why. It took me super long to get a fucking Vaporeon on team. God, we're 55 encounters away from 3,000. I think this has been my longest uh, shiny hunting streak. I was going to play Valorant. I mean, I probably will anyway. Since I had an energy drink, so I am going to be hyper for the next couple hours. I say this having drank the energy drink at like 4 p.m. By the way, Jimmy, I have... Yes. I I am going to warn you. I have a uh, I have something cursed for you. If you I I reposted that for you in okay. case you needed it. Okay. Uh but I pinned it right, down. Uh, it's pinned. Uh, one sec. One sec. Mm. Uh, what was I saying? Alright, yeah, I have something cursed for you if, uh, if something happens. Just let you, just reminder, I do have that ready at any time. Okay, hit me. Oh no, I'm waiting for more of a, uh, a time to use it more as punishment. I didn't know you were into being punished. Oh, this won't be punishment for me. Oh, trust me, whatever happens, it will be punishment for you. Alright, I'm... I'm... I'm giving up on this. <laughs> this is... It, it... It's just... Why is that boss so fucking... Difficult? What could I do tier list off now? Of Pokemon-wise? I've done spin-offs, main game starters... Um... Pokemon overall. Pokemon by type. So, like, the favorite Pokemon by typing kind of deal? Okay, so, so, here, he, here, here's, hear me out, hear me out. There's, there's three things that you could do. First off, all the Pokemon. I feel like I could do that for a, for a stream on itself. 
yeah, just save that for if you ever want a really long stream. No, no, wait, you know what? what? Instead of that, you should do uh, Pokemon Smasher Pass. I think I've already done that before. Just I do don't have thing. enough Boogie Beyond emotes for that entire stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey! Anyway. What do you mean, Meep? Anyway, the number two would be, uh, like, you get one tier list for each type of Pokemon. Like, putting them by typing? Yeah, grouping them by typing, and then, and then, like, tiering them each oh, good in that type. Like That's the water good. type tier list, the fire type tier list. Oh, the the exactly. Exactly. Okay. Anyway, the, the third option is just the types themselves. Oh, I can do that. It's not even that hard for me. Uh... You go here, 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 you go here. There we go, done. You go here, you go here, you go here. Right, give me a second. There's a type. There's a type. Uh, the type. Tier list. You, you grass simp. How dare you? Hey, what can I say? Dude, unlike, unlike other gamers, I do touch grass. Bro, why? Why is your poison so low? Why is it not S tier like it is on mine? I don't like poison types that much. I love poison types. Like, few exceptions are, you know, Yoking. Psychic should also be S. Just saying. Eh. Like, what? what's there? Psychic-wise. Espeon? Delphox? Not just... What? What do you mean, what's there, psychic-wise? Yeah. Metagross? Uh, Ga no, uh, Gardevoir? Fucking Alakazam? Fucking uh, Drowsy and all them? Ugh. There's a whole bunch of psychic types. Okay, psychic types that I like. Espeon? Gardevoir? Gallade? The Laddie Tweens? Jirachi? Well, the, all the small mythicals, which a lot of them are psychic, now that I think about it, actually. Yeah, now I think about <laughs> it, most, most of the small mythicals are all psychics. Yeah. No, the small mythicals... A few of them are psychic, but not most. Most of them are psychic, though. Mew, psychic. Selby, grass psychic. Uh, Jirachi, steel psychic. Victini, fire psychic. Meloetta, normal psychic. Meloetta's not a small psychic, though. Meloetta. Meloetta's not one of the small mythicals. Uh, Meloetta is one of the small mythicals. What do you mean? It is. You get it's her through small. an event. It's not small, though. It's pretty small, though. It's not as small, but it is pretty small compared to other Pokemon. She's not that big. But yeah. Also, the Lake Trio are all psychic types, and I like them all. Yep. I was uh, about to mention them. What else? Uh... Actually, what else? Ah, uh, yeah, Bell Fox. Yep. Um. I'm like trying to think of more psychic types. But uh, both of you cut off. What? No, I didn't. Uh, someone said something and I got cut off. I didn't say anything. 
I sorry I, I saw both of your icons pop up and then nothing ha and then a sharp sound. I don't think so. Oh yeah, Armor Rouge and Ndidi. For crying out loud, I have a Mel Ndidi as my phone background. Um, what right. else? What else? Uh, I'm a, I might be going to see Digimon soon. Oh, okay. Also, if y'all want, uh, we can do Smasher Pass on, um, on Saturday. I won't be here on Saturday. Uh, do you want to speak now? No, I'm not. I'm about to. I might leave soon. Oh, I'm gonna go until 3,000 and then I'm gonna move on to 100. Alright, well, uh, sounds like Korn wants to go watch Digimon now. Talk okay. to you later. See ya! And off they go. To watch the other thing. That is somewhat like Pokemon, but it's worse. There's someone in this bath called Booty Quake. What? Oh my god. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quickly. Now that I can go, because my brother left the bathroom. Mash Stomper. I swear, World of Warships is some of the best account names of like any game I've ever, ever played or ever seen. It's glorious. Some of them are in jokes or history in jokes, but they're some really good ones. Standard Mick O five O eight Man in hat. enemy team right there in front of me, and my team is all sitting in the corner now, of course they are.
spawn evaporate. WHY ARE THERE THREE PEOPLE IN THE MAP BORDER?! WHAT ARE THEY DOING?! HOW IS THAT GUY STILL ALIVE?! HOW HAVE THE TEAM NOT KILLED THIS GUY?! OH MY GOD... WHAT IS THIS?! The actual bots in the game would be better than this. Like one other guy on the team who knows what the forward button does. players keep making you think you cannot possibly be more disappointed in them and then they make you even more disappointed I looked at the map and there was three people in the map border for no reason team was playing so bad it doesn't matter they're still rolling over that team Ugh. it was someone who like got stuck on the map terrain somehow completely still broadside onto the entire team and they were just left alone for like five minutes that is the quality of human being that plays this game. I wouldn't be surprised if half these people, half those people, had sub 50% win rates in co op mode against the bots. Damn. 
Just a reminder, the bots are like hard coded to not be able to aim. What? It's a, it's one of the varieties of bots this game has are just physically incapable of aiming. That's hilarious. Like, I once saw one of the bots miss an enemy player by four kilometers at a range of one kilometer. Damn. I have to use kilometers because that's the distance unit used by the game. I have no idea how far away that actually is because I don't know what the fucking kilometer is, but... Bonk. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm not gonna get the Giratina even after odds. Like, it's gonna take me like 10,000 encounters to get a Giratina. Do you remember when you got the Shiny Elite? Yes. It wasn't even what I was trying to get for you, but I picked know. one up anyway. Wait, was it not like your first actual Shiny? No, I uh, no, it wasn't my first actual training. Oh. I think. I mean it might have been like your first random shiny. It's 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 back to you and I, meet the boys. Just the two of us. Yeah. We could make it if we try, just the two of us. You and, you I. and I. But yeah, it's like when we when I started streaming, you were here a lot of time. Yeah. So you know, it's it's good to have you here. You know that. You know that you're always welcome in the PC. Mm -hmm. We live and we chill and we chat. You're shooting at boats. I'm shooting for a shiny. I want. I'm shooting boats. You're shooting Satan. You're bullying him with an Absol, right? Uh, I mean, I am, I am menacingly staring at him down with an Absol, yes. Arthur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Funny. Funny in joke. Hmm? Absol and Giratina. Oh yeah, true. I, oh my god, true. <laughs> I do have an episode called Kalani, but I wanted one ap an episode with super luck and no pressure, so I got Arthur, the episode with super luck. I 
Ravish, aren't you my team? It's Absol, Empoleon, Straptor, Ros uh, Roserade, Gardevoir, and Flareon. Squeezer497 over there on the enemy team. <laughs> what the fuck? Where are their names? It's World of Warships player names, they're brilliant. Battleship, that's... Oh. That's what you're doing. Light Cruiser runs in to try and win the game. Battleship, I'm gonna park myself behind this island where I can't do anything. Mm. Average World of Warships player. Uh, I'll, I'll play the bot, the bot game. Someone made Pump Hunt in Mario 64. Someone did what? Someone uh, made Prop Hunt in Mario 64. Nice. Hmm. 
Oh, we've got Carl Marx. Carl with a C, Marx with KS. Old Moldy. Tele Street Shooter. A wearaboo shit. Crazy Legs 56 and Old Man Child. <laughs> oh my god, we're the worst player names. Oh yeah, uh, do you want to know something very funny? Me? They're adding uh, Miles Edgeworth to Among Us as a free cosmetic. Oof. Uh, Miles Edgeworth from Ace Attorney. Mr. Okay. Mr. Get an, an, up, an, up, an updated autopsy, autopsy report. Oh well.
bullied. What? I'm bullying people. What's going on? In game. I'm bitch slapping them for all their health. Nice. What are you Like comically us? large cannons. Neat. Huh? What are you playing as? Uh, playing as the battleship Satsuma. Oh, you're playing as the battleship. I'm playing as the Yamato, but with even bigger gun, because funny. Wow. Meanwhile, the submarine attempting to sink our carrier. Which usually would go very well, however, uh... Aircraft carriers are... fucking stupid in this game. And just automatically kill submarines near them. I need healing. You're taking a grievous wound. My secondary battery has nearly all been destroyed. I need that. Carrier. He carries it, so I guess I can look up him.
So I think I found Mimic's uh, one of Mimic's new favorite Pokemon. A, lo oh. a while ago, Ogre Pond. He loves Ogre Pond. Yes. Correct. This is very cute. I mean, granted, she is adorable, so you know. Lemming. Florida Man 407 is on the team. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm just reading out freaking player names. The Fru Park of the Heavens. Being bullied by a submarine. Back off. Can't even play the game because fucking submarines. Not even that subs are really that overpowered, they're just really fucking annoying. I mean, they're submarines, what do you expect? Yeah. Oh, well, that. <laughs> that and we're playing the game where the whole objective is advanced and half the team is now behind. No, more than half the team is now behind our spawn. That went poorly. Moving on.
honest, the submarines in this game wouldn't be as annoying if it weren't for the fact that the developers uh, made them stu stupid fast. Like, there's a submarine in this game that can do 40 knots submerged. That's very fast. Fucking World War II technology? No, you don't. You go, like, five. Uh, any good names of this battle? Battle Doge. That's a good one. The Limbo Step. Uh... None. Nothing really. This battle. Hmm? No, I think I was just watching and they're playing Splatoon. Playing what? Splatoon. Ah, Splatoon. No, the submarine! <laughs> Go away! Today has been a very chill stream. Yes. with submarines being so fast is the they only briefly show you like roughly where they are when they like do when they shoot at you uh, because they're so fast by the time your anti-submarine stuff gets to them they've just left the entire grid square just vanish Destroy. You're telling me to shoot at someone, you have to spot them if you want me to shoot at them.
I'm just like it. Done with bullshit at this cap circle, I'm going to a different one. <laughs> one that doesn't seemingly have both submarines at it. And a destroyer. Oh yeah, that's the other problem with submarines, is that the freaking icon telling you where they are when they do the thing isn't even accurate. It's just wrong. Wait, what? With a bug that's been in the game for like a year. I don't think it's consistently wrong either, so you can't just account for the fact that it's wrong. Well, 3,000. Good names this time. Uh, easy target two. 
Mm-hmm. Sesame Street. Uh-huh. Uh... That's really it. By the way, Jimmy, to give you an idea of just how kind of like bullshit the submarines are in this game in like the annoying way, mm -hmm. I'm currently playing a ship whose whole gimmick is it has a cons one of its main gimmicks is it has a consumable specifically to let you find submarines. Mm -hmm. When you activate it for 20 seconds, you can see any submarine within seven kilometers of you. So assuming you've already gotten yourself right on top of the submarine, for 20 seconds, you can see them. And that is the gimmick of this ship. Huh? Brilliant. Absolutely. Time to uh, equip myself. Jimmy, that's the wrong tab. Nothing was on. I'm assuming. Nothing to see here. Please disperse. <laughs> Oops. Cut that out. <laughs> well, I hope nothing happens. Anyway. in the shop today. I like the old day. <clears throat> anyway. Play Swift. Set to Swift. Alright. Time to play some Belly Rant. Match found. Match found. Hello there, bitch. You wandered within to my funny button range. <laughs> the funny button range. Submarine walked right up to me, and I'm like, alright, I'll push the button so I can see you and drop depth charges on you. Right. 
Right, where are we dropping? And it's run out, and they're still alive. Ascent! Well then. I guess I'm playing as a smoker. I've got all the time in the world. Hey, what's up, team, yo? VC so you can game. Okay. Thanks for coming by as per usual. Well, was fun. Alright, thank you for coming by and thank you for Oh, there you go. No peeking! Enemy spotted A. Revealing area. I want at least! Enemy spotted A. Dropping a smoke. Multiple enemies A. Spike down Not A. Ready. Throwing that drop in a smoke. Woo! Reloading. <sighs> Reloading. Not ready yet. Blocking movement. Thirty seconds left. No peeking. Last player standing. <sighs> oh, there you just late to time. The battlefield changes with every play. Reloading. Absolutely dropped both smokes. Over there. Spike planted. Fucking defender spawn. Standing. Of course, I got head up. If you're not a good shot today, don't worry. I there are other no, ways. playing in Swift. Shot. What am I doing saving in one round? Need a drop. Thanks. Reloading. Keep up. Drop in a smoke. Pull them to their grave. Nothing there. Adapt or die. Enemy spotted. My ult. 
is ready. Planted. Last player standing. Last round before the switch. Save nothing. Last player standing. Switching sides. Match point. They think themselves are equals. They are mistaken. <laughs> okay, today is not gonna be a good day. Reloading. Reloading. They're not better than me. Standing ahead. Found them. Dropping smoke. Target spotted mid. Spike down B. I got the spike. One enemy remaining. No one escapes my sight. No one. Time for them to kneel. Revealing area. Dropping smoke. Enemy Thirty seconds left. Clutch. But I knew that one. 
The part where they lost was funny. Need a drop. Thanks. Reloading. <sighs> Holy shit, I just got a quad. Reloading. Standing ahead. Oh. The hunt begins. Feeling sight. Why did you? Problems hold them to their grave. Ultimate, nothing there. <laughs> Our spike oh. down. Spike down. B. Last player standing. <laughs> Defenders win. <sighs> I did what I could. You know, I clutched us around. And, uh, yeah. Bullshit! I'll just say that right now. Bullshit. Alright, well, let's go. <sighs> Let me just make sure. I don't think these two. Actually, no. She's gonna distract me. Match found. Deemed.
Anyone I catch slacking off has to join my morning run tomorrow. Wake ups at four. Sound good? Okay. Not the bad thing about this. Holy shit, what a head tap. No te agradezco a este edificio, me ha cogido la plástica. Just some good old hard yakka. Standing in between us and victory. stage wasn't here <laughs> easy yeah easy run for us I mean all right well guess that's a remake Match found.
I wonder what torture their omen is going through. Is it like ours? Poor soul. I'm assuming I'm in Madrid because I'm 20 frames. Sound sensor up. <sighs> Sound sensor up. Enemy spotted A. Enemy spotted. Attacker spawn. Enemy spotted A. Neutralize the enemy gecko and you neutralize his creatures. Careful here. Listening. Neutralize the enemy gecko and you neutralize his creatures. <clears throat> Player standing. I reckon I'll take a cap after that. I've earned it. Soon, buy a fucking. I could use a drop. I can't buy anything, dude. What the fuck? Kills when it says I can't do it by a fucking bucket. <laughs> Sound sensor up. Time to explode. Sound sensor up. Okay. 
Let them try to get through me. The fucking sensors. I will not be beaten. Listening. Enemy spotted mid. I I uh. blocking movement. Dropping smoke. Sensor trick. Over there. Last player standing. <clears throat> Every fight is a lesson. Not all go to A now, uh, to B now. Thank you. The fact that, it, oh my god. Okay, that's a free Odin for the enemy. Sound sensor up. Honestly, I'm just going to sell this and buy this. We go. Just gonna grab whatever gun they drop. Sound sensor up. <gasps> Hi, I'm pissed. Kill confirmed. Enemy spotted A. Spike planted. Throwing net. Hold them to their grave. Nothing there. Woo! Remaining. Last player standing. Now I can focus. And so the battlefield changes. Yep, I'm out tracking my my duelist by three, by triple, and by six times the number of pulse. Listening. Come on then. You want to play? Let's play. Listening. Tricked. Oh, he's not one of me. Of course. Of course. Uh, the moment I die, we lose. I swear to God. Three for me. Okay, now you're done, Sage. With your old, your half an old. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. My ult is ready. Okay. You guys have all enemy spotted me. No distraction. Last player standing. No, you could have had it. 
Like you could stop me. There we go. Why not? Jesus Christ. The race finally woke up. Back with the Odin, but you know what? We take those. My boat is ready. Again. Sensor up. Just sit there, Neon, while she's running. Listening. Don't peek necessary peeks. Don't do necessary peeks. Don't do necessary Here peeks. Of course. Target down. Yeah, catch. Um, okay, I think she said. You said you have picked me up for a reason. <gasps> Okay, I get that you guys want to go A, but please don't leave me alone on B. Sound sensor up. Ready. Last player standing. Please grab an actual gun. Thank you. I saw you fucking fucking hey. I saw you fucking hitting me. If I may, I'll go in first. Thin out their numbers. Over there. Oh my god. Over there. Listening. Here, no peeking. No surprises. Reloading. Spike down B. Spike spotted B. Enemy spotted B. Thirty seconds Power left. Ease. One enemy remaining. Spike down B. I didn't bring a 
snack. Did anyone bring a snack? All I needed was a ghost and a dream. I told you, I, I knew it. It's like, I'm just going to save. I'm just buying a ghost. I don't need anything else. These, these people run in and die. It's just, <laughs> they're wasting their money Sound to give me a gun, up. basically. So I'm just going to, if, if I see they're like doing I'll stupid buys, I'm just buying a ghost, just in case. <laughs> because it worked the both times. Sound sensor up. Enemy got a day. Get out of here. I shot somebody. That's the way. That's four. One enemy four remaining. Else. Spike. Instinct only goes so far. Skill covers the rest. Okay. Listening. Listening. There be. Sense barrier deployed. Enemy spotted. Throw net. Red. Have one of these. No distraction. Sensor up. Focus it. Got one. One enemy oh, remaining. No. They're done. Spike spotted B. Last round in the half. User credits. They're doing this. Gone here. Who needs equipment? I can buy you if uh, I can buy anyone if they need money if they need an item. Who needs equipment? Sound sensor up. Sage. I swear to God, Sage. Listening. Oh yeah, monster on the loose. Down A. One enemy remaining. Barrier deployed. Healing you. Grenade. No charges. Thirty seconds left. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Switching sides. Okay, seems like they I up. know what must be done. Over there. Listening. 
push through any doubt. Enemy spotted B. Stopped in a smoke. Enemy spotted B. No escape. Break. Reloading. Reloading. Healing you. Sensor down. Over there. Enemy spotted B. Reloading. Neutralized. Over there. Thirty seconds left. Spike planted. Sound sensor One out. enemy Auto remaining. Enemy spotted A. Okay, well... Reloading! Alright, muckers! Off we go! Sound sensor up! Try again. Show me a target. Reloading. Them regret their point. choice of profession. Listening, I got their omen. Crying out loud, that's just unlucky. <gasps> Reloading, refreshing. Enemy, no, no escape. Sensor destroyed. <laughs> Spike planted. Barrier deployed. You're finished. Uh, down. Last player standing. Uh. 
Prepare yourselves. We fight once again. Have the least amounts of deaths, but we take those. We very much take those. <sighs> Let's start this party. There. Listening. No peeking. No distraction. Last player standing. Where are you, I say? My ult is not ready. Making cover. Why are you doing that? They're not even near you. They're already the problem with you. Yep. Their death demands our attention. I will not die today. <coughs> Sound sensor up. <coughs> Throwing net. Remaining. I have a reputation to maintain. You're all more important than words on a brief. Look out for each other. Finally, my initi my duelists are getting more kills than I do. I have more assists and I've died the least, so that's gotta make up for something. Uh... You want to play? Let's play. Okay, how about we go to Enemy spotted B. Enemy spotted B. My ultimate is ready. Gecko down. Spike down, mid. Destabilizing. Disappear. Your duty is not over. You will not kill my ally. Last player dead. Yep. Okay. Combat is, is a ready. means to an end, and we are the means. Reloading. Forward. Sound sensor up. Beat. No escape. Enemy 
One enemy remaining. We take another dead one. Uh, we take turn, thank you. No one beats my firepower. I got this. Mm. We can go ahead. Nicely done. Nicely done. We can do this. Let's make some chaos. Sound sensor up. Enemy spotted B. Hi! No Hit. distractions. Spike down A. Of course, you're gonna be a fucking little rat. Thank you. I need to blow something up. Listening. I think that's an even better spawn, honestly, than the one that I had before. Oh yeah! Monster on the loose! One enemy remaining. If pain is a lesson, I learned a lot. Ultimate ready. Match point. Delete, bro. That was good. Now we end this. <sighs> okay, defense didn't start well, but attack went much better. Sensor up. Come on, let's go. Drop in a smoke. Show me a target. Grenade. Reloading. Pull them to their grave. Reloaded. Nothing there. Listen. Blocking movement. Spike ah. planted. Enemy Throwing spotted. net. Ah. <laughs> Drop 
dropping souls. Last player standing. Time to stock back up. Can someone I have get if you need them? Thank you. Oh, could have also bought him one. Oh my god, Sage. Take them one by one. Listening. Enemy Show me a target. No distraction. Grenade. Enemy spotted A. Wrong buddy out. Plant the spike. Here. Uh. Enemy spotted A. One enemy remaining. Throwing net. Barrier deployed. Attackers win. Come on. Come on, please. Please. Please, bronze. Please give me bronze. Please. I beg of you. I beg of you again, give me bronze, please. Oh, please give me bronze, please give me bronze. Are you fucking kidding me? Twelve. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Seven plants, one diffuse. And I only get twelve. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course, this is my best fucking round. A triple with a ghost, basically. Match found. Lotus. Okay. Okay. Malakante.
Why is no one wearing the pulse monitors I gave you? Honestly, I asked for a few readouts and you think I'm Dr. Frankenstein. G'day. Spikes here. Right here. I need help. Are we really going to push B round one? Well, guess we are. Alright. Here goes nothing. Missing a lot of Reloading. 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 Holy smoke! Complaint. Enemy spot is B. Only in B. Placing swarm grenade. Here. Enemy spot is B. Placing swarm grenade. Last player standing. planted. My luck, just my luck. Why did we go B though? Killjoy, control your bots. That turret keeps looking at me funny. Placing swarm grenade. Spotted A. Molly. Decoy. Placing sentry. Try again. Bad luck. Parrots destroyed. Reloading. Healing over here. Anyone else? Gun here. One enemy the remaining. Gun. You died last. Good job. Your stale tactics would only work for so long. Reloading. Turret out. Alarm bot out. Good clutch, good. We're not the equal. Focus on. Be stabilized. Blinded. So you have spike. Careful here. Spike planted. My ult is ready. One enemy remaining. Let's pack it up. Move in after I strike. That's when they're weak. Reloading.
Hidden wins are not looking. Show me a target. Hawk out! Blinded! Breaking them. Time to hunt! No distraction! Bali! Joke's over! You're dead! Spike behind you, I saw. I got the spike. Go B, go plant B. Gun here. Gun here. Enemy spotted. <laughs> Not so tough after all. Everyone note down your observations, then let's run it again. Find the weak point and break it. Launching smoke. Decoy. Enemy spotted A. Reloaded. Molly. Turn out. Spike down A. Careful here. Last player standing. My smokes can block the enemy's line of sight. Once they're blind, we move. Reload. Hey, uh... Safety's off. Killing over here. Reloading. Enemy spotted. Ah. Hey. Oh. Reloading. Placing swarm grenade. Placing swarm grenade. Spike planted. My ult ready. Ah. Reloading. Placing sentry. Seek them out. Heal up, squad. Found one. Focusing. One enemy Finish. remaining. Reloading. Over there. Inventory died. Is for us gun here. You can trust my bots. They only malfunctioned that one time, and honestly, help she a girl out, would you? No, no, no. no. This is business. Breaking them. Careful, please. Careful, here. down. Reloading. Bali. Ah. Not bad. Not enough. My 
alt is ready. Defuse, defuse, defuse. One enemy Get him down. My ult's ready. No distraction. Hello. Last player standing. Good aim, bro. Good aim. They should give up now. Save us the effort. Reloading. Hey, but now I should say Help a girl out, would you? Keep hitting them. Joke's over! You're dead! Nowhere to run! Okay, I'm gone. My LG you had your fun flying my turn! Nothing, nothing! Destabilizing. It's you and me! Oh, you have a little of course. See ya. Last player standing. Smoke's down. Need me. Roll B. Drone. Using drone. He see you. Open drone. up the sky! One enemy remains. Left, left, right. See you, you kill That's me. That's why they put Very me good. in charge. Brimstone, that was wonderful! Sí, 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 sí. Creo que hablamos a dos españoles. ¿Qué? O sea, ¿qué new boy? Sí. Ah, ok. No, todo sí. Tengo ulti. Si queréis ir fe, que yo creo que la tiro mejor. Vale. Bueno, sí. Reloading. Breaking them. Launching smoke. Pull cat. Careful here. Enemy spotted C. Decoy. Enemy spotted C. Thirty seconds left. Here. Last player standing. He's fucking killing me. Flawless. That Sober's gonna put his eye out with all that tech. <laughs> his other eye, I mean. Maybe Spectre's way, maybe even not buggy. Leave that sober to me. Alarmbot out. Destroyed. Here. 
Jeru, use your ult to get info. Time to jump. Yellow plant. One enemy Ready. remaining. Spike planted. Your biggest mistake was that pistol. Hold your celebration. We're not done yet. Help a girl out, would ya? Me compras, me compras vandal, porfa. On my way. Yo? Cheese, no, Brim, Brim. Gracias. El Brimstone tenía mucho dinero. On my way. Que sepa que no esté en 9000. Hoy no es mi día, eh. Antes, en la partida antes, casi la perdemos. Por un milagro la hemos ganado. Y ahora estoy con 0 kills. Joke's over! You're dead! Yeah. Está como Intento Miles, ready. Habría que rotar, ¿no, Sky? Down one. Están que los Rotar, rotar, rotar. Go plan, go plan. Placing sentry. Stop the fire. Destabilizing. Placing alarm box. Time to hunt. Got him. You will not kill my allies. Launching smoke. Placing swamp grenade. Hawk out. One enemy now remaining. Careful here. Reloading. No Last player standing. Okay. Wait for tap. Sal, 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 sal. Sal, iso. No, no, no. Well done, I saw. Last round before the switch. Spend your money now. There's no bank in hell. On my way. Vamos a Esto no es mi mapa de la no Jump them. Standing. One enemy remaining. It is you My and me. Time, time. Come on. Come on, you're. So I saved a day. Ooh, Don't make a big deal about it. 
Switching sides. A ver si en defensa me salen mejor las cosas y pillo alguna aquí, porque es que no me está saliendo nada bien nada hoy, eh. I promise I'm usually not this bad. I don't know what's happening to my aim right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have zero kills, bro. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing that capsule garbage. I am so sorry. No, this guy, man. No, no, no problem, bro. No problem. We are really At least I have air assists, so I hope that does something. <laughs> yeah, the assist is because of the blind. You get assist when you blind. And healing too. I got assist because of he oh, healing, yeah, guys. Assist. Very good, very good. Hook out. Smoke's down. Blinded. A. They're pushing A. Enemy spotted A. Time to hunt. Put it to on. On Phoenix. Back off. Spike planted. Reloading. Stand aside. Enemy spotted A. Last player standing. Not my day. It is not my day. Let's ruin their day. Did they think this would be easy? Time to hunt. Go to B. Embarrassing. Got here. Player standing. Spike down. C. That's not my answer. Oh, my Remember, your weapon is only a tool. You can't just shoot. You have to think. I will be. Reloading. Go. Go to B. I'll go alone. I. I'll I'll can, go, I'll, I'll, no, no, 2A, 1B, 1C is off now. Pero en go. To, eh, Prim vete a C para con. con Killjoy. Ok, I guess it's. Uh, someone. No reason. Ah, smoke! Dog, you Watching dog. smoke. Hook out. Thank you. Now, Mew. One enemy Come remaining. Down. Use the dog. Maybe here it is. Hook out! Okay, time for a protein shake. Spike spotted A. If you see one of my creatures, it's a good thing, alright? We'll figure out what they do eventually. No, estoy jugando nada bien. No, señor. No, señor. Turned out. 
I'm going to end up donating. You know what? I don't fucking care at this point. So that if I want to still lose points, I'm gonna. Hook out. B. Spike planted. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Smoke down. Reload. ready. No more doubts. We're ready. Time to mobilize my pack. Launching smoke out. It's you and me. Blinded. Spike Joke's planted. Over. You're dead. Of course, it's oh, it for my god. Last player standing. I died. Your fun. My turn. Turn out. Alarm bot out. Ah, spawn grenade out. Found them. Teddy. Oh. Well, intento. No, 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 no. Forgive me if I overextend. Old habit. No lo sé, pero si perdemos esto ahora, voy a perder como 40 horas. Me agrada la mitad que tengo. Está saliendo de puta puta. Offside. One enemy Lights remaining. Ah. 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 Match point. Let's clean up. We're done for that. On my way. Yeah. I sucked anyway, there's no one with me. Rec recalling my boss. Here. Headshot. Fire down. Enemy spotted A. Oh. 
Spike planted. My ultimate is ready. Focusing. Standing. One enemy remaining. What is that? It's another one. Entry. Another one. We went on. Well played, good job. Well played, everyone except me. I'm I'm so sorry. GG. 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 Everyone. Clutch. Uh, I'm not. Even Defenders <laughs> win. <laughs> oh my genius! Nothing stops the lab. Who's up? Place your incentive. Anyone? Okay, I don't really care. Just give me two of them and I'm happy. Maybe just Lotus isn't my map. <laughs> it's just not my map. I'm not playing well in Lotus lately. Who's it pinging me so much? Oh, I know. Match found. Oh, bubbies. All right. Oh. Death is not an option. Oh, genial. Dos personas que están que tienen como se va. Así una de ellas es una reina. Fucking great. <coughs> A certain someone tells me you play guitar. You have to play for us later. Hola. Hello. Yes. Hi. <clears throat> Sound sensor up. Sound sensor up. Planted again, as per usual. Well, you know what? We got eight. First 
Vete. One enemy remaining. Do this. I. We can do that. Thank you. Nice try. Nice try. Listening. Listening. Talking commands from the character. Heart out. Quick peeks now. <laughs> Someone's there. Enemy spotted A. Alrighty, Jesus Christ. Thirty seconds left. <laughs> Throwing net. Ten seconds left. <laughs> One for jet. Planted. Are you fucking kidding me? Please remember that you have a pistol saw. Drop in a smoke. Ugh, I shot. I, I can't look. Please don't One move. enemy ah. remaining. Last player standing. Couldn't kill us. Thank you. Now they're dead. Sound sensor up. Sound sensor up. We can keep them out. Listening. Down A. Spike down A. Planted. Oh, there be. Great. There. My 
ult ready. Last player standing. <sighs> Don't rush me. You want KJ's shoes? Tell you, dude, you can't even wear shoes. Sound sensor up. Sound sensor up. Listening. Spike down A. One enemy you remaining. You had your fun. My turn. Enemy spotted A. Hadn't there been no escape. One enemy remaining. Reloading. Team A. Well done. Yoda. And you're all safe. Spike Very safe. good. They don't have a single Thank you. life worth saving. Nicely done. I don't intend to kill you with, uh, with a ghost. I guess, spies. Tart out. Sound sensor up. Sound sensor up. Deployed. Throwing net. No surprises. No surprises. I know exactly where you are. But like, why can't we just hug it out? Ain't it radiant night? Nope, well, that's two assists for the book. Thank you. Nicely done. Listening. Turret out. Listening. Deployed. Reloading. Enemy mid, right here. Coyote. Sensor tripped. No escape. Drop in a smoke. One enemy remaining. Reload. I'm keeping my grave empty. Ultimate Stand ready. <clears throat> there. Find the weakest link and kick him in the shed. 
find the weakest limb and kick it on the shin. Reloading. Turret out. Time for a field test. Sound sensor up. Sound sensor up. The hunt begins. Back like I never left. I'm back for good. Reloading. Cutting their vision. No people. Throwing net. Pull them to their grave. Reeling them in! Target escape! Blocking moving spike planted. Still in sight. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. God damn it, I grow. The city needs me. I can't be away for long. Let's end this quickly. Take your fucking time, Gekko. I Spike know planted. exactly where you are. My own's ready. I didn't know that you're looking, so, you know. Yeah, this happens when there's one person to come B. If they know that, they're going to push B. One enemy remaining. <laughs> Reloading. I'm out. Well done. Fancy back in the activated. Let's reset. Deep breaths and all that. Oh shit, someone's talking. Sensor up. Sound sensor up. Spike down A. Sorry, right now. Sensor tripped. Spike planted. No escape. 
No surprises. One enemy Ready. remaining. Over there. You've never seen a massacre. This is what it looks like. Well done. Nicely done. Impressive. You know well what? Done. I vibe with these two. Placing very kind. Impressive. Listening. We've got this. Listening. Guess their phone to lose it. Nicely yeah. done. Out of my way. I'm watching here. Careful here. Planted. Enemy mid. Last player standing. Throwing net. <sighs> My All right, homies, chill. We'll go again. Damn, you love being here. Like way too much. Saving credits. I'm gonna buy. Okay. Sound sensor up. Out. Sound side. sensor up. One enemy remaining. Reloading. Right here. <sighs> Thirty seconds yeah, left. I know exactly where you are. There. There. Last round in the half. Don't be cheap. Spend it all before it's gone. I take the double kill on a ghost on a glow with a ghost. Well done. We can do this. Yeah. Listening. Listening. Turret out. Oh, look at that laugh. Skidadla. I saw you, oh, and homie. And they stopped her. Deployed. Sensor down. 
big sensor tripped. Spike planted. Gecko, no. Fuck! Like I never left. left! Reloading. One enemy Get remaining. No. 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 Having their vision. Well done. Thank you. No radio night for you, wee man. We Switching sides. Thank you. Well done. You I don't see get any you get any We'll just stay alive, please. Yeah. There. Impressive. I need help. There. Enemy oh, spotted A. Reloading. Throwing net. Reloading. Enemy spotted A. Last player standing. Oh, wait, wait. Spike down A. Sound sensor up. No surprises. Ten seconds left. Is everyone's Good tech try. still working? Double nice check it, please. Try. Right here. Nice try. Yes. There. There. Here. Right here. There. I'm watching here. Right here. Listening. With me. Nice try. Yeah. Yes. En route. Dropping a smoke. Yes. here spike down B last player standing There's no need for the enemy to suffer. Kill them fast. Reloading. 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 
No. Nope. Forgive me. That's a kill. We can do this. Large pit. Listening. Go get him, buddy. Enemy spotted. Hey, there. Oh. Right here. Spike in here. Last player standing. Spike down A. Like us, but are they us? I have so many questions. We got this. We can do yeah. this. That's decent. Impressive. Thank you. Reloading. Here. Here. Watching this. No peek in. Sound sensor up. Ultimate ready. There. Our spike down is down. Spike down, mid. Standing. My ult is ready. Only as good as their skill. And there, we have some beat. Watching here, we win, we survive. Sound sensor up. Let's attack. The hunt begins. Standing. Think I'll stay. Hey, little man, pump us up. Let's hear it. Impressive. Impressive. Thank you. Impressive. Impressive. Well done. Nicely done. We can do this. We can do this. Reloading. Reloading. Don't overthink it. That's my job. I. Yes. Careful. Listening. Here. Listening. In a smoke. Enemy spotted B. Other cat. Our area is dead. 
hit. Spike down, B. Enemies are B. I have to strike. Oh, no, I know exactly where you are. Last player standing. Ah. Uh, I don't believe in this at all. I don't believe in this at all. Can't Don't stress if I die. It was great knowing you all. Also, delete my hard drive. Reloading! Right on my way. Sound sensor up. Keep your guard up. Watching here. Hiding. Yes, yes. Reloading. Thirty seconds left. Down you go. That's three. One enemy remaining. Blocking movement. Right Hola. Hola. Hi. Impressive. We've got well this. Well done. Nicely done. We can do this. Thank you. We can do this. Yes. Come on, little homies. Let's get it. Let's play slow. Get out Damn of my way. Coward. Spike down A. I got the spike. One less. Reload. Ultimate ready. Over there. Hold them to their grave. Nothing there. Hola. My ult is ready. Reloading. Right here. Listening. Dropping smokes. Here, catch. Reloading. Enemy spotted. A. Listening. Thirty seconds left. One enemy remaining. Vibe check, we feeling good? Hope so, hope so. Well done. Thank you. We can do this. Nicely done. Well done. Thank you. We can do this. <laughs> We've got this. Sensor up. 
Enemy A. Reloading. Up and away. Somebody's there. Get in sight. Sensor tricked. My ultimate is ready. Reloading. Everyone, your hearts are pounding. Good try. Nice try. Listening. Reloading. Quick peeks now. Right here. Caution here. Reloading. Woo! This is up. Still in sight. Dropping smokes. Enemy A. Barrier deployed. Right left left. Throwing net. Fight the plan. Pardon Listen. Have one of these. Hot one. That yeah, just fun. My turn. Oh. Enemy spotted A. Last player standing. Like I never left. Last player standing. One enemy yeah. remaining. Match point. Keep doing what we're doing, and we got it. No. Yeah? No. We yeah. can do this! Yes. We can do this! We well got done. this. Nicely done. Thank you. Impressive. Dream Nicely big. done. Make it happen. Well done. Nicely done. Yeah. Nicely done. Sound sensor up. Reloading. The hunt begins. Reloading. Uh. Reloading. worked in the past. Sensor up. Listening. Ah. Uh, yeah. Spike planted. Enemy spotted B. Oh. 
sensor tree. I hear you, I catch you. I shot somebody. Enemy spotted B. One enemy remaining. No escape. Attackers win. My crew delivers. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ, I have so many pings. And I'm going to stop and start streaming.